thank y'all for tuning back in to your favorite channel. Pelican Bay K9 is giving it to you the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. Something I'm going to like it. So, man, man y'all hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, drop down in them comments like you always do. We back in it. We back in it. We got that dog talk for the day. Got something special for you today. Um, big shouts out to all the brothers and sisters that's tuned in. Big shouts out to the brothers and sisters down in the chat. I'm about to go check it out in a minute. Big salute to all the dog lovers from one side of the world to the other side of the world. And don't forget, we got two weeks left to the Digital Dog Show. Summer Ride Kennel Digital Dog Show. We got about two weeks left. If I ain't mistaken, I got to look at my watch. You know, give or take, it might be a little more, might be a little less than two weeks, you know. And then for the brothers that's competing in the North Carolina Dog Show, you got about two and a half, somewhere around there, left for that one, you know. And the brothers that's competing in the uh, Down South Bottom Dog Show in Mississippi, you got about a month, a half, and a couple, about two months. You got about two months. You got about close to two months for that show, you know. So uh, get them dogs together, man. Big salute to all the brothers that's competing. Let me see who I got down here in the chat today or tonight. Rather, big salute to my brother Dickie Foster and much, much, um, not no luck. We don't run off luck, um, Big Dick, Big Dicky. Um, but salute to your channel, dog. You know, <laughs> we be ready to get that thing rolling. You know what I'm saying? We ready to get that thing rolling. Big salute to Mister Two One Six. You know what I'm saying? Mr. 216 always rocking with me early. You know, hey, one thing I can say, Mr. 216, boy, be, uh, bro, if you leave, if you leave for the show, I can't never complain because you're here before that motherfucker start, man. Big salute to you. I might be done. I think I got two minutes in. I, I done start cussing. City Boy Kennels, what the deal is? What's going on? City Boy Kennels. City Boy Kennels. You know, um, let me check the chat out, see what, see what brother's talking about already. Hey, uh, came and say, whatever I do, don't beef with the nanny. You know, hey, man, I tell y'all I got a special video for y'all today, man. Legion Fury, what's going on, my brother? Big salute to you. Hope you had a great day. Hope you had a great day. Let me drop this link down in here in case I see uh, a hey, hey, nanny dog. If you're, if you're listening, big dog. Drop that link, big homie. Big salute to Samurai Kennel in the building, man. Big salute to Samurai Kennel in the building. Y'all need to get in touch with that brother if you're trying to, if you're trying to um get involved with that show. You know, for the brothers who's looking to trying to figure out what was going on, you need to get in touch with Samurai Kennels. Hemi James, big shout out to you, fam. Big shout out to you. Let me see here, man. Let me get, make sure I got my stuff together right here, man. Oh man, look here. I got a, I got a um. Hold up, brothers. Damn. I got it right here. Let me, while we're waiting on that brother to come up in here. Now, I do want to talk about this real quick, um, bros. You know, we was talking about Red Boy last week, right? And that, that story that I, I mean, a couple days ago, and that story that I gave y'all, was from Mr. Um, Mr. Mr. Jack Kelly said that that's no that was his story from Mr. Till. Now my thing to y'all brothers is okay. Now imagine if that story is correct story. If if uh, Mr. Till told him somebody gave him the dog off the truck. Now my thing is what was Red Boy? Get rid of a dog. Hey, man, I got a dog right here you can have if you want it. You know, Bass didn't get Red Boy as a puppy. So he was already grown. I mean, it's a whole history on Red Boy that we haven't even discovered yet. You know what I'm saying? Haven't even discovered yet. While we're waiting on brother, um, hold up. Waiting on brother Nanny Dog to get in here. I'm getting this thing right for y'all. 
Yeah, man, I'm just wondering because, uh, you know, Red Boy got a history before. Mr. Till got him and Mr. Bass got him. Tum, tum. Hold up, brothers. Okay. Yeah, man. Super Line North, what's going on? Big salute to you, man. Big salute. We're about to get this thing rolling, man. I'm trying to make sure I got this thing for my bro. I got a few things I needed to upload, man. I got, I got it, though. While I'm doing that, I'll talk about some other stuff. Nanny dog, where you at, man? I'll tell you, man, you in the hot seat tonight. I got something for you. Come up and holler at me. Hey, now I will say this. I uh, you know, no disrespect to none of the brothers. Uh, you know, brother hit uh not not saying no names, but uh when you talk to me about puppies, you want to buy a puppy or something, if you say anything about anything illegal. If you say anything about anything illegal, you can understand that I'm not going to discuss anything with you about a puppy. You know what I'm saying? As far as selling you wise, especially if I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? Um, just in general, period. I'm not trying to do that. Like, uh, you're not going to, I'm not going to be the one that sells you a dog for trying to do whatever you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I tell you 24 hours a day what my dog's made for. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you call me, you know, you better to be saying you're trying to buy a nice puppy for your house, for your family, as a pet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you're trying to say about working and all that, I can't, you know, I can't deal with all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to put myself in that situation, you know. Um, it just is what it is when it comes to that. Um, getting this thing ready right here, man. I should have been had it ready. Waiting on uh Nanny Dog to get here. Nanny Dog, man, what you doing? I I got something for you. I told you. Let me drop that link down in the chat one more time for you, cause that link be strolling and you know I, you probably couldn't get on it. Bella UK, how you feeling tonight or this afternoon wherever you at? Yes, sir. Okay. Nanny dog, nanny dog, man. I need you, man. I only. I need you to verify something for me, nanny dog. Fat form Ray, how it's going tonight, my brother? Stream. Big logic in the house, yes, sir. Got them bulldoggers in the house, man. Bulldoggers in the house, you know. Yes, sir. Appreciate everybody tuning in, man. I got a little bit of news tonight, you know, a little bit of news tonight, and we got some dog talk. I heard I, I can't remember if somebody said it in the chat lat um a couple of days ago or what, but they said I was offering a free breeding. They made it seem like it was bad because I was offering a free breeding with Fletcher on the last um uh, last digital dog show, like I was starving or something like that. Now I was looking at it like this is a fifteen to two thousand dollar gift certificate. That's where I was looking at it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't look at it like I was trying to, you know, um starving or not like that you know you just have ignorance that be amongst this dog community no matter how you look at it you know what i'm saying and you can't put yourself in an ignorant situation because somebody else acting a certain way you know but yeah get this thing right as soon as i get everything i should have had it's already rolling man Yeah, they say uh, 
you was trying to get rid of your you trying to uh give your dog uh sperm away some make it sound like i was trying to do a bad thing or something that's how that's how brothers do now a small-minded brother will be like oh i ain't gonna do that no more because he's thinking listen man it is what it is at the end of the day it is what it is Damn, man. Old nanny dog ain't gonna come up here with me. I'm trying to wait till you get up here, big dog, before I get to start the talking, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to, I don't want you to come on the end of the conversations. I don't want you to try to wait to see what I'm gonna talk about. Then come on. Come on up here now. You know, come on up here now, nanny dog. I know you out there somewhere. I couldn't answer earlier because I was in the middle of doing something when you called me earlier. So come on through, man. got to go longer you know it is what it is man all right to my brothers and sisters down in the chat nanny dog man i wanted to, what i was trying to do was you know pay you pay you your respects you know what i'm saying i want you to be here so i could talk to you and not to the air and just hoping you hear this. You know what I'm saying? Want to pay you your respects and, and tell you I got your back. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, because I got something for these brothers. We're going to talk about these blue dogs real quick. You know what I'm saying? Real quick, we're going to talk about these blue dogs. See, I was telling things. So I went and got a little information for that brother to drop it down tonight. You know what I'm saying? Went and got a little information for that brother to drop it down tonight. And it's, hey, like I said, man. We talking game dogs, Earl Tudor, Mr. Lightner, and we're gonna talk about what Lanny Dog like to talk about. You know what I'm saying? And how it all coincide, how it all go together. You know, it's gonna be in the computer voice real quick. You know, it's gonna be in the computer voice, but y'all just listen. Listen to what this is a 15 minute clip. It's gonna be a 15 minute clip, but listen to what them folks say. And from this nanny dog, you know, you get more information, more information. You know, I tell my homeboy, shit, we need to nominate nanny dog as the honorary representative of the blue pit bull across the country because nobody stand up for their blue pit bull like nanny dog do. And that dog be ready to fight over that dog, boy. Same way I be about Sambo, that's how he be about that blue, them blue pit bulls. You know what I'm saying? So I had to get some info for that brother. You know what I'm saying? If you're listening, nanny dog, salute to your big homie. You know what I'm saying? I got an article right, I'm about to play right now, you know, uh, about them blue dogs. Hold up. APBTs and them staffs. In Wayne D. Brown's book, History of the American Pit Bull Terrier, on pages 25 and 20. dogs of the dark variety and lightner dogs of the red nose variety in a classic confrontation of the two when bob hampo wrote lightner that they were going to use hall's cersei jeff of the red nose lightner strain in the oklahoma convention of 1936 at madison park oklahoma lightner wrote back that the red nose blood in jeff was as game was would ever be bred and further that the black and blue breeding in runyons colorado m2 was as game as would ever be bred so the contest between Hall's Cersei Jeff and Runyon's Colorado M2 at the Oklahoma Convention of 1936 was a classic confrontation between the red-nosed Lightner dogs and the dark Lightner dogs. Earl Tudor handled him and he proved to be game. Jeff had punished him severely around the head and nose and Tudor picked him up. However, he scratched him and he went across with his nose bumping the ground, unable to get his head up, but he took a foothold on Jeff. Jeff beat him in 54 minutes. Later, Hall's Cersei Jeff was to beat him's brother Colorado Dan. Also, after Cersei Jeff had beaten Colorado Imp 2 and Colorado Dan, their owner, Jeff Runyon, quit the game and sold his dogs. This is one of the few times I have ever found in literature, Blue Dogs Before 1936. 
The year 1936 was the year that AKC finally recognized the, as it was then known, Staffordshire Terrier. This was the year that the red-nosed dogs defeated the blue-blooded dogs. The dogs of this blood was sold but it is not said who to, although it is mentioned that at least some of these dogs found their way to Joe Corvino, who, for a time at least, was involved in the formation of the AKC American Staffordshire Terriers. Dogman wanted winning game dogs back then, and him certainly proved his game this that day against Jeff, in a stumbling scratch. Many a true dogman would have been more than happy to have an inbred dog in their yard. Back then game losers weren't penalized, and were worthy of being bred. I know that M staff people regarded the red noses with abhorrence, and I also know that game folks today don't care for the blue color. Actually most of them can't stand it at all because most of the time, but not always, a blue dog stands for being bred for looks and looks alone. I do have to wonder though what the American Pit Bull Terrier would look like today if Imp2 had won that fight compared to the American Staffordshire Terrier, whether or not people want to believe it. Blue is a legitimate color in the American Pit Bull Terrier gene pool as evidenced and show furthermore by the Blue Paul, or sometimes called Blue Pole, a Scottish strain now extinct, but whose descendants clearly live on in today's blue dogs. These solid blue or solid red Scottish gladiators resembled the fighting Stafford Shires of England but could weigh twice as much. The blue dogs were known in Scotland as Blue Pauls, and the reds as Reed Smuts. The name Blue Paul derives from a Scottish yarn about the pirate Paul Jones, who reportedly brought the dogs from abroad to the district of Kirk and Tillach. The dogs were popular with the gypsies of that district, who maintained that the dogs originally came from the Galloway coast, lending more color than blue to the Paul Jones tail. Like the bull and terrier breeds from which they derived, the Blue Pauls were game to the death in the ring. These dogs remained mute even at the height of battle, very much like the Tosa of Japan, in appearance. The Blue Paul was similar in appearance to the Bull Mastiff of the late 1800s. The dog was a smooth-coated cobby dog weighing about 45 pounds, 20.5 kilograms, standing 20 inches, 51 centimeters, at the shoulder. The head was large, the muzzle short and square. The jaws and lips were even, without overhanging flues. The stop was slight, eyes, dark hazel. The ears, set on high, were invariably cropped. The face was wrinkless but the eyebrows were contracted or knit. Mr. James B. Morrison of Greenock, England reported that the last Blue Paul exhibited was shown in the late 1880s. Many people claim that the Blue Paul is now extinct. It may very well be extinct in its pure form, but they were probably crossed with the Pit Bull Terriers in England and Ireland, and the Pit Bull Terriers were brought to America from Scotland. In 1857, McCaffrey imported the dog spring from Glasgow, Scotland to America. At that time Glasgow is the center of Blue Paul activity. In 1858, in Rhode Island, Spring won a fight in one hour, 35 minutes. In 1859 he won a fight in two hours, 15 minutes. In 1860, in Boston, he beat Tom Story's dog in two hours, 40 minutes. Spring was bred to Maid of Erin, who was an imported bitch from Dublin, Ireland and produced Young Spring. Young Spring won a fight in one hour, 15 minutes. In 1862 he beat Sheffield George's dog in three hours, 17 minutes. In New York, when Spring was bred to John Mahone's imported bitch he produced Jeff who won a fight in Providence, Rhode Island in one hour. He later won against Miller's dog in one hour ten minutes. In 1864 he won another fight in one hour ten minutes. Dick, another son of Spring, won a fight against Spring's Hope in one hour seventeen minutes. Powers Violet was imported to America from Scotland by her Scottish owner and, on January 10, 1892, beat a dog named Sprite in Massachusetts. They fought at catch weight. Her size, plus her name which indicates a dark blue color, leads to the possibility that she might have been a blue paw. If the above dogs were blue paws, their bloodline was surely continued in America and others were probably imported to America, England, and Ireland as well. Brown also writes in his book that W.C. Roper bred some game dogs from stock sent to him by Jim Williams and Bob Wallace. Some of Roper's dogs were silver buckskin in color, such as Silver Jack and Roper's William Silver. Roper Silver won four fights at 58 pounds, and another Tudor's Blackjack, 16XW, was, according to Earl Tudor, from Adele Hunt's Patty Witcher to a Mike bloodline. His sire was Black Tige who was sired by Blue Mike. Blue Mike was out of Miss Blue, who was sired by imported Roger out of Henry's Blue Mary. The sire of Blue Mike was Witchy to a Mike, who was out of Henry's Blue Madge, and sired by Henry's Black Demon. Several pages later he writes as we have seen, 
Tudor's blackjack was important to the Tacoma line, but he was also important to the roughing line of American Staffordshire Terriers. He was not only important in the development of pit dogs, including the Dibbo line, but he formed the basis for the roughing line. Someone new to the breed always ask what the difference is between an AKC American Staffordshire Terrier and a UKC or ADBA American Pit Bull Terrier. When told the truth, the true history behind the breed most say they don't fight their dogs so why should they even have to know all that stuff? The truth is, if you own a Staffordshire or an American Pit Bull Terrier, it is irresponsible of you not to know the truth, the true history behind the breed. In Richard Pascoe's book, The American Staffordshire Terrier, he mentions that there are five major lines in the foundation of the American Staffordshire Terrier, Tacoma, Expert, Ruffian, Crusader, and California which is not actually a line, but a combination of lines. The Tacoma was developed by Charles Doyle and Al Brown beginning with the whelping of Tacoma Jack in 1927. The Tacoma line is influenced by Corvino blood early in its history. The Tacoma line is known for its courage and working ability. The expert line traces its pedigrees back to Colby, Feely, Carrington, Tudor and Morris. Alberta and Cliff Ormsby began the line with the whelping of Ormsby's Madge in 1930. The Ruffian line was started by Clayton Harriman in 1938 with the whelping of the Ruffian, bred by F.C. Many other lines, notably C. Ringold's Gallant line, beginning with C.H. Gallant Ruff and the Har, when line of Peggy Harper which finds its foundations in the breeding efforts of Harriman and Wicker. One of her greats was C.H. Sky King of Harwin, half-expert. The California lines were strongly influenced by Ruffian and Gallant. Early breeders appearing in California pedigrees include Steele, Gregory, Fries, Farley, Wiswall and Harrison. C.H. Harrison's Bozo Boy was bred by R.C. Steele and Welbed in 1936. The Chatsworth kennels of Ray and Ina Harris include dogs of Fries, Harrison and Wakefield derivation. Ross Moore's Naughty Knight, who sired the foundation of the Crusader line, was bred by Gladys Smith. The Crusader line was started in 1950 by Ack and Gene Stinson. In 1955, Smith's breeding of C.H. Rossmore's Naughty Knight X, C.H. Gallant Susie Q produced C.H. Knight Crusader, C.H. Knight Bomber and C.H. Knight Patroller. All of these dogs played a major role in the development of the Crusader line. The development of all other kennels in the breed come from combinations of these original foundation lines, notably Sertoma, Archer, Sierra, Trier, Will and Wood, White Rock, to name a few. The foundation of the expert line began in 1932 with Bennett's Buck X Ormsby's Madge, Ormsby's Madge, Corrington's Bennett's Mac X Bennett's Queen, Corrington's Bennett's Mac, Corrington's Tiger Jim Jr. X Corrington's May Rose, Corrington's May Rose. Sharon Madge. Pitts Duke X Pitts BB If you trace the pedigree back two or three generations from there, you will find Colby's Dis B, Colby's Bess, Colby's Gualty, Colby's Nancy, Colby's Roger, Colby's Pansy, and Colby's Sally. The expert bloodline is one of oldest in M staffs. It was started in 1930 by Clifford and Alberta Ormsby. They lived in Hornell, New York. Clifford Ormsby was 25 years old, and Alberta was 22. Began breeding program. The foundation of the expert bloodline is Ormsby's Madge, Claude Orpex, Clifford B. I started with this great breed when you could buy a pit bull pup. No brisket, bowed legs, fiddle front, cowhawks, was undershot and had an unreliable temperament. You could shop around and find some desirable ones, but it was a problem to find good dominant breeders of quality. Ormsby's Madge was sired by famous pit bull Bennett's Mac, who was also known as Corrington's Mac C. Bennett's Mac was Corrington breeding. His bloods was a cross of Smith and Tudor's lines. Both lines had influence of old Henry bloodline, that was developed by Frank G. Henry in 1890s. But Tudor's dogs were mostly black part of the Henry line, when Charles Smith's dogs were more of the red part of the Henry line, and more outcrossed than Tudor's. Tudor's part of Bennett's Mac pedigree was Tudor's Jack II, son of the great Tudor's Black Jack 16XW. In 1930s Tudor's game dogs were as a sign of success. Earl Tudor of Oklahoma, or Oklahoma Kid as most dogmen of that time called him, was just 22 years old in 1915 when he won with Jack Swift. 
Earl became a well-known dog man all over the country in 1920s with his 16 times winner Black Jack Dog and 9 times winner Black Jack Jr. There were many breeders in that time who decided to use Tudor stuff in their breedings. Corrington was one of these breeders of that time. Okay, back to Ormsby's Madge. Her dam was Bennett's Queen, a cross of Hogan's and Pitt's lines. Hogan line was built on Henry Blood. Some of Charles Smith's breedings are behind Hogan's too. Pitt's line was mostly old Colby's bloods with some Henry. Clifford Ormsby was born in Hornell, New York on August 24, 1905. Albert also was born in Hornell three years later, on June 29, 1908. They were good friends in fact they grew up together a couple of streets apart. Young Cliff had about every animal there was to have. His first dogs were not purebred, and Cliff wanted to have a purebred dog that had spirit. Shortly after they were married Clifford and Albert had decided to take a pure pit bull. In 1930 Cliff went to Leonard, Texas. He took the dog that he wanted. This was a female from W.F. Bennett's breeding, out of the famous pit bull dog Bennett Mac and Bennett Queen. The name of this female pup is well known to many M. staff breeders, Ormsby's Madge. It was the start, a great start. In 1938 Clifford built a kennel. It was the very modern kennel for that time. There was a water heating system in the kennel floor. He put hot water system himself. When Clifford spoke about his kennel, he said, Dr. Byer, Ormsby's veterinarian come down and asked, Who built this kennel? Who made this kennel for you? I said, I did. He said that, this is a good layout for a small kennel. The heating in the floor, that's the most economical heating too. You see, you've got to put it in right. This is 6 to 8 inches on center, I think 3 quarter inch wide. I know there's about 70 elbows in it. It has two units. There was no sense in that because I never divided it. I always use the whole thing. I have a pressure pump. I can put it on automatically. In the beginning of Cliff and Bert Stafford short terrier breeding, Cliff wasn't interested in showing of their dogs. Albert changed his mind though. She said, if we're going to have dogs, I'm going to show. The first dogs they shipped to Wilford Brandon. Alberta was very interested in handling their dogs herself and the first super champion of the expert family, shown by Alberta in many dog shows was the legendary C.H. Expert Brindle Biff. He was the favorite dog of Clifford, Alberta and their daughter, Dorothy. When Peggy Doster asked Alberta, what is the name of the best dog or bitch you ever bred? Alberta said, Biff, he was my first dog. I suppose I'm partial. You know, first show dog. I took him to shows all over the country. I showed him all over. I took him all over the place and he won all over the country. I'd go in the ring and people would say, there goes that woman, again, with that dog. Alberta was licensed to judge staffs and boxers. She began to judging in 1940. In 1995 Peggy Doster asked Alberta, why did you decide to begin judging? Alberta said this, it got me out to California and it got me away from cleaning up kennels at home. It wasn't long ago that they wanted to know if I would come out there and judge the dogs. They had read on their catalog that I had been out there in 1979. Wouldn't I look cute, trying to judge dogs, boxers and staffs in any breed I can quality for, but I don't want to, you know, too much for me. I don't want to get out there and get sick or something, you know. Alberta, I was out in California, judging, and I had him staff in the ring that was all chewed up in his head. I said, this dog was in a fight, that was in 49 feet, I think, and he said, yes. He had a fight yesterday, they fought him, and I said he did, he's all chewed up. I said, will he shake hands with me? He said, yeah, but he shakes with his hind leg. He stuck his hind leg up to me and shook hands. This article was written by Jack Turner. I, I, thank you all for bearing with me on that on a comp computer voice, but you heard it clear as I did. Now I'm going to get to this comment. Brother Two Dog said, prove it. i never seen Tudor with a blue dog. Truthfully, none of us ever seen Tudor with shit. You know what I'm saying? And all we ever seen was Deep Dabo, maybe one or two more. <laughs> we ain't seen Tudor with no dogs. We ain't seen Carver with none. We, how many you seen the Carver dogs? I bet you we ain't seen more than five of them. Unless you was out there with Carver them. You know, Earl Tudor, we ain't seen them, none of them dogs them brothers had. You know, all we could do is go by what we what the information they got. The same thing we do with the regular dogs. You go by the information you read in them journals, and whatever Earl uh, Richard Stratton wrote, or whatever uh, Miss Diane Jessup wrote. You know, you go by them books. That's all you can go by. 
you know, and the information said the blue silver dogs was out there rolling during the early 1900s, late 1800s, you know, coming from, you know, being imported. That's why I wanted to have Nanny Dog up here. You know, it wouldn't have been right for me to do that video without having you up here, Nanny Dog. You know what I'm saying? Uh, at the end of the day, man, you know, every dog is going to be your own preference. If you like red dogs, black dogs, white dogs, buckskin, it's your own preference. You know what I'm saying? Um, the thing is, you know, for brothers who rock them kind of dogs, to find more information. Find more information. Find more information on certain things. You know what I'm saying? Um, it just is what it is. Uh, you can't get mad and think, oh, your dogs don't have this. If the, if the information is there, the information is there. You know what I'm saying? The information is there. That's all it is to it. Um, the staffies, the staffies came out after the pit bulls. Pit bulls was out way before staffies. Staffies was only a, a name that UKC had to give the pit bulls because they didn't want to use the name pit bulls. You know, uh, so the pit bulls was here before staffies was even thought about. When it comes to the staffies. Because, you know, we always like to throw them dogs to the staffies, but the staffies weren't here when these dogs was talked about in this article just, you know, put up. Staffies didn't come to later on down the line. And we done did a whole lot of articles that said, that told us that the pit bulls, only reason they was called staffs because they didn't want to register them as pit bulls in the UKC. AKC still don't uh, recognize pit bulls. AKC still doesn't recognize them. UKC was the only one to recognize them. And they still recognize pit bulls, you know, um, to this day. But, yeah, man, uh, I mean, and then we go by our papers. We go by our papers, but we, we all got to tell the truth. Your papers get to a part where it starts saying unknown at some point. We can go back, we can go back, we can go back. But then you start getting to the part where you just got uh, Kobe's dime, and then you see two or three dogs up there and the rest of it is unknown. Or then you got uh, Mr. Feely dogs and the rest of it is unknown. You know? So it just is what it is. Stuff that can't be verified, it can't be knocked either when you get some type of information. That ain't saying none of our dogs is this or that because our dogs come out the way they come out. But like Nanny Dog was trying to argue, he was trying to argue and say Blue was in each one of our dogs I, uh, the statement and that article, I'm not saying that it was in every single dog, but what that article did say was that the guy had a yard full of blues. And say, uh, well, like, no, one of them guys had it. One of the main characters had the blues and he had the reds, you know, and if the blue dog would have won that, that, that match, that particular match, then blue dog would have been more popular than what it is today. As far as, the, the game dog wise it's popular on the other end but it ain't popular on the game dog wise you know um uh ukc uh you you can't put that on show right now the show ukc is more modern day style because back when we was getting game dogs they all had purple ribbons in the papers you know you look in the papers when you got papers it wasn't no adba papers it was whatever kind of papers they had and then they had prs on the dogs you didn't see no dogs with no papers like you got now with no damn champion or grand champion, none of that shit on it. As far as now, you seen PRs, purple ribbon, whatever that meant, and you no, know, and it was what it was. You know, if you never seen PR in your papers, that that just tell your age. You know, all them brothers who had them dogs back in the 80s and the 70s, I guarantee you they seen PRs in some of their dogs. Jimmy Boots, I had the Jimmy Boots dogs. All the dogs had, Jimmy Boots had PRs all through his pedigrees. You know what I'm saying? All through his pedigrees. And these dogs coming close off of Jimmy Boots. They weren't directly off of him, but he was in the fourth generation where I can see it on the pedigree. Like, unlike some of these brothers be talking about, they got Carver dogs and this kind of dogs, and you can't look at it on eight generations. I got to go back 16 generations to see Carver name. Yeah. You might as well give the brother from the 90s the credit now. You know. Oh yeah. Hey, one. Th Man, none of us been back there during them times. You know what I'm saying? Not even the old schools that we hear these stories from now. They wasn't back there during this time. If we don't, if we don't talk, the most valuable person right now to this day, when it comes to the stories we telling. It's Mr. Floyd fucking Boudreaux. The 
the oldest motherfucking dog man still living that been out there kicking up dust with them old schoolers. Other than him, <laughs> ain't none of these old schoolers that's in their 60s and, and, and early 70s maybe could tell you about no damn uh, stuff from the 30s and the 40s and all that. All they going by is what they read themselves. You know what I'm saying? What they read. And, I mean, the Blue Paw Terrier exists. You know, uh, our thing ain't to say, oh, Mayday Blue or Yellow Blue or none of that. We we Our thing is to say what Nanny Dog was trying to say is these dogs existed in our category of dogs. You know what I'm saying? In our category of dogs with the game dogs back in them days. I told Nanny Dog two days ago, get us some information that these dogs existed back in the days. I said, fuck that. I went and got some, some information and Nanny Dog can go get the rest for the next five years. You know what I'm saying? And, and shit, but that's some information more than what I heard before. You know what I'm saying? The silver dog had the match, and they all dealing with Lightning and Tudor and all the brothers who got the game dogs. You know what I'm saying? All the same, and they and they made it clear. They said silver color. They didn't say black blue. Some sometimes during the statement they said the blackish blue dogs or the black um, um blue color dogs, but they said they made correct. They said silver. You know. That let you know they know what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, Jolin. Nanny dog, they can say what they want about them. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I can say, before I got on YouTube doing my dog training, forget the pit bull talk, before I even was doing my dog training, I seen GB up there. I ain't going to say his whole name, but it, GB. You know what I'm saying? I seen Nanny dog. During the same time, I seen Thompson. I seen Master of All Bulldog. This brother was out. This brother, a veteran on the dog in the YouTube dog game. You know what I'm saying? As far as being on the YouTube thing, you know, uh, and he and he stand for his his blue pit bull. You know what I'm saying? No matter what we tell him, no matter how we tell him that shit, he stand on it. And I had to go get a little information. So the information that I read ain't no different than the information I read in the Richard Stratton book. Ain't no different than none of the other information. It's all written. I wasn't there. I could go by what they say on this. You know this black and white right here. You know, um, it's just I don't think my dog got no blue in it. You know, the same way I think I don't think some of these brothers that scream Carver dog got Carver in it. You know, and we ain't got to go that far back. You know, we them brothers that we was listening to that article just now was making them moves in the 30s and the 40s. So when they made shifts and went different directions, dogs start looking how they was gonna look. You know, if they wasn't blue, they weren't going to be blue. If they were breeding black, white, or buckskin, or whatever, red nose, or whatever they was breeding, whatever direction they went, they went. It's been too much time from that point of time to now for us to even say that shit didn't exist like that. You know? Too much time. And all we can go by is what we read. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. And all we can go by is we know that you wouldn't accept certain things on your yard and your kennel. And I know I don't give a damn what that story say. You know what I'm saying? Period. My shit better not throw no damn blue. You know what I'm saying? But the, still, at the end of the day, that story, very, it helps Brother Nanny Dog with his argument because it's it telling you that, you know, they did exist. You know what I'm saying? It's telling you that they did exist. Uh, I mean, as far as their pedigrees, like I said, that'll be something, something good for a brother to really put some time and effort into finding which dogs is which. They, they said the dog Colorado was a silver dog that they was talking about. The Colorado M7 or M something like that. That was the silver dog. So, you know, from there you go look for the other stuff, other information, uh, Nanny Dog or whoever rocked the Blue Pit Bulls. You know what I'm saying? But like I said before, I don't know nobody. Nanny Dog will fuck you up about that Blue, them Blue Pit Bulls. Same way I do by Sambo. Nanny Dog, three times worse than me with them Blue Pits. So I got to represent for my, my folk out there. You know what I'm saying? And all the mother brothers who got them blue pit bulls out there, you know, they might feel the same way he feel. You know what I'm saying? Same way he feel. King Dutch, I dropped that link for you, big homie. You was talking that shit about me the other night. I don't know why you was talking shit about me, but damn. We can get up here and talk some dog talk tonight. You was airing me out the other night, King Dutch. I don't know why, man. I don't know why, but I dropped that link. Let me drop that link for them brothers down there, man. Let me drop that link.
Nanny Dog, what it do, my brother, what it do? Shout out to the whole Missouri. Yes, sir. Uh, shout out to all them dog brothers across the whole country, man. You know, especially the mid, the Midwest, all them, country, them states right there, right there in the middle that I really, really give shots out to. You know what I'm saying? They don't be on purpose. They just be, you know, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, we, we waiting to hear some stories from them bulldoggers in a lot of them states. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of stories going to be out, man. A lot of stories going to be out. But y'all going to be crushed when Nanny Dog brings some information about them blues that going to link right back to them damn Jeep dogs or them damn Eli dogs or them yellow dogs. Uh, I ain't going to be crushed myself. I'm just going to listen to it and know my dog in my yard is all I'm worried about. Y'all motherfuckers that worry about them eight generation pedigrees, Nanny Dog going to pull out some shit that's going to link your shit back to them silver dogs, which ain't a bad thing, which ain't a bad thing. It's only a bad thing to you because you mad about it. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, 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 Nanny Dog, I didn't answer the phone one time because I was busy, and the other time I didn't answer it on purpose because I wanted you to feel like I was coming at you. I wanted you to feel like I had some shit to talk to you today. That's why I put Nanny Dog on the hot seat. I wanted you to think I had some shit to talk to you, dog, but it was all love. You know what I'm saying? I had, once I found that information, I wanted to call you that night. Boy, I found something, boy. I found something, dog, right up your alley. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they said them blue pit bulls were around with when Kobe was robbed, when they first imported them. You know what I'm saying? They can be mad about that. I mean, shit, it is what it is. You heard the people say, again, silver silver um, buckskin. You know, silver buckskin. Man, I finally got him up here. I finally got him up here. What's Hello? Oh, no, I was walking my dog. What happened? What, what happened? I was walking my dog. What happened? No, nah, man, I played the article. I, I wanted to, first, I wanted to give you your props because, I, like I told them boys, you the only motherfucker I know that'll slap a nigga down about a blue pit bull when they start <laughs> talking about him, You know what I'm saying? So I had to give you your props. You know what I'm saying? At, at the beginning of the video, I say, man, I think we should nominate Nanny Dog to be the honorary representative of the blue pit bulls across the country because nobody, nobody really jump into conversation with us game dog brothers that want to go toe to toe with us and argue us down. And stick, you know, you stick to your point. So when I got the information, it said, you know, the blue dogs was around from the early early 1900s to the late 1800s, and it was in roles and it was in matches, and they got the different dudes' names who was matching them, the different women who was matching them, and what they did with them, and how they, why they went this direction and why they went that direction. It's in a computer voice, you know. what I'm saying that's the only bad thing about it. I, I didn't get it. Well, like, I'm gonna go back and watch. I'm gonna you know go back and watch because I. Ain't I, I was walking a dog. I just came in the house and seen that you was live. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This because, and that's why I was saying too, um, Nanny Dog. I got an article. The article ain't to say, oh, none of our dogs are blue. The article is to prove that the dogs existed in the game dog circuit before. Before we thinking the dogs never was in the game dog circuit, or we act like they was never in the game dog circuit. When the article is just there to say to give back ends on that it was in the game dog circuit, whether it prove it or not. You know what I'm saying? It give you ground to stand on to say, yeah, these dogs was doing this because now we got a man, we got a, a name of a man who had these dogs. You know what I'm saying? See what color did he call them? What color did he call them? Silver. 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 Like, didn't, I, didn't I say that last time we was live? Silver fun, uh, black and blue. You know what I'm saying? But they, 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 the name of the article was the Blue Pitbull Terrier and Staffordshire Terrier. Staffordshire, whatever. Pitbull, Staffordshire Bull Terrier. That was the name of the article. So everything they talked about that whole 15 minutes was going towards the um, you no know, the blue stuff. Did they say but anything now, about anybody adding them into they into their dogs? They talking they, about they talking about the breedings that was made. They was talking about how the blue and the red dog went against each other and the blue dog lost. And that's okay. why the popularity went down on that. Make they they said they guessing. They guessing that the popularity would have. They said, what if the blue dog would have won? Then maybe he would have been popular or as more popular than the red dog off that particular brother who was breeding. I want to say it was William Leitner or either uh, one of them, one of them brothers like that, one of them old school brothers. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, like I was saying, uh, I'm not gonna get no blue dog off mine because my dog not from a blue. And if you get a blue, that means somebody in the early, like in, the, in your four generations, probably done bred with a blue dog and told you. It was, I ain't talking about you, Nanny Dog. I'm talking to the brothers in the chat. They told you it was all for something else, but it had blue in it. You know what I'm saying? That ain't, you know, that ain't the argument. 
And I'm quite sure if a brother can breed a hound dog to a dog that's bred so tight and get a killer, do you think he can breed a blue dog and get a, get a dog just as good? Come on now. I mean, if I got it with a hot dog, I, I would, I would, I would say, I would say, yeah, I would say you yes know, because the same they always saying you can breed a pit bull to anything, and it's still gonna be. I tell you why you don't be. see no blue dogs in the box. Pride is why you don't see no blue dogs in the box. Everybody searching for the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody searching. Big shout out, big salute to my brother Dante uh, Hamilton in the in the chat. Hey, I, Hey, I'm glad you like that video I sent you, dog. I was gonna let the uh, chat see that video too as well, but I ain't get a chance to upload it yet. You know what I'm saying? I ain't get a chance to upload it yet, but a uh, big salute to you. But yeah, man, um, shit. A lot of brothers just got you know, they 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 look at they they look at the blue the dog like they look at the blue dog like it's like it's a uh, taboo. You know what I'm saying? Like it's something a bad luck or something like that. And that's just because our dogs don't date back to blue dogs when we look in our pedigrees. You know what I'm saying? But, but you got to figure out what happened. That's why I say it's up to you, Nanny Dog, to figure out what happened. Hell, I'll do it myself because I'm giving dog news, so I can figure out things myself, too. Why these dogs aren't in the bloodlines? Why nobody got a bloodline that's still running game, straight, straight game, blue stuff without having any bully or anything else in it? You know what I'm saying? far as they whole yard based on that. You know what I'm saying? Uh... You know, that's just information to find, and it's out there to find it, especially with this internet now. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit. Hey, like I said, the article up there, man, um, all you got to do, shit, listen to it again. It's a computer voice. I got that off Google. Everything you get off Google ain't true. You know what I'm saying? Everything you get off Google ain't true, but everything you read in the Sport Dog Journal ain't true either. But y'all y'all, y'all, y'all swear by it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all swear by that Sport Dog Journal. I mean, you gotta think about okay, if if that story was if that story was the other way around and the dog wasn't blue but the dog was black, people believe it. I mean, you like that's the reason why a lot of people back in the days, and I, I'm gonna keep on saying this, because of the that situation that you are talking about could be one of the situations why people was calling blue dogs because they was like, oh no, they don't want people to think that they got that they dog or throwing off the losing traits. Of the blue dog, and that I'm just going by what you just said a few minutes ago. Yeah, I mean, remember I said they was cold them. Mm-hmm. Some wasn't, some was. Some bred them into their dogs, some didn't. Because in the day, they still the knowledge I know they still was they were still dogs that had good wind and good structure. I that's the only thing I you know when I do my research like you doing yours is that they were they was good dogs. Man, but, all it take all it take is one dog, man. One of like any I'm gonna use any of y'all brothers down in the chat, for example. You know what I'm saying? One of y'all, one of y'all good dog man brothers down there, all it takes is one of y'all back in them days. Just say if y'all was the one that had the yard at least when the when the uh the silver and the red dog went against each other. Okay, say if you had the silver dog. All it takes for one great dog man to just get that get that dog uh you know bad name for us when people ask him about him. Oh, uh, they you know, he they ain't that game or they ain't this, and people are just gonna start weeding away from it. They're gonna start breeding other ways, you know, especially back then when they was looking for certain things. It was all about action. It wasn't about color back then. You know what I'm saying? So they wasn't getting the blue dogs for the money. You know, uh, they was there because they was there for the same purpose the rest of the dogs was. But at, you know, once I guess once certain people that was in the dog game made their decisions, you know, it just is what it is. The same reason why you don't got white dogs. I hear like you had them back in the 80s and the 90s. You know, they just as game as the rest of them. Now say something about the white dogs. What y'all got to say about the white dogs? Because the damn sure ain't out here like that. I ain't talking about cow patch. I ain't talking about the dogs with the little spots and stuff on them. All white. Maybe got one they white, use, maybe got one spot on them somewhere. You know, they used to say all, they go blind. That was the term they said they went blind. A whole white dog gonna go blind or deal. That was the saying that I grew up on that they go blind or deal. The all yeah. white dog. I mean, hey, I heard I definitely heard that. I definitely heard it. But I mean, it's just when, when we start getting to the point where we don't like certain colors, it don't take but a generation to weed that shit. We weed, weed that shit out the dog game. You know what I'm saying? It don't take but one generation. Same way you don't see too many white dogs now. Give it 15 more years. You won't see no white dogs. You know, we'll be wondering where they went at. 
Can I ask you a question? Hey, summer, oh, hold up real quick. Oh, and then dog, oh, um, oh, oh, keep, keep that question on you. Keep that question real quick. Don't forget it now. Samurai say that Samurai say the key thing down there. Back in my day, Samurai, when I was doing my thing, it was two two dogs I didn't want to fuck with. The black dog and the white dog. And that's because the black dog was hard to hide scars. And the white dog, you know, it was like you just said, hard to keep clean and just basically the same way. You know what I'm saying? Hard to keep them damn scars off them black dogs. Other than I didn't really fuck with the Eli stuff, but you know, a black dog, whether it was Red Boy Jock or whatever, them scars was just, man, you couldn't, boy, look at them scars was hard to heal up. A buckskin dog, I keep that thing going. I don't have to slow my train down. My train keep going. That black dog, boy, I got to sit back for a minute, boy. I can't even take him for a walk. He look like Freddy Krueger done got hold to his ass. Legs all scratched up. Man. Yeah, them, them, them black and white dogs are hard to keep clean, man. A lot of the white dogs went deaf. What you was about to hear that, hear that nanny dog? What's, what's up with could, it? Could you, could you think that, I mean, you said back in the day that it was white, and we I'm just going to use a white dog, and I'm going to use a blue one because we already in there. Could you think that they once they start taking them colors out the dogs and I was going toward them, that that's why the dogs went smaller in bones and head and body and stuff? Could you think that's why they went downer because the that maybe been the trait that made them bigger what the uh the, the silver color the silver color or the white dog could be the think, you know I they, they could have had bigger bones i think they got smaller, i think they got smaller because of our inbreeding uh as, and inbreeding didn't start with just us it was earl two to them if you look back in their pedigrees and kobe and them boys they were starting to do some inbreeding here and there but Don Mayfield and Mr. Carver and all them boys from that era and, and Carver and all them, them boys inbred them dogs like a mug. And then they passed them down to the brothers right before my generation. They did they inbreeding. You know what I'm saying? Tant them boys did they inbreeding. My, my era did our inbreeding. And these brothers who got the dogs now, you know, uh, the Macho Buck era, the early 2000s and you know, all, they did they breeding. Now the brother's doing this. So I think the smallness is just coming from the breeding-wise, man. That's why I was saying in a few videos back, um, you know, uh, it sounds crazy to say it, but you can breed probably to uh, a dog that's real game. Like them brothers always screaming them Patterdales. I don't think they, they, they their body structure is right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell y'all, I'm just going to give you an example. Why brothers always say hound dogs. But you look at when you think some brothers think hound dogs, they thinking bloodhound. Because the big ears, the big long dog, nah, 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 nah. Hound dog, more like uh uh what's the or black mouth curves. Game dogs, game dogs, just as I say cool hounds. Cool hounds cool cool not rough as cool hounds are rough. But I I don't I gotta get to a coon hound brother and, and, and tell me what coon hounds damn put that damn thing down you know but I know the black mouth curves and them cattle hoolers will fight to the death you know what I'm saying and they long they they long they rangy and they windy you know what I'm saying so if I breed my dog with a patterdale I'm gonna get a shorter dog but if I breed my dog with one of them dogs I just said he's gonna be still pit bullish he ain't gonna look no different it's not gonna throw off the look make him look like a hound dog. You know what I'm saying? Because the hound dog been in the pit bull too long as far as the hound dog look for us to even notice any hound look to a dog. Like, oh, he like a hound dog. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he must be mixed. Now, nah, them dogs had hound look in them so many years. Now, we used to that shit. So, say, boom. You breed them with a tall hound dog. Now, your dog's still going to be tall and lanky and long. Game as hell. But that gene pool just opened up, which put you in a whole other category when it comes to breeding. You can now inbreed again. You can now do all that, that breeding that you wanted to do when that dog was that tight, 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 but you can do it again now because you open up the gene pool to a whole nother sector, a whole nother. You never know how far that, that how deep that shit is open up like a black hole. You open it's like you got a black hole open. It just go deep, 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 deep. Cause you know, most of them dogs like that is not inbred it. None of that shit like them pits and then brothers, most brothers who do working dogs, they breed the better working dogs. They don't like to go to their same stock all the time. You want to go to better working dogs. If somebody I got them, got them. I go to them. If T T Tony M got them, I go to him. I want to have all these brothers in my pedigree by the end of the damn next five years. I want Hemi James in my pedigree. He got the top shit in my, you know, that's how brothers who do working dogs get their dogs. And that's how they get a super dog. You know what I'm saying? They get all them brothers who got them good dogs. 
And we make sure with all them shits in our pedigree. You know what I'm saying? And then you got a super dog, plus you got a gene pool out of this world. You know what I'm saying? But with the pits, we go total opposite. We go for the tight, 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 small, 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 and we get sick, sick, uh, small, unhealthy dogs, weak ass immune systems, all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we think we think that it don't. I think that is. Hey, can I ask you a question? Okay, now that you got the information that you say that you heard, right? Like, a student life say a uh, red bone coon hound is a killer. Hey, listen, I, I listen. I, I you listen. Coon hound is a dog that catch prey, depending on who owns it and what that. You know what I'm saying? So it it do have traits of a terrier in it, or y'all or people hey, say bulldog. Hey, I tell you what, nanny, a coon a coon or drown up. They say a coon or drown a pit bull in the water. You know, just a foot of water. Say, I don't need that much. Just a little bit of water. A coon to take. Coon ain't no joke. So if you could take a coon out. You know, I know a brother back in the days, you know what I'm saying, used to mess around with coons and stuff like that with their pits. You know, uh, do a little training and stuff like that. Because if your dog if your dog could take a coon out, you know what I'm saying, it's not no dog. But boy, a coon, a coon, a coon ain't no joke. And the thing about a coon, you, know. you can eat it. You can eat it when you're done with it. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't, you ain't going to put your dog on a sick coon. You know what I'm saying? So shit. So back to the remember, remember the other day when I said that and people thought it was a myth. Do you think that maybe the dog that I was talking about, they tried they tried it and that's who they took them against? Like they retried, like somebody had it in a yard and they you know what so I'm saying. Red they, boy, red boy yeah, 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 yeah. Do, I mean, like if you okay. think about the story, people, let me put people on what we're talking about. Okay, okay. so what, what nanny dog talking about is when y'all heard um the uh, thing where I played for Red Boy um a few days ago when it uh Brother um Jack Kelly said he talked to Till and Till told him a guy pulled up and Red Boy was on the back of the truck. You know, I at the beginning of the video, you know, I said what was Red Boy history? You know, that's that's something else a brother can really take time and try to figure out. Red Boy history before Mr. Till got him. He was a grown dog. Red Boy got a whole fucking history that we don't even know about, you know, before Mr. Till even got him. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Nanny Dog was talking about. He was like, you know, we just gonna make some assumptions. We just gonna play because brothers like to play the guessing game sometime and all that. So we just gonna play that right now. What if everything Mr. Jack Kelly said is true? He talked to Mr. Till. The man brought the dog to the, the restaurant and he said, "I got a dog on the back of the truck." But what if the dog had already got beat by some of the dogs Nanny Dog was talking about earlier before? You know, when I was saying that it wasn't true. You know, Red Boy got a whole fucking history that we don't know about. You know, whole history we so, don't know about. So can I say it like this then? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna say that yeah. That, okay, can you give me a little bit? Because I think you said that it was a it was a story about that the blue. You said the blue dogs would win for the if they would have if they would have uh beat the component that was red, right? Well, the editor said it's a it's a you know they're just wondering. The editor said they're just wondering if the blue dog would have won in that particular match. Would it have been more popular in that era than they were? Because after he lost that match, he got rid of the dog, and you know, did when else? You know, went in another direction. You know, so they were saying if the silver dog would have won against the red dog, you know, would they have made the silver dog more popular in the game dog world? You know, far as being you know bred up on everybody's yards. But they was speaking on Earl Tudor had different dogs, or this per person had different dogs, and people he bred to had different ones. So, you know, um, just go back and listen to it and do some research yourself, dog. Don't just go on that. You know what I'm saying? Go on what you read. Okay, you know okay. So I'm I'm just gonna do a rough down. Cause it, so what what if the story I told the other day was true? And because you gotta think, buddy, you saying that. The dog, the where did the dog go to? At the end of the day, I gave you a little bit of it, and you saying that you gave a little bit more. So could it, it could be that, and that's coming from a person that didn't write it, that that knew it, and didn't write it down like you know where everybody else pull up that that happened because that could have happened. Somebody could have said, okay, I didn't fix, I didn't fix the bad thing about it, and I'm gonna put it back out there and see what happens. And that could have been the component that they that they put it against. You get where I'm coming from? If it makes sense, oh, yeah. I, it might it might be a myth, 
but it could be that somebody did try it again and that was hey, the dog they tried it with. Salute to my brothers in the chat. Brother came and say niggas bored on a Monday night. Nah, man, we ain't bored. We just respect everybody's opinion. Ain't no different, you know what I'm saying, than you being over there on Buck City Channel and he ain't never did shit got, telling y'all a bunch of lies. You know, you that ain't boring to you. <laughs> we gonna talk the truth tonight. At least we gonna talk some logical shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> tell, tell, me, tell me some stories about Michael Myers if you're bored. And I'll tell you that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't wanna talk about nothing but Michael Myers. If you ain't talking about that, we talking about them blues. Or whatever I got on my curriculum, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, excuse me. If you if if you want to know if you want to know everything about it, prime example is okay. They always talk about marriage and all that, and who get who went against who and all that. Okay, this is part of that knowledge. So why would you not want to? Why do you only want to hear one part of that's knowledge? That's because now, though, let me explain to, something to you about these brothers in the pit bull game. They only want to see it one way. They only want to see it one way. The same way they jump all over Hulk. I jump all over Hulk because he's a pit bull, but really they don't jump on him because he's a pit bull. They jump on him, that man, because he's successful with a dog and they call him a pit bull. You know what I'm saying? These brothers out here only want to see it one way. At the end of the day, the dog, like I said before, many times, many videos before, the dogs that you brag about, them Jeep dogs you got ain't shit, them Eli dogs you got ain't shit, them Red Boy Jocko dogs you got ain't shit. Everybody, you got a whole bunch of curves and all them bloodlines. You know what I'm saying? That the blue dog will run through like it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't nothing. Now, I will say, none of my dogs, none of these brothers' dogs that we be talking to, none of them supposed to come from a silver color dog. You know what I'm saying? That we know of. But if you find out information on that, I'm willing to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? The same way I listen to and so read you saying it. saying find out how to dissect they pigs and shut them up. Basically, that's what you telling me. You no, know, I'm saying find the brothers who own these dogs. You know, you got... Okay. You know, uh, when you got find out who you know that had these dogs as far back as you could, then from that person you go back to the next person who had them back far back as you could find, or the next little bit of information. You know what I'm saying? The more information you can get on who actually imported this, who had this, who had this. Listen, I gave them boys shit saying they main core, the people they brag about all the time. Earl to the light and all them had them damn silver dogs. You know what I'm saying? Whether they got them now or whether they put them in die boy or the rest of them, it don't matter. They had them before. You know what I'm saying? That's all we was trying to prove. We weren't trying to say they was they was Mayday or they was this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? They weren't trying to do it. You know? And I always say, man, I will drop the link for any brother that want to talk bulldog talk. When we talking bulldog talk, you know, that want to give us some more knowledge on anything, any pedigree, any bloodline, it's specifically what's on your yard. You know? And like I said before, you know, <laughs> any brother... So did so did it tell what Ur Earl Tudor did with the dogs? Cause I mean, the dogs can't. I mean, it's, the it's the computer voice, man. So you know how that go. You be better off sometimes reading this stuff so than listening so to it. Do, in it, do you voice. know any older that that ever been on on his yard to be able to give us the rest rest of the information? Now nah, I'm gonna tell you what you do. Get in touch with Mr. Floyd Boudreau. That's that's who we're gonna give you your most accurate information right now when it comes back to all that shit. The same way I was saying this now. Get in but, touch with the Floyd or one of his sons to get in touch with him. You know what I'm saying? And then you sit down and have a real man-to-man -man conversation with him. Don't try to over-talk him or nothing like that about the blues. Let him tell you about I'm, the blues. I listen. I listen. When yeah, let him, in, I listen let him tell you about the blues. And then, and then whatever he telling you, damn what them boys in the chat talking about. You know what I'm saying? Some of them boys in the chat only been in the dog game two and a half years. They didn't told us that. So what the hell do they damn fucking damn matter? You know what I'm saying? Shit. Hell with that shit, man. Find out your information about your dogs. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't even think the information that I found was going to say what I what it said. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even think that was up there. But when I said it, I, I, heard, I read it, I had to pull it up. You know? Because they said the silver dogs was rolling this time, the silver dogs was rolling that time. You know? Y'all mad about the silver dogs, but y'all ain't mad about that damn rock ball of that mall cut put in that damn hog dog. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't mad about that. Oh y'all, y'all, y'all think oh copper, copper, copper. Man, that's what I tell you about Nanny Dog. Don't even worry about that shit, dog. Do your thing with your dogs, cause these boys out here be capping and half of them ain't got no damn game dogs to damn self. Hey, you know, man, they got game bread, but they ain't game. <laughs> it's a difference, big dog. Hey, 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 hey Fetty Kibay, do me listen, do me a favor, listen. At the end of the no. day, I, I put like this. If you ain't listen. I appreciate what you did as me being a spokesman for the blue dog. Let, let me say this first of all, I've been a spokesman for it. I appreciate what you did. 
But I'm going to tell you like this. You can't open up nobody's mind that's closed. They don't want to know the knowledge. So you gave them, a, you gave, listen, at least you learned something. Yeah. Everybody ain't got to learn because at the end of the day, guess what? At the end of the day, the, the blue dog been around for many years. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't a, a million of them like it's every other dog. But it's it's people that's bringing yeah. these dogs that's not just selling these dogs to anybody. They're giving these dogs real jobs. So it, it doesn't matter if if they come in for a certain if they come for a breed of dog at the end of the day. You gotta remember, you just you just said they probably called them dogs because people don't know that the pit bull went under AM staff because it was a bad name and they and the, the and registry wouldn't register them under pit bull because of the 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 bad blank, so they called them AM staff. If if they didn't tell you that, that's part of the knowledge that people don't even know. So when you see AM staff, it, it could be a full blooded pit bull. It just it just went under a, a, diff, a different people bred it and did something different with. They had their dog they worked in the I, field, and then they had their now, dog that they took to the show. Now let me, now let me tell my dog brothers this, right? So how you can get mad at another man or or try to knock what another man do about the blues when I might feel like that about the black dogs. I might feel like that. I, to me, a black dog and an Eli dog is no different than a damn blue dog. That's why I tell you, bring them shits because it's nothing but money to me. I like when you go buy them black motherfuckers and them Eli dogs and all that garner and, and all that shit. I don't care where you get it from. Eli, Eli, Eli. I like when you go buy it. You know, you know why? Because I, to me, that shit is a blue dog. I run through them shits like blue dogs. You know what I'm saying? So why can you knock the next man by the blue dog when I feel the same way about a black dog? By the seal, though. Any of them dogs, <laughs> seal, black, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what other color y'all love? You know? It's the same thing, man. Everybody got their own stuff where they love, but you can't knock the next man because his style is different than yours. That's why I noticed when I went upstate compared to down south. Down south, everybody, you, they, they want to be the same. They, they When you wear something different, when you act different, you, you be noticed down south. Up north, Everybody fucking different. Everybody got their own fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? Doing their own thing and they they strange in their own way and it's normal. You know what I'm saying? That's the same way with the bloods. Everybody want to have the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let whoever love what they love, let them love that. And, and shit, if you don't want no grades, don't breathe for that. Hold up, hold up. What it is, what it is, what's going on? What's going on, man? Ain't too much. What's going on with you tonight? Shit, just cooling, just cooling, cooling. Hey, I'm just listening, man. And I just had to say something. Oh shit, you welcome to come up. I tell any of y'all bro brothers, man. You ain't gotta even be talking about what we talking about. You wanna send somebody a shout out or whatever? Oh, shit. I, I I wanna know. I wanna know. Hey, nanny. Yes, hey, sir. Nanny. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, nice right, to meet you, right, sir. How's that dog you got bred? Oh. Uh, yeah, what, sir? Don't tell everybody how it bred. Tell everybody how who bred. Oh, how, how that dog bred. The blue you got. The blues or whatever you got. Do you want to purchase one, sir? No, I want to know how they bred because I didn't hear you talk about this same conversation on Buck Channel. When they ask you how it's bred, you're lost. No, that's, sir, that's I'm not lost. I don't, listen. That's the first time of a man trying to make up something on his dog. No, sir, I'm not listening. I don't listen. Let, let me say something to you. Hold on, hold on. Let me jump right in here. I understand quick. about the old school dog. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all, <laughs> these brat, all these bad new blues that's popping up are bullies, bro. Okay, you sir, you, you, you listen, you sir. It's the end of the day. You ain't did no... 60 years of consistent breeding to get no fucking blue all of a sudden. Sir, listen. Let me explain something to you. Not, anybody got the sugar coat, man? Just be real. No, let, 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 me, let, let me say something. Hold on, hold on. You came up here. You asked me a question. I'm going to ask you a question. I don't tell how my dog... I don't tell how my dog bred anyway. Oh, no. You're not purchasing... You listen. You're not purchasing no dog, period, point blank. At the end of the day, my dog is bred how I want it to be bred. If you don't want to purchase one, it's, it's no reason to duck business like that. What am I telling you that for? So you can try to dissect something? Anything that goes on, the, you call it, you call, listen, you call so it a dog that's, you call it, listen, you call it a dog a bully, listen, sir, hold on, stop, stop. First of all, you've been disrespectful by calling my, my APBT a bully. 
That that first thing you was, sir. I, I haven't disrespect you yet or talked about your dog. How many blue dogs? Like you don't know. How many listen. blue dogs you got? Let's ask that. How, How many, many blue dogs I got? Yeah. I don't. I I don't have no blue dog. Actually, I have a dog that who turns with blue, but I don't have a blue dog. Cause Max not blue. Do you see a blue? Are you looking at a blue dog? Or are you looking at a brown dog? You know, people didn't hurt the conversation, bro. You you said that when Buck asked you that, you said your dog was the Eli, Bodio. It got some Jeep in it. It got a little red. But no, it, I, you, I did not say that. Nope, 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 nope. I, I said the female. No, 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 no. I said the female that was bred to off of, off of his little mate brother was bred to a female with that. See, you you listening to what you want to listen to. No, I did not say that. No, I did not say that, sir. I said the fee. I said if he don't have papers, see you look. They kill poor about this, sir. Let me ask you a question. Go what ahead. are you chasing me? What, what are you chasing me down about my dogs for? When you don't want to buy my dog, listen. I'm not going to listen. I'm no. never going in the box. Listen, hold on, stop, stop. I'm never no. going in. Listen, I'm listen. I'm never going in the box with you. So it doesn't matter if if, if he's a pit bull or not. That's oh. only that was only mer that was everybody, only mer stop sir stop sir anybody. stop you came up here to talk to me and I'm gonna talk to you. The yeah. only thing that mattered back in the days was the merits about them dogs. It didn't matter what color they were, it was about the merits that they can get at the end of the day. Second of all, at the end of the day, I'm going a different lane with my APBT than you are, so we don't have no reason to talk about that. So you anything else you want to know is I'm not telling you my dog pedigree. <laughs> Unless you want to buy a puppy, and I'm not uh, bringing right now. Hey, give me a puppy, bro. I don't, I don't do bullies. I'm just being real. I don't do bullies, cuz. Live your life. What's going hey, on, hey, man? Hey, hey, sir, let me ask you a question. You breed pit bulls? Yes, good, I, I, I've been breeding dogs. I've been breeding dogs. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, so. It, I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to you. So, I can't hear you. They're just talking a lot. Hey, 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 uh, I'm sorry, so, student for life. Well, what? Wh Try to talk one at a time, man, so we can understand y'all brothers. <laughs> go ahead, though. Go ahead with y'all talking about, though. Uh, that's all I got to say, really. Because he, he tell a lie when you're not here, one. That shit don't even sound. It don't. It, listen, it could be a lot. Listen. Or if you want to feed somebody with this blue stuff, you can listen. Hey, listen. It don't matter. Listen. It don't matter. Listen. It don't matter. At first, at first it was a myth. Listen. At first, it was a myth. At first, listen. Let me tell you something like, like this. Let me tell you something like this. What you make you it. listen? What make you a replica breeder and the man who I bought the dog from? Y'all act like I bought my dog. Listen, first of all, you act like I bought my dog from a fucking backyard breeder. I bought it from a real breeder. And first of all, y'all say I put what twenty five hundred? I paid thirty five hundred for that fucking meal that that made him. Fuck are you talking about? With I papers put, and pedigree. I so put, what are you talking about? I they they, they were to get. They, listen, no. they were to get sir. They were to get sir. Them dogs always out, out, out a, a high price because they went into a different lane than the, than the other dog. So when we talk about that, bro, I don't give a fuck what you really talking about, bro. I don't. I'm not gonna discuss nothing about my dog pedigree to you, bro. At the end of the day, we on two different levels, bro. You up here worrying about my dog for what fucking reason? Out of all the niggas on YouTube, out of all the niggas on listen, all the niggas on YouTube, you niggas worrying about my dog. So you, it must be a listen, listen. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you what the wise dog man told me. It must be a threat. It must be a threat in your mind that you hating on that dog. What 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 about that dog you hating on? Because because his phenotype look good. Because his phenotype look good. He look good. So what are you hating on him for? Just sound stupid, bro. You sound stupid. Just saying. And won't nobody tell you you sound stupid. Won't nobody tell you you sound stupid, cuz. This, you you want to come up with some blues all of a sudden? Nineteen blues, nineteen nineties, no blues. All of a sudden, it's two thousand. Not bullies around. Is you got a blue? Come on, shit don't sound right. A blue what? Pitbull? That's what he's saying. Respect. Oh, sir. Yeah, sir. It was. Listen, sir. It was in. A, listen. It was in. A, it was in the nineties. Anybody who you ain't, you want you you didn't go around the anybody sir. Let, let me say something. From the west to the north to the east. Okay. If you don't go to okay. different states, okay. listen. People he breed different. For some years. I people weren't even trap. It wasn't on internet. People silly. weren't traveling like that, bro. So if you if you didn't know nobody, you if, these dogs in different areas. You can't say they didn't exist. I, I didn't you can't say they didn't exist because you went everywhere around the world to see the dog. Wait, you can say I was into Red Boy for 50, forty some years. That you was into Red Boys, you didn't look outside. Enough. So everybody knew you knew you like the Red Boy. 
Or if you like the Bodio, everybody knew you like the Bodio. If you like the Eli, everybody, everybody knew you like Eli. Chat, Come on, brother, I guarantee you, everybody in this chat, if anyone they dog drop a blue goddamn pepper, they'll better pull that motherfucking hair out. Because they know that shit don't supposed to happen. I don't give a fuck what butt you fucking with. Uh, a certain uh, a man got up here two days ago and said he uh he had two blue uh yeah, he guess, if, guess where he got his dog from. Look who he yeah. got his dog from. Yeah, yeah, get his dog from the dog. Respectfully, he came from ten. No probably can't. No probably had some damn. That ain't, no, that, ain't, that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Hey, about hey, about hey, hey, respectfully. That ain't nothing about yeah, about. Respect, respectfully. I don't give a fuck if you get a dog from the moon. There ain't no blue pit bulls. Appreciate it. Thank you. Anybody That's know respectfully. I ain't trying to put no one down and none of that, but we didn't, we didn't, we didn't. Niggas done been through this before. This is this Thank argument. You. Like respectfully, this you're not. If, if, if you get a pitbull and it got blue in it, it's not a pitbull. It got some bully in the bloodline, the pedigree somewhere. Somebody, and why I listen. Why listen? Excuse, excuse, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I'm not hating on either. Excuse me, sir. Let, let me say true. something. Why do it? Listen. Why do I have to be listen? Let, let me say something. Why do I have to be I'm a bully? Listen, when, listen. What? Listen. Why do I have to be a bully when it could be an am staff? That's the first thing I go to bully. It could be an am staff. That's cool. It could be. It could be an am staff. It's not a pitbull. That's but, but listen, am staff. And listen, am staff and pitbulls are the same thing. They, I, I I get what you're saying. On Is that they, they 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 are the same. They are the same they, thing. They stem. I I the the, the pitbull stem from the am staff, and I get that, but. But it, the people in the the people in the am staff today ain't the same thing. A people will snatch his am staff to fuck up. Game over. Not the same. They're not. They years, used to be. Years, I get what you're saying. They came from ago. the same. I get. I get. They came from Ireland from the am staff. I know. We we you know everyone in there already know the history. We that's why we in here because we because we because we do our homework and we love the we love the um game dog the bullies and all that. But um. Yeah, respectfully to um hey, hey yes, well guess what? I love listen, that's the most thing. Listen, that's the hey, most and then it dog. I told that's you one time me and you talked before, right? I say the only problem that brothers have that you gonna always have problems with when it comes to the argument is same thing the brother said a few minutes ago when he started asking you pedigrees, dog. See, that's what that's the main thing that when when, when, when me and say me and live your life, dogs argue about something or if me and um um, uh, brother, uh, um, Anthony argue about something. You know what I'm saying? With the dog, okay, okay. he gonna always resort back to, okay, Anthony, your dog ain't shit. He ain't this. He gonna resort back to the pedigree. PBK, your dog ain't shit. I'm gonna resort back to the pedigrees. You know what I'm saying? So that's why when he's saying, yo, what your dog off of, or what's this, or what's that, mm. it's not that they no, know. No, well, I, I ain't gonna front though. I'm from, I'm, I'm in, a, um, I'm in Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> like, honestly, I, I, I just got hit. Not hip, like we I already knew there was like pedigrees and all that, but it's where I'm from is the city, right? So mm -hmm. motherfuckers didn't give a fuck about pedigrees because ain't ain't no one got like big yards to be having 50 dogs and 20 dogs because yeah. we're in the city. So niggas was just getting the wildest dog. Yeah. Like it didn't, and niggas wasn't thinking about it was like okay, Derek got fucking two wild dogs that that went to Brockton. Brockton and killed some shit, so we copping puppies off them. You know what I mean? The pedigree shit wasn't heavy out here because the 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 the, the yard space out like that's what's crazy about the world. Like the yard space out, ain't heavy out here to really go crazy with the breeding shit. So it was just like fuck it. I'm gonna cop two two dogs, three dogs that I could fit in my apartment or my crib with the little yard in back in. And because I can only cop two or three, I got to cop dogs that are getting busy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the yep. pedigree shit wasn't heavy out here at all because niggas wasn't breeding. Niggas were just copping dogs to fight. So it was like, fuck it. We, niggas is putting money up. All that pedigree shit wasn't. Yeah. Big, you know what I mean? Niggas is putting money up and you want to have the wildest dog that's going to, you know how it go, man. Going to mm -hmm. make you win. No, you no. win and you're going to get that reputation and get the money because you know the reputation is, is worth more than the money. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, hey, I, so you, go ahead. So what, would you say, what, what would you say? No, I was, I was about to say, uh, Bay, why do, listen, why do I have to tell them my, my pedigree when they're going to try to die sick? Well, first of all, let, of hold on. Let, let me explain to you. My 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 male that was blue. His parents weren't even blue. His mother was uh red and white. His daddy was black and white. I ain't. He came out of that. 
that because that's of the way they happens, bread. Though. That's 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 genetics. Okay. That's genes. Okay. That now, you, you see, I say uh, JD is what I care about. My dog in my yard, right? I care about my dog in my yard. But when me and a brother get to argue, we get to argue. I got that pedigree to fall back on. You know what I'm saying? I can say, yo, boom. He offer this or he offer that. He offer this or he offer that. Whether he like it or not, you know, that's just where we can go, you know, our argument back and forth will be our pedigrees or about our dogs. You know, uh, that's 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 other than that, the dog himself, that's all we got to fall back on in the game dog world is our pedigrees and our and our bloodlines, you know what I'm saying, and the history that come behind the dogs, you know, as far as the people and you know, the yeah, name. The names and stuff. Your name come first before because you could have a dog, you could have a dog. That motherfuckers don't know the pedigree or the bloodline. But if that's just killing everything with a pedigree in the bloodline, exactly. nigga, your name gonna be big. It can oh, yeah. you could have a dog oh, yeah. that niggas don't know or it came from nowhere. But if it's murking shit in the in, in the pit in the ring, you know guess what? it's, it's guess gonna what? put the name regardless. And that's the hey, shit well, I guess what, guess what? That's the shit I made videos about six months ago. Cause you telling a hundred percent truth, dog. I'm gonna tell you what they're gonna do. That dog gonna kick ass all across the state. He ain't got no papers. He, he ain't got no nothing. And, and he might can even be blue. A brother will take a chance. If he kicking ass, brother, forget the color. You know what I'm saying? Brother and say, oh, he's so black, he blue. He look blue. be a golden yeah, retriever man. if he's killing if shit. That motherfucker kicking ass. I'm gonna tell you what they're gonna do in the yeah, brothers in the chat. You probably already him. know what I'm gonna say. They're Go gonna ahead. put papers on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gotta have no papers. They're gonna they read the dog. They're they gonna hang some him. papers on yep. him. You already that's that's all I'm gonna say. Mm -hmm. like a couple kills that nigga will have some papers. Yep. Even if they don't got no papers on the dog, they're gonna breed to them and they're gonna have their own papers. Yeah, he already yep. got he got, listen, he, he already got, got he's at the house. I got my own papers. Even if you I gotta do even if you gotta do the thing where you do three, four generations and you but but it's no not, no 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 he got listen, sir. He already had papers. You got that killer, you up there where you at, bro. I'ma take mellow yellow. That motherfucker you got is phenomenal. I'm taking mellow yellow. I got her damn brothers and sisters' papers and all kind of shit. I'm we, I'm a bring I'm a I'm a breed with your dog and say I bred with my damn dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If your dog don't got no damn papers, I'm talking yeah. about like that's what the average person will do. You know all what I'm saying? Know is okay, that so the dog yeah. so let me make this claim. Let me make this claim. First of all, sir, my dog does have papers. Second of no, all, my we dog. We talking about your dog, bro. We talking about in general, big homie. No, we but I want to. I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't, I don't believe in that sport, sir. That's not my. I'm. I told you, I'm in a different line. So I don't so believe in that sport. Go back in my, dog day, be, my dog can be. My dog be famous off something besides this sport. I know it's all oh, kind yeah, of things yeah. I can make my dog famous. Nah, we are talking about back in the day, bro. Don't none yeah. of us do that no more. Yeah, yeah. None of us do that. I got, I got two, two um pits right now, and I use, I use them for hunting coyotes, mm -hmm. fox, and other shit that I, I mean, bring my cousin. Well, we I got, a, well, I got a pup. I got a, I got a puppy. There's there's um well offered his little mate brother catch hog and was bred with a red boy Jocko body on tombstone female. Now you had got eight had, yeah. had, eight, had eight puppies. Only reason he got bred because he was a good hog hunting dog. So at the end they I really don't care about what nobody talk about on the internet because I listen, I can get off here today or tomorrow and finish doing what I'm doing, training my dog and doing what I'm doing. I don't need they approved. I don't even need to tell them nothing about my dog because any day any day I can just say forget this internet stuff. And to go back on my life before 2019. As long as you respect no hey, dog, as long as you as long as you love your dog, I don't give a fuck if it's a poodle or a Yorkie, nigga. It's your dog, you love it. And I respect that. I was just giving you my opinion, but at the same time, we are everyone in here love the dogs. I'm I'm not in here for all that arguing and smoke bullshit. Oh, yeah. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? Yep. I love dogs. I didn't. I didn't had. I didn't had a dog that was half fucking Chihuahua, half Maltese. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna. And argue I about love that dog people. the same way I love my pit bulls. So it ain't no different. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no yeah, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna argue about a blue dog, nanny dog, the blue you know dog man. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, nanny, you can't get mad when I say get mad. You get when I say uh, we all get mad sometimes when people talk about our dogs. But at the end of the day, you gotta. Listen to what brother's saying and understand they're not talking about you specifically all the time. But when he asks your question, like a lot of your friends is gang dog brothers. Like me, I'm your friend, I'm gang dog brother. Summarize your friend, gang dog brothers. You know what I'm saying? So these brothers got when you jump in the conversation, gang dog brothers, you jump, right, gang dog, big dog. Yeah, when, when you jump in these conversations with brothers, you know, you gotta have some since you know some 
That's the first thing they're going to hit you with, dog. That's the first thing they're going to hit you with. What's your pedigree? What's okay, your okay. Let, let me explain something to you. I learned this I learned this back in 2010 when I was going around and I was saying about they don't make people listen. They you you told you told your pedigree. Everybody on here told their pedigree, but they not selling puppies because they keep on telling their pedigree. All y'all do with pedigree is go through and dissect each other's dog. Why would I give you opportunity to even try to open up something? Only thing you open up is say my dog not a pit bull, blue dog not a pit bull, and, and my dog don't have paper. Even you can't dog go into pet. Even dog you can't go into pedigree. pedigree. That's look, what make the dog. That's look. listen. That's what make the what child say make the dog is a pedigree. Yeah, I nope. can't dissect my pedigree. Nope. I would never open up that door and let anybody dissect well, my pedigree. The dog is the person, but at the end of the day, listen, the, listen, the, the person make it right. But to see the same way we we all say Dark Dynasty Hulk is not full blooded. His pedigree, he got a whole generation of pedigrees on them dogs that he got now. Them dogs got pedigrees all the way back to whoever Hulk came off of. You know what I'm saying? Whether they, whether they our bloodline or not, whether they our papers or not, they got pedigrees on them. That's what it's about, dog. You know, um, we don't gotta we we say oh we don't we don't roll no dogs. We none of us roll dogs. You know what I'm saying? We all trying to do different things. But at the end of the day, you know when you jump in a conversation, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about anybody. When you jump in a conversation with all these brothers who got different lines of dogs, the first thing they are gonna ask you is what. Uh, pedigree you got or what bloodline. Now, if they know you don't got one, that's the first way they're going to try to make you mad. That's the first way they're going to try to get on your nerves and say, oh, man, your dog don't got no papers. Your dog don't got no papers. But the thing is, for you to do is to make a name for your dog or whatever and then start, if you got to start from whatever papers you can start from, but you got to have, you got to have, it don't matter if they ADBA or whatever papers, but you got to have a, a, a pedigree. Listen, Mr. Damien has pedigree when i bought my dog i bought a dog with papers and pedigree i bought my dog with papers and pedigree because i don't sure it doesn't mean it doesn't exist but nobody see, gonna put no listen i'm gonna say like this to do, to do, listen i don't have to write nothing down because ain't nobody listen ain't nobody put no money up since you do, if you if you really believe my dog doesn't have papers and pedigree put the money up because that's all i want to see some money now, much, listen much as i've been tormented about my dogs much as i've been tormented about my dogs and people doxing my family and all that, somebody gonna pay for that damage. But look, but I'm not even trying to dox your dog. Be honest with you, I'm not even trying. But what was you want everybody to believe you got game bred blue dogs, but you give nobody nothing to follow you with. So how are we gonna follow what you're saying if you won't tell nobody nothing? That is a secret. Like what, what we trying to get the recipe for a blue dog? Sir, listen, at the end of the day, I accept, listen, I like different phenotypes of, of APBT. Some of y'all dogs that I see don't look like they added some in it. But do I go dissecting dogs? When people mm -hmm. ask me about a certain bloodline, I say I don't run that dog. I don't deal with that dog. I don't have nothing to say about that. Y'all so quick to jump. Like, y'all like, y'all like, like, my uncle used to tell me all the time, you're going to meet some dudes when you mess with these dogs that's like women that raise their skirt up all the time. Y'all run. My dog is not y'all concerned. It is not y'all competition. I, I, I ain't never been accused of having no female tendencies. No, because you, listen, no. you jumped up here to try to ask no. me about my dog pedigree for what reason? What, 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 what's the reason? What, listen, what's here. the reason? I ain't gonna lie, Nanny dog. I ain't gonna lie, dog. I ain't gonna lie. You know, uh, here, brothers ask yeah. me about my pedigree all the time. I ain't mean to cut y'all, fam. I ain't mean to cut y'all. Uh, yeah. Brothers ask me about you. That's what I say, man. Something like like, Nanny dog, I know you'll do this now. You know, this your night now. This your night on the show. This your night. But I know you'll do this. I could be talking about the blues and not even talking about your dog, period. And you think I'm talking about your dog and you'll get offended by it and start damn, you know, going off on me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and it, it don't be your dog, dog. But the thing is, you just got, you know, even if it start with your dog, fam, or, and the dogs you got your dog off of, you know, uh, if your dog is making you money, making you satisfied, and you happy with that, that's all that matters at the end of the day. I ain't going to be the one that feeds your dogs. Bro, none of these brothers in the, up here on the panel are going to feed your dogs. You got to feed them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And and just because, listen, you know how that shit go, Nanny. The chat going to always ask you stuff. They're going to always, but you got to have that on hand. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you, you know, if you know you can't, if you ain't about the pedigrees and all that, it's not even used to jump in the conversation. No, but you know, I can't you know. listen. Hey, listen. 
let, let me tell you something like this. And and I, I this come from an old school dude. At the end of the day, I don't have to talk about pedigrees. When y'all hear me talking about the dogs, I talk about the phenotype. I talk about what dog came out, what dog. I don't never talk about their marriage. At the end of the day, you need people. Let, let, me, let me give you a wise thing that somebody told me that's with NAB. You need somebody like me in here because it balances it out. It balances it out. I, I listen. I'm I'm the victim of this situation. What I mean by that is the blue dog. I took that responsibility. I could have got a dog that wasn't even blue, but I took it for this because in the, the day I know so much knowledge that I can stand on that. I don't have to tell no pedigree. At the end of the day, I I put like this: if you ever think that my dog's not a pit bull under the standard of American pit bull terrier, old time thing, I got a puppy that hog hunt. That's that's a licensed hog hunt dog. And then they some people dogs ain't even never touched the hog and they can't even deal with a hog. So do I care what they think about my dog when people buy my dog and they happy? I don't have to breed no dog. I didn't, I didn't even know pit bulls had to be licensed to be hog dogs. No, I'm saying oh you got <laughs> okay, you're right, you're right, sir. You're uh -oh. right, you right, sir. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Now, now here I know he's good about that, but I, honestly the hog dog thing the hunt you gotta have license to hunt. I mean shit. Uh -huh. It depends. It depends where you're at. Where, oh, where I'm from in Boston. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What'd you say? No, I was saying you ain't gotta have no no dog with like license to hunt hogs. Nah. Yeah, I was gonna say where I'm from, there there ain't no hogs. But um, me and my cousins got um pit bulls and our uh, paddedales, so we hunt the coyotes and anything smaller because you know the padded deals run up in the um holes and all that shit. And okay. I heard you was talking about the um the raccoons early earlier um pelican. Yeah like nigga I know some padded deals that done killed some raccoons and and um definitely yeah, I mean, a lot of people talking about them padded deals too. Yeah we the, I got I got, I actually got a um padded deal coming in like a couple months but um my um couple of my my man's got like four of them, and then my cousin got like two of them. So we be going out to the farms out where we at. We just hit honestly. We just run up on talk, go talk to the people who own the farms, and they be more than happy to let us in there because um you know they be having all types of rodent problems anyway. Fuck these you know the the um groundhogs and the raccoons and the foxes or coyotes or whatever it is be fucking mm -hmm. up fucking up their shit. So we let them know like we'll come through kill what we can and you know and mm. do shit like that so you know we bring the we got the we got the um the padded deals to run up in the holes and then we got the um the pits just in case we run into anything big bigger like a coyote or something or, or a big coon or something like you said but yeah my dogs my dogs um they'll um and they straight from my man from the block they ain't you know what i'm saying they ain't um the dogs i got right now Cause I ain't really into the uh, breeding shit and all that shit right now. But the dogs I got right now, I just got from my man from the block for free, and uh, we just I just use them for hunting and shit. And some some of the farm niggas, you know, they be they be hitting niggas off with some bread and shit. So I just take them out there, kill some shit, and um, yeah, they my dog my dogs done killed a couple of coons. Hey, coon ain't no easy task, boy. <laughs> and and what I mean, what I mean by that is, you, he is licensed because it, the scars from running through the brush, it scrape up dog. You got to take him to a veterinarian. Oh, okay. So you got so you got to you got to have proof that you do something. So at the end of the day, that license and all that. He when I say that, yeah. it's to his veterinarian for the the scar that he come out with. If they come <laughs> and say he doing something with it, the veterinarian say no, he has a license. I sent the license. I passed yeah. him on on this day. Right. On the, nah. You a hundred percent right on that. You ain't the first person I heard from that because it, it lets the you know what I'm saying. Because when them vets come through, I mean, when you go not when the vets come through, when you go see the vet, they you know they start thinking other shit, fighting and shit like that. So when you got the license, let them know like this is a working dog and that's what he does. I you ain't the first person I heard that from, bro. I ain't even on that. Like I said, bro, respectfully, I ain't even on that. I no, 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 that's sir. I might come. I might come off aggressive. I might. That. I might come off aggressive. But I've been dealing with this since about four years, going on five years. So yeah, I've been it, it, it's, it's not towards you. It's not towards you. Just every time I, I'm trying to enjoy myself somewhere, it's always somebody want to come up here, and, yeah. and you know, want to. We can be talking about anything and try to dissect my dogs. When my dogs, I'm. You're, I'm not. You're, I don't sell my dog to everybody. That's why I don't have. Listen. That's yeah. why I don't have females on top of females because I'm not a breeder. I'm a trainer. 
They try to argue with a trainer. I don't give a damn if I had a chihuahua. I'm going to train that mug. And, oh, yeah, 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 it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, I train. Not, I'm not a, I'm not a breed. I'm not a... I'm a trainer. I, I respect that. Like I said, my, my two dogs I, I got from the big homie from the block. They ain't even know... And I right now, I'm not doing the whole um breeding shit and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm coaching. I'm doing all types of other shit. You know, for the for the kids, for my kids and shit like that. So I ain't really got the time to breed and shit like that. Hey. You said we having fun with it, so I I got these pits where I go and have fun with them and hit the farms. And I got a, you know, what I'm saying with the Patterdales, and then I got a, my own Patterdale coming, and we gonna just go have fun with it. That way, I can hit the farms and do my thing myself. Where I got the Patterdale that can run in the holes and do his thing. If he chase him out and pull him out. Or the big dogs come in and, and, and shit, you know what I'm saying? Or if we hey. run into something bigger, the big dogs there, you know what I'm saying? Meaning my nah. people. So that's nah, you know, nah, I'm just having fun with them. I ain't on the pedigree, none of that shit. I got these dogs yep. for free. Now I did just remember something. If I got any brothers from the Ori County area, any of my older brothers that's listening right now, right there, right now, you know, older brothers when I say 80s. Older than me, you know what I'm saying? At least my age or older, if you're listening right now, I knew a brother from Atlantic Beach back in the days, back in, this was 95, around the 95 area. <laughs> Atlantic Beach, the boys, if you know the, the Atlantic Beach area from 95, the, the, the brother that was down there, uh, I want to say the, the um, Boo and um, the other brother that, I, I want to say Mo or something like that. Them mm -hmm. brothers had two blues as well, and they was pit bulls, you know what I'm saying? And they was short, little small pit bulls like, they had no resemblance at all of a staff or a bully at all. No, none of that straight pit bulls. Nah, um, but big homie, you got respectfully when them when them um when them bullies first drop, like the first the first ones like Razor's Edge, like like I'm talking about like you know 2002 and all that shit. They wasn't as big, so they might look like a pit bull, but they're not a pit bull, bro. Yeah. Now me myself, I'm telling no lie. Like the first bullies was the first, though, no. the first American bullies was smaller than they are now because then if yeah. you go if you go back and you can see the whole video where the niggas talking about him with the first nigga who started breeding him. He was breeding him to be he wasn't breeding him to be like extra big and shit. It's because the shit that they had in him where they ended oh. up being big eventually, and then niggas started breeding him to be big and shit like that. But the, if you go back and look like the first. You know what I'm saying? The yeah, first you were, bullies you in 02, the first American bullies in 02, they were they were a lot smaller. Now nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Uh brother uh, the razor's edge and the Gotti stuff. I yeah. didn't hear about that to modern day time. We had nah, some bro. I was on it, I was on it back then. And you know what fucked it up? Honestly, we wouldn't even be having this argument. That's what I always say to niggas, not to cut you off respectfully. Mm -hmm. This would always this is what I always say to niggas. If 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 the American bully dropped when it first dropped when it first came out and niggas was calling them American bullies, the, call off of them. the argument would have never happened. It would right. have been like, okay, the American bullies, but the fact they were calling them blue pits, and then niggas who knew like my man's had one way back, and I was like, you know, the temperament, nothing was this if you really looked into it and you see the temperament and all that, like what they could take. Even their skin back then, like even like even back then, American bullies had more way more skin problems than um than hey, now check this out. Even back then, if but it was because there was so much shit bred together, like you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. if y'all remember I mean? like if, if y'all remember the stories I was telling about when I had staffs back in the 90s, P Nitty, P Nitty, if you out there listening, you know I'm telling the truth on this. Them staffs that we had back in the 90s was the exact same thing that these brothers got. They calling them bullies right now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about the little short staffs that look like pit bulls almost. I'm talking about the ones that was coming blue color, brindle color, blue, silverish color, and all that type of stuff like that. Because we had a guy that was selling us staffs, right? But he had one named Jason. They and I'm talking about now. His, his name was Jason. He was a brown, like the brown color you see in encyclopedia when he looked at staffs or whatever. He would look the ill. I'm talking about he looked the ill, dog. It wasn't no Bully looking, none of that. But at the same time, he sold us other staffs, all um, all registered, AKC or UKC. I can't remember which one it was. All of them was registered, but they had the bully look to them, and it was more human aggressive. They they, they chased my um neighbor, my neighbor all out. 
you know, they, it was aggressive, but they had that bully look and there wasn't nobody calling their dogs bully then. So I can imagine what probably happened. Them same staffs then, you know, turned into basically bullies and stuff like that. Brothers yep. start breeding them out. They ain't got no papers on different ones. You know, they make their own breeders and stuff like that. Because I'm telling you, dog, if the, if the brothers listen to this right now from around my way or anywhere and they remember them dogs, they know, no, I ain't lying. Them dogs was what they call bullies right now, and they were staffs back in the 90s. Some of them were staffs, you know what I'm saying? They was them bucky they ass had the dogs. In them. But that's why them dogs was, um, that's why them dogs was more man, man aggressive and still are to this day because they bred, they bred other dogs in them that are naturally guard dogs mm -hmm. towards man. Now, I had, a, I had a staff I got from a woman that, during that same time in the 90s. She said, she said, this is an am staff. I didn't think she would know what she was talking about. It was a brindle dog. looks like a pit bull. I walked up. I said, man, I got me a pit bull. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shit. That dog was, you know, was, she said it was a straight am staff. Um, uh, his name was Hood Rat. Well, what uh, they started doing with the, okay, go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you nah, off. I was, just, I was just talking about him. He was a staff or whatever, but he looked like a pit bull. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, but, uh, with the um what they did to it, you know what I'm saying? So when they when they bred all that shit, you know, to make the um the American bully, which you know, some people call the blue pip or whatever, all that shit, whatever. But yeah, the reason why they're more than man aggressive because they bred dogs that are naturally that are there to guard like a pipples, we already know a pipple's a great guard dog. You come in the crib. It's over. A pit bull going to take care of you. But naturally, a pit bull is to fight another dog in the pit. Yeah. With the bully, they were breed with the American bully, they were breeding dogs that naturally are meant to guard the crib or, or the yard or a junkyard or something like that for, against humans. These dogs wasn't bred to fight in the pit. These dogs were bred to 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 guard shit for you. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 you, do, humans don't do shit. I so agree. That's that. why these dogs. That's do you why know it's people bite? Do you know it's people aggression? Pitbulls? Do you know certain Hell lines yeah. of people? Hey, but this is okay, okay. 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 I don't know you there. This is why I want to know here. Right? Of course, there's people aggression. People because anything you turn a pitbull on to. They gonna go full. They go. That's why we love pit bulls, man. Oh, because yeah. anything you turn a pit bull on, if you make, I had a pit bull where I was young and dumb, young and dumb, and I made a man aggressive. And nigga, you yeah, you couldn't come to you couldn't. No man could come text to the crib next to me. None of that. Now I'm older, where I'm like that shit's a fucking that shit's a case waiting to happen. Yep. Hey, you know now, what I'm saying? Now, but now, I had pitbulls where it's like, yeah, that shit will take care of a man, and I made it that way. But that's the thing about a pitbull. Yeah. You could you could train a pitbull to attack a fucking car, and nigga, every car is going to get bent that it sees. That's the thing about a pitbull. You knew, if that if you train that hey, drive to be but, in it. But to let, me ahead, this, but, but, let me ask this about the, um, about the blue. I didn't mean to cut you off, bro. No, you uh, good, bro. Um, this is your channel. Go ahead. Now, when it comes to the blues, now we was talking about human aggression is now lack of gameness. You know what I'm saying? That now that could show you when you look at the whole country as a whole, nobody uses blues for hog hunting. That's the lack of gameness. There. There's no fight. That's there. a lot. That, you know that, that 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 that. I'm not gonna say lot. one or two people don't use it, but you look at any of the hog hunting shows and anything when people do hog hunting, you don't never see a blue dog out there. That's, 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 you always see the other kind of dog. He's right about that. If I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna stunt. If, and I believe someone's probably that's using it. I believe fight. someone in the world. Some, I, honestly, the way, the way that they're so big, in the way they got the weight, and at the end of the day, they still got a lot of, lot of aggressive dog breeds in them, and they still got the pit in them. I, I believe someone's out. I believe someone's out there maybe using an American bully to um. Oh yeah. yeah no, why, no, 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 sir. Why do you let, 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 excuse me, sir? This this is probably why do you keep on calling them bully, sir? Why do you keep on calling them bully? 
You, but, you I mean, listen, the, listen, you, look, 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 I'm listening. They say, they say, I'm, listen, I'm they say, I'm always willing to learn. I'm always willing to listen, learn. Bro. They say, the same dog that you're calling a bully, you with mm -hmm. your, 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 your game bread, your game bread dog that you calling bullies. I'm mean, that you did blue dog called bully. Just imagine if it's in your house, you think, oh, it, it, it don't got no game in it. And you come home, your, 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 your red dog is just leaking and the blue dog just sitting there like nothing ever happened. How would you feel? I would. I wouldn't. I, I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. For one thing, just because, just because you got a um dog from a, a a game pedigree, don't mean that dog got game. There's always dogs that out oh, that yeah. out that yeah. six five. You got a little of a six seven four five even three. One of them dogs just might not be with it. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be, so, I done seen a cat punk a fucking Rottweiler. <laughs> so I ain't going to be respectfully. I ain't going to be, I, I I would be, I would be upset and I would be maybe like, damn, that shit's crazy. But I wouldn't be too surprised because I, I, I seen, I, I done seen, I done seen dogs that you don't think that a game get busy when they backed in that corner. And then. That come back to breeding again, man. Over the years, it, it could be blue pit bulls, but over the years, people was breeding the blue dog in general. When I say the blue dog, I'm talking about all dogs, the blue color, no matter if it's pit bull or not. People was breeding them dogs. They, they, the, the blue color dog is just naturally, everybody know the blue color dog, no matter what kind of dog it is, is more aggressive than the game dog. You know what I'm saying? I can have a game dog in a house. I can have a game dog in a house, and he, yeah, he'll be a biter. Like you said, you could turn him into a biter. You oh, ever heard know. about the um think about the think about even hunters now? We was talking about the hunting dogs and all that. Think about the hunters now. <coughs> you you ever heard of the lurchers? The the which one? Lurchers. Uh-uh. So basically the lurcher is it's the same old shit. Niggas are breeding the 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 pit bull. It's just like the band dog where they bred they bred the Pipple to, to, to Mastiffs and other big dogs to give it to the aggression and shit like that in the um in the um what you wanna call it the uh the fight where where you can still get bit up for hours and still want to fight the yeah. stamina you know, all that shit it's so yeah. a lurcher is basically a greyhound and a pitbull. So what they're doing is they, you know, they take the the greyhound got the speed. So we know, okay, say if you live in a spot where there's mad coyotes, the pitbull can't naturally catch a coyote because the speed, but a yeah. greyhound can. But a greyhound is not naturally aggressive enough to snatch up a coyote or some shit. That's like not that. true. That's not true. That's not true. That's let not me true. let me let, let me finish, bro. Greyhound, greyhound is game. Greyhound is game, sir. I don't know where you let got me, that. No, let though. me finish though. The thing is about not nanny dog. Everything you saying, let me say everything you saying. You punch right. Greyhounds are great, but at the same time, when you when you see a greyhound grab up a coyote, or a couple greyhounds grab a grab up a coyote. It takes a couple greyhounds, or that greyhound still get up, run, and then it might make a move, get up, run. If a pit bull grab a coyote, shit ain't moving. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's locked. We know how that go. So what they're doing, as far as the lurchers, they're mixing the they're mixing the um pit bull with the greyhound, and they're called lurchers. Look them up. I ain't bullshitting none of y'all. Look them up. They're called lurchers, and they're um they're mixing the pitbull with the greyhound, and you know what they're doing. They, they because like I said, naturally, the pitbull can't catch a greyhound because of the speed. So they're mixing it in with the they're mixing them both in. They're and getting, the getting the body, they're getting the body, the lean body. They're getting the the air. They're getting the athleticism, and they're getting, they're the, getting the bite and all that. They're getting the other stuff from the pitbull. And then all they, they still got the they still got somewhat. Somewhat, not some. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it takes a cup. You know, a couple miles yeah. per hour off the off the greyhound, but yep. it's still yep. enough to where it's gonna catch the the coyote. So look them up. They're called lurchers. Some you know of how it's going, big dog. What's good, big dog? What's That's good, a big Brody, right there. Up. What up, Samurai? To the chat. 
Hey, Sorry, boy. Sorry, boy. Can, I, um, can, I, can I put my little two cents in here real quick, y'all? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, man. Um, I I heard some great points tonight, man. And I think I think the my issue with the conversation is the baseline, right? And how I was taught what game this is and and what is and what ain't a pit bull it might be different from everybody else. But I just want to share what I was taught and basically get some criticism or some feedback or some or some some kind of con- come to a conclusion on it, right? Yeah. And so what I was taught, man. The first thing is um, gameness is only tested in the box. And I'll tell you why I believe that. And it's going to be long-winded real quick, y'all, but I, I will I will articulate my point as fast as I possibly can. 100% right. Gameness can only be articulated in the box for this reason. If I took Mike Tyson and put him on Manny Pacquiao, the size disparity alone creates creates something that is not a, not a balance. But when you take two equally yoked individuals who are about the same size, that's why boxers have weight classes. And that's why gameness can only be tested in the box. That's why we have weight classes. Yep. Go ahead. So when I look at when I look at gameness, is hog hunting gameness? No, it's just high prey drive. All right. Now, is high prey drive something that can be uh attributed to gameness? Yes, but they're not the same. Because it's just like if I go up against a 400 pound man, if I win, great, I you know, great, I got lucky. But nine times out of ten, that 400-pound man, if he's trained in the same way I am and as and, and, and fit as I am, nine times out of ten, I'm going to lose that, right? Mm-hmm. So it's hard to say game because he's always going to be on the bottom. So, you know, as long as he don't die before you, you can get to the hog, that's, that's not the same thing, you know. But when you when you should be physically able to take on your opponent and you can't do it and you stop because you give up, that's the difference, okay? No, you're definitely right because you know, in Samurai, you know. You, you the big homie to me, man. I, I, everything you said was facts because I'm going to just make it plain and simple. Them hogs don't bite back the same as a pit bull in the pit. Thank you, brother. Ain't nowhere to run. Ain't nowhere to go. You in the pit, you got to get dirty. So this, this, exactly right. And I'm going to tell you right now, like I said, my dogs I use right now, they I use them for hunting and shit like that. That that don't mean they're ready for the pit at all. These are these are scared animals running for their lives. Another another pit that's willing to come at you and kill you is totally different, bro. You know that, and I you know how we come in. You know. So, that. Oh yeah. Oh Point yeah. Have, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Okay. Point number two is this, man. Okay. So understanding what game this is is this is my argument to the whole blue versus not blue thing. If that animal comes from a similar lineage, whether it be Staffy or American Pit Bull Terrier, I don't care what you call it, did it prove game? And if it did not prove game, it is not the standard. See, and you say you have right, a right, red right. dog if it is not the standard. That's my personal opinion, y'all. I'm not the, I'm not the authority on this. No, so, so what I'm asking you is that, see, there's different type of game standards, though, bro. There's the, there's the game fighting in the pit. Then there's the game as far as a hunting dog, bro. Well, let's let me ask you this. Okay. okay. Do hunting dog men call their dogs game, or they just say they good hunters? Okay. Good hunters. Mm, good good hunter. Hunter. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay. Boom. Boom. Samurai. That's why I love you, Brody. You got it. You correct. You got it. They call them good hunters. They don't call them games. So boom, you got it. So I, it. And I, I'm a, agree. I'm I'm a hundred percent with you, and you just made me made me realize something, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I'm always willing to learn. And now that you said it, it wasn't really something that I didn't know, but I just kind of like, yeah, he right. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? They don't call them good. They So you right, you right. And I believe we deal with a lot of abstracts, my brothers. And that's the thing is the abstracts of it. Because cause Nanny Dog, that's my brother, man. And Nanny Dog, I would say, I wouldn't even argue it because once again, I call my dogs old yellow dogs because even though they have traditionally bred American pit bull terrier lines, my dogs are doing what man biting curs do. And I'm okay with that. So they old yeller. Yeah. And that's what they is. You know, and that's what PBK was getting at earlier too, brother. Uh, the last thing I will say PBK is, um, I do know some working blue dogs, but then I, I don't call them American pit bull terriers because these ones are, they call them American bullies. This is a guy by the name of Larry Brodernax. He got a dog from Carolina's Finest Bullies back in 2008. Look him up. It's called Total Trauma Training. And those dogs do hog hunting. They do personal protection work. They do drug detection. Yeah. But 
That's so, why I said earlier, I wouldn't be surprised if there's plenty of blue dogs that do that hog shit because they're big enough and I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if they would. That they they're definitely big enough to put, you know what I'm saying? They definitely got some. One aggression. reason you don't see blues out there because they're expensive. They're more of a dog that a brother wouldn't waste his time taking they, out to the woods they, like that. He no, goes, you know, they, they use them for a lot of niggas use them for shows, but at the same time, yeah. like I was feeling nanny dog earlier. And and respectfully, nanny dog, you my bro too. If you look at my channel, you see it says live your life dog. It don't say Pitbull, it don't say Billy, because I, because I, on my, on my channel, we fuck with all dogs. It could be a white lady who wants to come through and talk about poodles. We are gonna talk about poodles. You know what I'm saying? So it, everything is saying. I respect everyone in this chat. I ain't on that. I ain't on that. You know, internet smoke bullshit. And no, no, that. no. I didn't. I, I'm not trying to have no smoke. With you. I, listen, I love my dogs. If everybody knows that I love my dogs, and I love the way this dog. And I love the way this dog who looked that just came up real guy. Now the dog, hold up for a quick second. Let me let me introduce oh, yeah. um, Big Hill fam in the building. Big Hill fam in the building. How's it going today, big night, big homie? What's up? What's up, bro? What's happening? Ain't too much, man. You trying to get in on that blue talk we talking about? You just sent back listening. Nah, I had I had holla at bro, uh, bro Sam Samurai Samurai Dre. Look. Gameness, gameness, right? The the gameness is the willing, willing, willingness to keep on going in the face of everything, like no matter what happens to you. Do you agree on that? So, brother BV, and I know where you're going. Let, let me let me say this because I can't give you a yes or no because <clears throat> what I subscribe to for my definition of gameness. Is from Mr. Richard F. Stratton's book. But yes, gameness is the will to go on against all, all options, right? But for me, uh, what I was trying to get at, BV, was can we get to a baseline of what we're calling gameness? Because I know where you're going, because you hog hunt, you know what I'm saying? And so how am I how am I gonna tell you what's game and what's not game? But for the for the general for the general assembly, what I'm trying to get to is the baseline for gameness. And if we're going to agree that these books, because everybody, everybody talk about Mr. Richard F. Stratton, you know, even schoolboy, if these guys are the authority on that and they were, they were the counsel on that, then they set their standard. Um, and I, I didn't get to finish my last point, but this is what I was going to get at. Most of us are registered with the ADBA, correct? And BV, I'm going to go back to you, bro. But is that, is, is that something we can, we can all agree upon? Most of us are registered with ADBA? Yep. Okay. Not now, me. No, oh, but uh, that's fair. But I posted it on at PBK. I posted in your chat the ADBA's color chart for the American Pit Bull Terrier. Now, it's confusing to me, and I'm not saying what's right or wrong, but blue and white is a, is a color the ADBA accepts. So if that's your registry and you're not like the argument is not here in the chat, the argument is with whoever you're your, 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 your authority. It already won, though. They got blue and white on the on the um on the uh little yeah. um, the single dog registration or anything like that little stuff like that. They got blue and white color up there. In your chat earlier, the ADBA color chart for that reason, you know, mm. and so that's why I'm like, okay, can we get to a baseline? Because even the people we're naming as authorities aren't on the same page. Yeah, and that's a problem for me because if I go to your chat. We might agree on one thing. Then you come to my chat, we might say something different. Then you go over here, everybody's saying something different. And we're already not we're already not recognized as an FCI breed. That's my issue with the whole conversation. You know, can we get to a baseline? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely understand that. I definitely understand that. Hey, now when y'all saying about game is too uh all right. Now the whole I would consider a hog dog. You can, I would consider you can have him on a gameness scale. A greyhound, I wouldn't consider that a gameness scale. Hell no. I would consider that as a, a a racing. You trying to get you know whatever they call that when when you racing greyhounds and you trying to get them faster. You know um because they they actually don't they are not doing nothing that you know that actually no. they gameness by running. Greyhound you know, is not a game dog at all. They just the lurchers dog. might be because they're mixing with the pips. Yeah, like, yeah. Fuck no. But the hogs, 
it's a chance that that hog dog can have to really barrel down and have to really see if he bought that 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 that, that thing. You know what I'm saying? And that's when he will have to show his gameness. You know, uh, even with um, and far as uh, um, uh, 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 we call it greyhound or anything, attacking coyotes and stuff like that. Some brothers in the working field don't even want aggressive dogs. Only pit bull brothers want dog aggressive dogs. Brothers don't want dogs that attack other dogs. So if I'm in the Greyhound lead, I'm gonna call out the dogs that's dog aggressive. You know, I'm gonna keep only the dogs that's damn running. Yeah. Running you with don't, you, you, running you, running. Hunting, you can't have a dog that's um attacking other dogs because you might yeah. have you might have six ten so about, yeah. other so dogs out there. Even with the Malawis and stuff like that, you don't want a one that's when you going out of these shows and all that stuff, you know, we you trying to keep the ones that's well temperamented, good, and, and not it's not dog aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Even if they is, they can they can handle it. You know what I'm saying? But uh and you know, um, it just the pit bull is probably gonna be the only dog that's gameless is measured. The dog is measured by gameless, you know what I'm saying, and far as his sport, you know, uh other than the dogs like maybe coon dogs too, because I mean they but coon dogs get in a in they show by barking at a, a at a coon up in a tree. He has not even fought the coon yet, and he's did good. He 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 coon. What what they say? How they call it? Cooning, uh, you know, tree in the coon. You know, he got the coon at the top, so they can get him down. I I, don't, I ain't sure how coon hunting go, but I know it don't always end with the coon wrestling with the uh with the dog. With hog hunting, it's always gonna end with that hog, unless they don't find the hog. Right. You no, got to shoot, shoot the coon first on that yeah. bullshit. Yeah, do so you, the dog might not even touch the coon. He just know the coon in the tree. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do, do, do you guys know that as many dogs lost their life to hogs? That what? Lost their life to hogs. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. That's why you don't No, 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 no. My, dog. My, my, my dog, one of my dogs, great, great, great granddaddy died on the, on the, uh, the hog. Um, ran him into a tree and snapped his neck. Yo, my bro, my 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 big not my big homie from where I'm from in Boston, but he live out in Atlanta now. Got a whole bunch of land there, whatever. He be he this nigga lost um this nigga lost a dog. Shit. Probably probably about you know time flies probably about two two three months ago now. Two months ago, two and a half months ago lost a dog fuck around with a hog. Hey, now Tim Fry says something I'm about to mention on right now. Cause if you read that statement right there, say I seen a lot of dogs quit in 20 minutes on other animals back in in the day, then catch hogs and they be great hog dogs. I seen the exact exact same thing, and I went through that because a brother, a well known brother, Kennel, called me. I said, "Yo, let me get a dog." They said, "Here go one for you right here. This is a hog dog, though. You know what I'm saying? They told me what it was. It's a hog dog. You know, I took the dog. I walked him down the street, and a gray dog. A great a brother who was arguing with me, his dog was half game dog and all kind of shit. His dog was loose that particular day. And he came running out in the road and, and man, it was on. And, and shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. My dog wasn't getting the best of him or none of that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? My dog was exactly what he was, a hog dog. He probably was phenomenal in the woods, you know what I'm saying? Because he have a little help then. You know what I'm saying? And all he gotta really do is hold the hog. It depends on how much the, the That's hunter the thing about the hogs, bro. They they the thing about the hogs is that there's only a few. There's very seldom you you'll find hogs that um like bite back. They're gonna yeah. either try to run or they're gonna try to ram or something. So that's yeah. the difference. Like when you find with, with dogs in the pit, they're gonna fucking other dog gonna bite back, and you gotta be willing to take that bite. That's mm -hmm. what separates it. Where hogs. Most hogs are gonna try to run most of the time, and you're just gonna bite them in the dog, not you, the, your dog, whatever it is. Cause yep. niggas keep having a million niggas. I know niggas, niggas got million mutts. They ain't got no fucking game dogs, none of that. They got fucking mutts, and the dog's willing to grab a grab a hog or some shit. What's crazy though is that I ain't gonna lie to you, motherfuckers will have ten mutts that will grab find the hog. Or, or 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 you know hunting hunting dogs that sniff shit out find the hog and they'll bark it train it but they know, won't run in their own it. It they won't grab it motherfuckers will let that pit bull loose yeah and that's what it is then all the other dogs will snatch it up 
What it is, man, gentlemen, what it is, it's different levels in all of it. It's different well, levels in all of it. Yeah, he but it's yeah, different it, levels. Bro. It's different <laughs> levels. I was, yeah, I, you know, I was about to get to it, but I'm gonna let you get to it, bro. No, let let, let him talk. He have him talk, sir. Let him talk. So, so yeah, let, let, yeah, listen, like, to like it. you got, you know, it's like first of all, I'm 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 gonna say that uh I have a belief that it, it was a game dog before it ever was a box. Yep. Then yeah, it was. It was. It was for the. Remember, they were. They were fucking. So with when the, you think of it as that, when you think of it as it was a game dog before it was a box, if that's true, you know. That's so that. it was. It was reasons for game dogs. What do you call with the people out there hunting in the woods and stuff? They call them game, right? It's game out there, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, they sir. call it game out there. They call they yes, label yes. it game out there. So 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 it's just levels to the things you guys are talking about, like. You know, some dogs can. Some dogs might need enough, might need partners to yeah. catch hogs. Mm -hmm. There's some that don't need no, no help to catch a hog. You know, right. you got bad dogs, you got medium dogs, you got, you got helpers. You know, it's always levels to these things. Like, yeah. but the gameness, the gameness is something that, you know, you 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 say. What I want to say is like, uh, you if you research enough, you'll find what you're looking for. Like the wild, the wild is always going to be more harder to conquer than man's domestication. No matter if it's a game or what, you understand. So the box was more of a game for for gentlemen, and the wild is way different. It's way different. The bite is different. The bite in the wild is different. Uh, a lot of people, when the hog thing became, you know, as a sport, you know, so you got, you know, different levels of hogs, yeah. you know, when, when that, that, that term, that, that old thing, they say, uh, where you find a good dogs at, it used to be, you, you find a good dogs at where the work is, which means the type of dogs you use. And it depends on what kind of animals you need to eradicate. So it'd be different levels of dogs. So, yeah. you know, where the, the dogs go, where the work moves, you know, it might be some wild ass boy in Oklahoma that's that's knocking things off. You need the tough ones out there. You know what I mean? So they're going to have them dogs out there. You know what I mean? They're going to have the dogs that got to do the job. So you got to follow the work and the work is going to be in them woods where people don't be people be scared to go. You're going to need a knife and a gun and a dog, a couple of dogs, whatever, whatever. But, you know, all that box stuff and all these other little games, those just games. Those are the games that you try to uh, tamper down your wild um, animal to do, to, you know, find activities do because the work that moved from your area now, you still might be left with some of those dogs. So, you know, you want to try to keep the work, keep them at work. But, the, the you know, the, the, the dogs are where the work is. Simple as that. If I, you know, if that could give y'all guys a picture of what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. I, I, I get exactly what you're saying. Like, and, and for like Tucker. My, That's hold, what, on, hold on, and uh, for the brothers who don't know hog hunting, uh, maybe never even you know experience. You do know that the dogs not killing the hogs. The people got to go take the hogs down and kill yep. them. You do they know grab that. their they legs. Up. That's the difference, man. Ain't nothing like a game dog in the pit. You're right. That's plain. Yeah, I, can y'all hear me? Oh yeah, oh yeah, they, oh yeah. You're right. They they snatch them up it's and like, they like, come like through a, and a, grab a, grab up their legs and tie them up. But just like the brother said, uh, go ahead, you can go ahead and speak too, bro. Just like the brother said, um, in the wild, man, it's something different, you know. And, and you got different levels of brothers. You got brothers. See, I'm speaking from a point of I had game dogs, and we did a little hog hunting with our game dogs, so we weren't taking the best ones out there. But you got brothers who really do hog hunting and really serious on their hog hunting, the same way the brothers do coon and the other stuff. They're not doing nothing but hog hunting, so they got their best dogs out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they got the ones that's damn. And you don't need seven or eight big dogs with it. You know what I'm saying? This dog coming and he he putting shot, he shutting shit down. The same dog that we would take out there and shut it down, they using it for hog hunting. But see, we wouldn't use that dog. We're not taking Jeep out there. We're taking one of the curves off Jeep Little because we in this whole other game. But the brothers who in that game, they're going to take Jeep out there and they're going to put them down fast. You know what I'm saying? Because he going in doing the same thing. He biting and 
You know, uh, what dog brothers dog. What, what, don't get them dogs pussy now because what brothers taking them, them hogs down for is make it look humane. It's all humane. Take the hog down fast. If they wouldn't doing it like that, Peter would be all on the ass. You know, you got to kill the hog for one and you no know, one way or another. Now, none of them dogs are going to be able to kill that damn hog by going, just letting them dogs loose and just straight say, oh, we're going to let them go and he's going to kill them. And yeah, think, yeah. think that hog going to get put down. Every Rarely you may get a dog that get in the throat or something and, Mike can kill one, but I just don't think, you know, that like you said, that's wild shit, dog. You got levels to that shit. And then you talking 100 pounds. Brothers always scream 100, 200 pounds. Man, them baby hogs. You got them hogs, three, four, five hundred pounds that's moving like like them linebackers and the Ravens. You know what I'm saying? When they catch, and, and like you say, they ain't biting. They hear you with them, 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 them horn things, them husks. And them shit's ripping their stomachs open and all that. That's why brothers who was in the pit bull gang not taking their best dogs out. So, you know, when we see a hog dog, we know, we look at it like, okay, it's game, but it ain't that. Well, Tuck, that's no, the dog. Really, really do that shit and they don't really fuck with that stuff. They, they, they bring in a whole level, different level of dog out. You know what I'm saying? And if so, they mixing or doing anything, they know how to make the perfect dog because they own that shit. You know what I'm saying? They ain't bullshit. They own it the way we own the box and all them. The history of them dogs, they own that shit for us hog hunting. You know what I'm saying? That same way. So they know the ups, the downs. When you jumping in any game, you're gonna be green. You know, you be green and hog hunting. Them boys know, know they 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 they, they did the real deal. You know what I'm saying? They know how to run through the swamps and they know about staying out of mosquitoes and all that other shit. The shit that we ain't thinking about besides the hogs. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna make while you chasing them, while you looking for them. All that shit that's messing with you. You know what I'm saying? Why you out there? Uh the brothers, you no, know, it just like you said, man, there's levels to it. Um shit uh, so so can I give you a little guidance of, of what so the dog that I saw do he named the, the Caucasian man named him Tucker. Tucker got a, a a tracking thing on him. Tucker has a vest, Tucker has been scratched by uh by you know branches and stuff because they don't they just run straight through it like they don't be able they just going for the hogs and a lot of times like Tucker uh owner told me is the worst is ones is like a family that's together and the daddy got to defend all of them so that's when the ones get to attacking the a dog or it be a mother he's a mother or father with his family and he's trying to guard his family so he's gonna be on ten it could be dog could also be. like. The game dog, like think about the transference, right? Like the transference, like like you could use uh the uh the old historically the old box dogs, like the reason why a lot of them probably were uh wouldn't people think they wouldn't be making it and stuff like that is because you know, just because of they would have to be uh schooled, they would just have to be schooled as young young pups like anything else you know how not to not to be getting they self killed or whatever and you're gonna have you're gonna find out that's it's just like anything else though some dog some of your dogs gonna sell at it some of them not some of them gonna be hard-headed they're not gonna want to learn to go on the head or the or the nose they want to go back underneath the nuts they want to go back up you know something they're gonna they style might be something that's gonna get them killed in the hog um arena you know that's all it's just styles you know you transfer but if you got puppies you could you could you know you could teach them different things but like you know and then people that been hog hunting for years and that's what they do with their dogs they eventually come out with the traits of you know already going to probably the nose or the ears you know it's just like they specified those traits you know but they still got the game dogs but like you know and they're gonna still have the ones that's hard headed, that don't wanna um do go to the head, go to the ears. They're gonna have boom, they'll give them somebody else. They're like, you know, you understand, it's all the same. Like, you know, curves is everywhere. And you know what I mean? If you mess with the, a real hundred percent American people will tell you, which we know, you know, the hundred percent we probably never could say that, but you know, if you mess with a game bread dog that was historically bread for the box or whatever whatever you could transfer those dogs into other things by just schooling process and you're going to have the same amount of numbers if you did when you were doing anything else some of them going to excel some of them are not that's it then you hey, find so jobs find jobs for them that's it so bv all right and 
this is one of those things right here where my jits my jits acting up but i'm gonna say this man so given that logic right okay would you agree that game because what you're saying is gameness is tested based upon the dog being put into a situation where it either has to put up or shut up it doesn't matter how it's tested correct yeah, yeah, exactly. Like a put up or shut up situation. You gonna you gonna you gonna find out what it's about, what is what is what's inside of. Okay, now let me let me using that logic now. All right, there's this thing called a courage test for protection animals in Shutson, in the French ring and Mondio ring. And mm -hmm. all all the arenas that I play in, I've never heard them call the dog gameless. But do you know how much courage and how much tenacity a dog has to do to go in with a man with a baton or a knife and stay in there until the handler can get to him? Would you say that dog is game? Yeah, I would say it's game. Just like the game of scratch I seen was, uh, I think last week when um, Pelican Bay had that cocker spaniel scratch that to that man that was getting ready to die in that water. That water was ready to freeze over him, and his dog scratched with that um, with that uh, floating device so he could get up out of there. Yeah, he game dog. Yeah, fair right. enough. Fair enough. I just nah. want to see. I want to see if I want to see if you were just doing it for your sport or if you were doing it for all dogs. I respect that. Now I know I I, I don't know if they call it gameness in the in the working dog, but I do know that they, 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 they talk about this stress level. Can do he got a high stress level? Can he take a lot of stress? You know what I'm saying? That dog that you talking about that we, we know I showed him that video that took that little thing out there. You know he at the right. You know he some dogs wouldn't have went out there. You know what I'm saying? They'd have been scared. They'd have been nervous. You know, um, that's what it's about. Do this dog got that, you know, when we put that extra stress on him, when we beat him, when we slap, he grabbed me. We talk about the Shudson now. I'm talking about the Shudson. When he grabbed my arm and I start slapping on him and I start hollering at him before he even grabbed me and I run up on him with a big ass trash can in my hand and screaming at him and kicking at him and all that shit like that. That's it's bringing the stress level up. Is he going to still bite and do the same thing as he going to do when I do that? Because that's when you see them videos when them brothers – they like to do this. I tell my brothers, be careful when you're dealing with decoys who already experienced already. They like to look good on you when you got a dog who ain't experienced. This is what they do. You send your dog at them, and this experienced decoy. They make your dog look bad. They got to scream at them. Ah, ah, yell at them. Make them run off. You know what I'm saying? Make them run off. Off the field. They call it running them off the field. Yeah. Take them off and show you that your dog will curve. You the know reason why I call that, the reason why I call that, that that dog that wasn't even a pit bull made it a day. Uh, I mean, a game scratch where is the is because like so many variables was at play. Yeah, it was a stranger, uh, a stranger that was trying to give him directions. You did getting him trying to get him out the corner. That 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 wasn't his owner. His owner is in distress. You know what I'm saying? It's wide open. It ain't even a box. He had plenty places to run. You dig what I'm saying? But some type of way. That dog went over there to it. You know, that dog focused and went to the owner that, you know, it worked out. You know what I mean? So it's like getting the bag. That was like a scratch for the bag. You feel me? That's how I looked at it. I wouldn't call, me personally, man, Um, I wouldn't call none of it game. I would just say these are good dogs, man. They're good for what mm -hmm. they're good for what you use them for, man. Yep. And, and that's the thing I want to get at, you know, um, for, for the game, for the people who are tr to the traditional game, you know, the sport, you know, that we don't speak of, um, because because BV, I, I agree with you in a lot of ways, bro. I just don't want to take away from them. I want to create my own lane and mind my business. You know what I'm saying? That's my prerogative. Man, but, you ain't taking away from nobody. Gameness, gameness is something you feel in the heart. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, gameness, like, that's why I'm labeling other things besides that box. Like, I'm trying to show you other stuff besides that. Like, you know, it's just your heart. It's your heart, man. It's, it got a lot to do with the heart. You know what I'm saying? I agree with you. You heard Eli a long time ago, brother Eli from um on 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 the other station. He on um that brother that brother said something one time. He was using his dog for um weight pulling, and he had a little teeny dog, and he said that was the game that shit he seen with the way that dog was trying to pull. Like you could tell that you know, like a game, you'll be able to see that shit. You know, you you'll be able to see it. Oh, you'll yeah, be able to see it. You're gonna recognize that it's real. It don't matter. You'll see it. It'll tell you. Oh yeah, like when uh when it come to rest in the game is I'm gonna use Marino and Anime, my my two Belgian model wise. Mar Anime is more gamer 
or her stress level is higher than Marina was on. When I say that, I mean she would do things without thinking. She's jumping off the edge of the building. If you jump off a building, she's going to jump off without thinking. Marino going to try to find a way down first, and then he's going to come down. He's going to think about it first, you know what I'm saying? But she's going to do things without thinking. She's going to run up the ladder without thinking. He's going to run around the house two times, see it ain't no other way to get you, and then run up the ladder, you know what I'm saying? Her, you know, it just, and far as the, um, you know, uh, like you said, you're right about uh the willingness for any dog, no matter what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Um, It's just, Yo, yo, hey, you not you're not, you're not stealing enough. nothing from you're not stealing nothing from the from the from the history historically. You're not stealing nothing from them. You can't steal what they what they did. They, you know, you can't steal that. You know what I mean? But you can't be afraid to yeah. say you can't be afraid of what you got and being able to excel with what you got and whatever you're doing with it. You know what I mean? Now, you now, know, just stand on that. I um, I I call it. See, and that might be, that might be, I might be too smart for my own. I might be so smart, I'm done with it, bro. But the things that y'all talking about in the dog training world, I call that drive. I don't call it gameness. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, you're game. right, Samurai. You're right. I'm glad you're here because you correct, you, you, um, you know, correct me and added that to that. Cause yeah, it might, it might be, it might, you know, it might be a thin line between those def, you know, it might be, a, it, it depends on what you want to call it. Like, you know what I mean? You could call it the prey drive. You can call it the prey drive you, if you want to say that. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to disagree if you want to say it's the prey drive. Well, that, well hold that, on. That, you might hear me say sometimes, Mel Yellow got high drive because I'm used to dealing with Marino and them and talking that drive with them brothers who talk that, that type of talk. You know what I'm saying? So I might be like, Mel Yellow, high drive. But see, when you say when you say prey drive, that's just the start. Like, you know, the prey drive is like you start. You you, you got the willingness to start. Now, the, 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 the game, this is the game. This is do you got the willing to finish? That's something different. That's something but, different. But hold on, because when I say drive, I'm not speaking of prairie drive. I'm speaking of drive in general. And I'll give you examples. Okay, so my dogs are high, what I would say high drive dogs. I can put them on anything. Cat meal, slap meal, bite, bite work, obedience work. I can put them on another dog. They, yeah. gonna, they got the drive to do whatever kind of work I want. And I, that's what I consider drive. Yeah. Prairie drive is specifically to chase, to the, 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 the in, that innate instinct in an animal to 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 hunt or be hunted you know that's that's drive when i speak of drive when i speak of prey drive specifically that is hunting drive the drive to take down an opponent that is fleeing and then i talk about fight drive that's the drive to stand and face an opponent that is turning and facing you though in, in the dog training world these these that's why i always be trying to get brothers on dog training because that's your mouth summer right because you talk with some shit <laughs> because i think if more people could I'm I'm in between two worlds. I'm 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 between a rock and a hard place, Scylla and Charybdis. And how it works is I understand the game very well because until my until my early 20s, all I knew was the game side of it. It wasn't until I got into the military and, and started learning these other terminologies that other breeds use that I realized that just like there's deep game, there's dead game, there's different delineating factors in other breeds. So I don't need to use the term gameness to describe what my dogs can do because I have a bigger palette to paint from. But that's not saying you're right or wrong. That's just saying that how I understand it is different. Yeah, of course. Like, but Drake drive, drive is something that drive would be something that uh, the owner could tamper with. Gameness, you can't. Get, I say, this, I say this too. So gameness, gameness is a rare quality. Boy, I better get my damn notebook out, boy. Y'all boy spent some gems tonight. Yeah, like drive, like drive. You could, you could, like you could drive. You had different drives. You got them on a mill. He liked the mill or whatever. You might could transfer the drive to to prey. You might could transfer or use the prey drive to transfer that to the mill. You could use drive in different ways. Game. This is something that he got. He he used when he would feel like using. You but can't control that. Game. This cannot be given. Every drive my dogs have, I could. No, this is no BS, and this is this is. I'm I'm tooting my own horn here. I can take a litter. I can take a dog off anybody pit bull litter and do what I do because that's not gameness. What I'm doing is I, I, I understand how to get a dog's drive to do whatever I want it to do. Now, gameness salute, is, salute, gameness salute. Is, like, is like an X factor. Gameness is something I, that's the one thing I don't understand. I can't put my big head ass around it, how to make a dog game, but I can make it bite. I can make it run up a wall. I can make it run a treadmill. I can make it do all those you things. Can't, you can't make no dog game. The dog, that game that's going to be there or it's not, you know what I mean? You could do everything else with the drive. You could do stuff with the drive. 
and that take work too. But gameness is something that he got. If he got it, he'll let you know, or not some things you got to let the dog tell you. I mean, but most of it, you got to let the dog tell you, but you definitely can't control the heart. You can't control this. I mean, the most you can do is make them love you. That's that that can help it out. You know, make them love you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, hey, man, y'all cooking tonight, bro. I'm going to shut up a little bit because I feel like I've been talking too much, man. But it's it's a this is a great. I appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, man. You ain't talking too much. Yeah, I've, I've been enjoying it myself. Big all, Hill, I got a question for you. Boys tonight, man. Can who you hear me, that, Big Hill? Who said that? Who said that? I'm talking about Big Hill. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you, I hear you man. Okay, so, so like, the discussion I have, like, an old-time Bulldog man told me exactly what you said, but I'm not saying somewhere you wrong, but other people said that, that the, the part that they consider is game is, is the dog not want to quit no matter what task you put in, hog hunting, guard work, and and that's what they always told me. That that's what it like, you know. Because if the dog don't want to work, it's not game. It's not. It's it's not willing to go into the field of doing no work. So yeah. that's what I was always told. I can be wrong. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, now look. Now look. Now this is one of the things I got. Y'all, I need y'all to realize this. For twenty four years, I sat back and watched other people talk about dogs. And my old head, Lester Hughes, said this. He said, uh, and I, I want to say he quoted this from another dog man. But Lester Hughes, where I heard it from, he said. They'll all quit. Some just quit faster than others. And what I mean by that is, I don't care how game you think it is, you put it on the slap mill for five hours and see if he's still going. You know what I'm saying? The only the only game that I can that you can say is was 100 percent game to the end is dead game. And so when you say that the old head says that the willingness to go on, yeah, if you're gonna pick him up eventually, or you're gonna let him die. There's now, no now dead dead game is, is is another thing. Dead game, you ain't you, dead game. You you a dead dog. You know you a dead dog. So yeah, that's dead game. So but like, you, so you, you gotta pick them up before that. You know what I mean? So you never gonna know if it's dead game unless that motherfucker dead. So you ain't gonna never. And you get if he dead locked on shit like that, and that be happening out there with the hogs. Motherfucker be sleeping still on that jump, and that's dead game. But also he could have just got his ass whooped and got killed. You know what I'm saying? He could have got killed fast. So that or or if he's still locked on that bitch, he wasn't trying to run. But but what I'm saying is if that hog severs the it severs the, the central nervous system and does it quickly, that dog didn't have a chance to quit in the first place. Or you got these dogs that was five and six time winners, but they didn't go up against nobody else. Because it, at the end of the day, if you're if you were talking about gameness at its trueness, you would have to keep going to see when it when it, whether it's dead game or not. So what I'm getting at is, it, like you like you said earlier, it's levels to it, and you have to decide what the level of gameness is that you want in your line of dogs. True, salute, salute, true. And like y'all boys were saying earlier, y'all was right about uh, um, like when I say when I pick a puppy out early, early when they two months old, and I say they got high drive, I'm looking for not even that don't got nothing to do with gameness at all. You know what I'm saying? That's you know he could be it's training drive what I'm looking for that drive the to listen to me, to, to, to pay attention when I say pay attention, you know what I'm saying? He really want to follow everything I want to want him to do and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, um, like you say, chasing everything, running after the balls and stuff like that. None of that got nothing to do with gameless, but it's a it's a training talk, you know, as far as, you know, like what you were saying about we don't really use the game word over there. You don't really hear people saying, oh, that, that shepherd game, he game because they fought, you know, they have other words like you saying the stress and the drive high drive and he got a you know it just it just different lingo for different uh different avenues with the dogs i guess but um you know i i'm listening to all y'all boys man because i don't think none of y'all really wrong with y'all saying period it's just shit i call uh, my dogs guard dogs i don't call them gang i don't use the word game as i use now you with, with the guard and all that i don't think you use it. i don't think you're gonna use game unless you dealing with a dog having to you know fight something no matter See, what he, he do fight. bite either listen listen he do listen i ain't he talking do, about listen. human being no but i'm saying oh, listen at, at the end of the day one thing i do know about the dogs that i did breed that they got hard biting mouth and yeah. i found that out i found that out through me training my dog to be a guard dog and then tucker being a, a hog hunt dog so i for for two dogs i know for sure they mouth is good on them. So I, I you know, that's why I say they got strong mouth. Hey, now salute to the uh 
uh, Brother John in the chat, chasing a ball and pray drive is different. You are right. You know what I'm saying? You are right. And that's why I said, if you was listening to the first part of my comment, I said, when I'm talking about training, you, you, you forgot to add training into the whole statement that you said just now. You, you wanted to add one part of what I said and didn't add the other part. I said, when I'm thinking about training and I'm chase, making them chase a ball, then that's the kind of drive I'm saying when I say about high drive. I also said that training that way in the, ain't the same thing as gameness, which would mean the gameness and the prey drive, you know, prey drive and gameness ain't the same thing. You know, you can, you can want to chase a damn deer all day, but your gameness is nothing. You're not game worth a hell. You're a curve. You jump a box, but you'll chase a, 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 a something running, you no know, running. You might have a high prey drive, but you ain't game. You know, at the end of the day, the word game going to always go back to the pit bull probably with, when it comes to fighting something because everybody else got their own lingo for the stuff that they talk about. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's hog hunting, them boys talking about hunters. You know, they ain't worried about, they do they say they're good hunters. It's just the brothers with the, the pits know to say that, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, uh, it's, it's just, you know, um, just so, different, man. It's just different. Let me ask uh, you, let me ask, let me ask y'all this, right? So you get, you know, somebody with some, that has some, uh, they said, they said they had some dead game, uh, stock. Historically speaking, they had some dead game box dogs. You know what I mean? And it, and it was shown, you know, they had grand champions and all that shit, right? So everybody in the community knew that shit was stamped dead game. Now, nowadays, you can't do that stuff or whatever. Now, say you took one of those dogs and you tried to transfer them and send them in the woods with a hog and they come running out the woods. Is that, would y'all still say that? person's line was dead game or would that dog be dead game that ran out the woods but you know in the box the joke is right but when you go in the woods the motherfucker ran out the woods so is it still game in your ass well i take that first um see uh that goes back i mean me myself uh, something gonna be wrong with that. I, I ain't gonna feel safe with that after I see that back in the days. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't feel safe having one to see him ran out like that. You know, uh, I, I have to see a whole lot more stuff out of him, you know what I'm saying, before I you know really have some confidence in him after seeing that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, um, shit, that's a good question, man. Um, so, all, all, the people, all, all the people, all the people, all the people, all, all, man. all the people that got the big, anybody that got, got, a question with that could take their know. take their dead game joint and take them in the woods one time and see if it run out and see if you still like it after that and see what you're talking about. Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh John Kramer. I know I ain't no ain't no um you know, I was just explaining something, big homie ain't, uh, ain't none of that, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no, I ain't tripping off that. You know what I'm saying? I was just telling you so you know uh you wouldn't think I was just talking about like I know I can't get a puppy that's acting you no know, good and thinking that's gonna mean the game is wise but hey back to the question we was talking about this now big dog you know um a dog once he learned how to run he gonna always know how to run you know what i'm saying uh whether he ran from something if he running from a human you know what i'm saying if you got a game dog and you think he's something you know what i'm saying and somebody end up chasing that dog that dog know how to get away <laughs> whether he curled out of the box or not you know, I'm trying to say, he taught that dog how to run you know what I'm saying? If you ever teach him, I don't care what you're doing. If you ever teach him how to get away, he know how to he know how to get away from pressure when pressure get on his ass. You know what I'm saying? That's all he need to know. Once he learns, a lot of them dogs don't know how to run. You know, they gonna stay there. They gonna hey, another thing I want to mention real quick, bro. What you say about dead game, not saying that I'm right when I'm about to ask, you know, but do you consider dead game that you have to be dead? What if I'm going to be dead, but I want to pick him up? If I'm going to be dead, I can see that he's about to be dead. You I mean, you know, if it's, ob if it's obvious, you know what I mean? You mean? That's the next thing to it. I mean, you don't got to do that to the, to the, to the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's not like something you try to do on purpose. It's yeah. usually something that happened and you just find out. It ain't nothing like you try to do on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, if you can save your ham, save your ham. Yeah. Fuck trying to prove that he did game. Like, nah, you want your ham. Hey, most, most people, most people leave him on down, too. What's wrong with calling the deep game and just and just calling it what you saw? Yeah, yeah, I agree, Dre. I agree. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're right about that. You'd be a dummy to you lose your dog just to show somebody has a dead game when it's hey, a good bro, dog. When it comes to the competitive, hey, nanny, when it comes to being competitive, bro, brothers don't want to call it quits, dog. Brothers lost a lot of good dogs out here because they ain't want to call it quits, man. Looking over there, that other brother over in that corner trying to, it's like, uh, you know how them brothers play poker and they try to look at each other and try to, trying to see if he's ready to call it, it see if he's bluffing or not. He looking over there, boy. I, I, I want to. He said in his head, "I want to stop it." But damn that shit, I ain't giving up. That motherfucker ain't stopping, boy. He ain't quitting. He ain't quitting. He trying to talk him about his game over there, and both of them trying to do the same thing, hoping the other one will pick up first. You know what I'm saying? Neither one of them want to quit. And boy, hey, it is competitive out there back in them days, man. Uh, you know, especially when the brothers done seen a lot out of their dogs, they gonna leave them down. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, um, that ain't my. That's why I list. I never got that sport. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> hey, man, dog. Hey, I had today. I'm I'm gonna get in the ring. I'm gonna be the nigga who get in the ring back in the day to help his dog win. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, hey, I had a hey, I'm, I'm <laughs> that exactly what you just said. I had a homeboy. I got two statements I want to make real quick. Had a homeboy, he took him, he had a mixed breed pit and German Shepherd type dog. He used to think that bitch was the shit. You know, older dude. Man, that motherfucker took that motherfucker, threw him back there on the damn yard, my homeboy's yard with them game dogs. Man, that game dog got in his ass in about 15 seconds. He was on the ground, man. You think I think I'm bullshit? No lie, that motherfucker jumped down there with his dog, open the pit bull mouth. You know what I'm saying? Jumping the dog, they were jumping the dog. You know what I'm saying? The boy broke him off of him and shit like that. I say, damn, that's how you say you'll be nanny dog. You get out there and help him. You but, damn uh, right, yeah. damn right. I'm gonna be this person to help my dog. You got me messed up. There. I'm leaving oh, yeah. my dog down there. Get wood. I, I had a, a older, like an uncle dude that used to be with us back in the day. He always talk about he used to rolling, 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 rolling. Then we finally got hold of that yellow dog that I was telling y'all about when we finally got off um fat champion fatty little mate sister. When we got that dog, man, all that shit he used to tell us all them years, we found out wasn't true in a matter of five minutes. Once that dog got hold of that dog and they start really looking ugly back there, you know, he start, ah, is they bleeding too much, man? Let's go, man. So break them off of him, take them off of him. It didn't been nothing about. And we talking about a six-month-old dog wrecking a damn full-grown dog. Take him off of him, take him off of him. We knew right then that everything he told us 15 years before and all the time up until was a damn lie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A damn lie, you know? But, hey, man, I ain't getting off right this second, but I do want to say this right now. I appreciate you rocking with me tonight, Summer Ride. I appreciate you, Nanny Dog, and live your life, dogs, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all brothers both all kicking gems, you know? And Nanny Dog, like I say, you you ain't come on at the beginning. I don't know if you caught the beginning of the video, man. I'm gonna, go back, all, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and watch it. Back to you, big homie, because I know you ride or die about that blue shit. You know what I'm saying? So I had to get some info for you, and you can continue on getting it. You know what I'm saying? Continue on getting it, and make your dog be the start of the pedigree. But get one. You, it's all kind of ways to get one, but get one. Make your dog be it. You make the name like you making it. Everybody know blue, whether they like them or not. They know blue more than they know some of these game dogs. I tell you that. They can say what they want about your nanny dog, but they know your blue dog. More than they know the name of some of them brothers. Hey, 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 hey listen, listen, listen. Let me explain something to y'all. I know you've been around long enough. But Blue, my Blue Dog that they talk about, been seen by thousands of people. My Blue Dog was in a video shoot. Yeah, a so real video. You know, you know, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm in a different lane. <laughs> well, knowing all that, you just ride with how you got to ride. Don't worry about it, man. It is what it is. You can't get mad. Brothers going to have their opinions about stuff. You know, and you got to be able to voice it without thinking we talking about your dog. You know what I'm saying? Because like I told you before, you might have a blue pit bull, but across the country, there's not a lot of blue pit bulls. You know what I'm saying? So you may have one of few. You know what I'm saying? So when brothers talk about the blues and the stuff, when we say the blue dogs giving the bad the pit, the pit bulls a bad name when it comes to biting, biting and stuff, we're not talking about your dog. We're talking about all the other thousands of mixed breed dogs that's blue color. Blue is a popular color. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's two things. You're either going to rep the pit bulls or you're going to rep the blues. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to rep the blues, then you're going to rather rep more than just the pit bulls because more than pit bulls, blue. You know? Okay, but can I you the pit bulls, you can't get mad every time we talk about the blues because okay, no one got a pit bull get mad when we talk about blues. You know okay, what I'm saying? So, so this is my thing, and this is something that I, that I was going to say next time I talk to you, I'm going to tell you that I talked to the man who bred my dog, and one thing he said is, if everybody be like, oh, blue dog ain't pit bull. Every red dog ain't no pit bull either. No, no, no color dog is no pit bull. But at the end of the day, 
when brothers say something about anybody, though, no matter who it is, you can't. Like, if they say something about a Mayday, though, you know, I can't take it personal because I got a Mayday, though. Or they say something about a Red Boy Jocko, though. They're not talking about mine. They're talking about all the other ones that's out here across the country. I can't get mad because they're talking about them. Mr. Oh, now they say, oh, the Big John stuff. Then I step in because that's the line I'm running. When they say about the hog stuff, then I step in because that's the line I'm running. But other than that, everybody got these dogs. You know what I'm saying? And only time I step in with the hog stuff is when they're talking about the copper and this and that that's really pertaining to what I'm talking about, what I'm doing. Other than that, everybody got these dogs, so I can't think you're just talking about me. You know what I'm saying? I can't make, oh, if, if Tony M says something about uh, these dogs or this or that, you know, you're not talking about me. You're talking about the dogs in general. You know what I'm saying? If I say the Eli dogs ain't shit, I'm not talking about Brother Summerai if he got Eli in his pedigree. he, You know what I'm saying? He just know that's dog talk. You know what I'm saying? And that's my opinion. He don't get mad about it and then start going, you know, start trying to prove this or prove that. But at the end of the day, you know what he can do? He can pull out his pedigree. He don't have to talk no more. You know what I'm saying? The talking has ceased. He put out that title and he lay it down right there and he don't have to say nothing else to me at all. I can sit there and I can read and I know what's what as far as, you know, what he got, you know, what, what he's work, he working with as far as what I can read, not what, what I can see. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, but long as what makes you happy, dog, makes you happy. That's all that matter, dog. Nobody can, like, like every brother said already, nobody feeding them dogs but you, man. You know what I'm saying? And shit, you've been arguing about that dog for the longest, long as you've been arguing about him, that, that motherfucker, he famous now. He famous. But the thing is, uh, put that energy in, that same energy into making him more famous. Fuck what a motherfucker think, dog. You know what I'm saying? Let him be the start of your pedigree. Let him be the start of your generation. You know, his sons be on the pedigree. His sons, his sons be on the pedigree. Because at the end of the day, dog, you're going to be 10 years down the line, right? And you say pedigrees don't matter, but you'll be 10 years down the line. And you I, never have, said, you I never a, said, listen, I never said pedigrees didn't matter. So you don't have enough that. dogs. You have enough dogs that you could have had your own pedigree and had your own, own background. Start with blue. You know what I'm saying? That you could have been showing motherfuckers saying, oh, this come off this, this come off that, this come off this, this come off that. And if you're talking about 15 years down, uh, 20 years down the line, you, your shit ain't no different than the next man shit. You know, far as when you your arguing point, you know, but if you go ahead, and, if you keep arguing for 10, 10 more years without even trying to worry about a pedigree, then you're going to have nothing but the same argument as, you know, when you're jumping into, you know, conversation with these game dog brothers. They always Excuse, can I say pedigree. something, please? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so first of all, I've been having a, a pedigree on, on that dog, Daddy. Since 2000, 2020, his pedigree, his daddy pedigree go back, back before people say that, oh, you won't give daddy. nobody pedigree. No, no. Why would I get pedigree back? Why would I get them? Why would I get them my pedigree? I don't like, listen, listen I don't like half the motherfuckers that be in my chat to be talking all kind of shit. Yes, but sir. I don't, I'm quick to drop a pedigree if you need it, because that's what it's about. With, in this gang, in these dogs that we dealing with, you know, it's about you know what we talk certain certain things we talk about, but if you're gonna talk about if you're gonna get in the conversation now, if I'm if if okay, say if I'm getting in the training brothers conversation, I gotta be ready to have the the the, the backup the back whatever I'm talking about up. You know what I'm saying? If I'm getting in the conversation, no game dog talk. We just talk of training. But if I jump in the brothers conversation with the game dog talk, you know what I'm saying? Then I gotta have some type of basis to lean back on. You know what I'm saying? Or else they gonna keep ragging me. Okay, what's Sambo off of? If I would have never told them boys what Sambo's off of, they would have still been ragging me, ragging me, ragging me, ragging me. You know what I'm saying? And still like, oh, okay, yeah, it don't matter. I don't care if they like them or not. I know I did what I did, but I throw the pedigree down because, you know, it just stopped a lot of talking. We don't have to talk as much when you throw that pedigree down. You know what I'm saying? We can stop some of the talking. They say, what are y'all? Okay, here, this is what are y'all. Boom. Now we can talk about something else. You know what I'm saying? You know, I wish the world was like that, sir. I, I've been sitting back watching y'all dissect each other pedigree. And I, one thing I have since I've been on here since 2020 and 2019, I've been watching y'all dissect each other pedigree. Why would I put my pedigree to be dissect when at the end of the day, what's the point of dissecting each other pedigree? You're not going to buy the dog. You 100% right. But you can't jump in a pedigree conversation if you don't want to dissect your pedigree. That's the thing. No, 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 no. I can listen. With pedigree I don't jump, talkers. I don't jump in no pedigree conversation. 
I just say what 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 dog what bloodline I like Eli. I like Eli. That's it. It when it when it listen. It'd be different if I was in the com. Listen, it's not me jumping in the conversation of it. I should be able to without showing my listen. For example, is I'm I'm gonna use this that somebody said to me the other day. It's so many people on YouTube who that don't have listen. They just have letters and they thing and they talking bulldog. And but they you don't never jump in this conversation with us. You don't never see their dogs. You don't never see their dogs. You never see the dog, but they come in and, and you read they come in and you, you know what I'm saying? You never see the dog off of them, but you read they come in. It just, ju listen, I'm always, because I, I fight a different battle, I'm always going to be the op. So let me flip. I like being op. I don't get mad at a lot of things. It might seem like that. I just stand up when it need to be stand up. If some wrong information is be putting out, I'm going to speak up about the correct information. I've been knowing before I got on YouTube that blue dogs is around at the end of the day anything besides the only thing i give a care about is proving that blue dogs around pedigree all that i'm not gonna break down to you because at the end of the day you you didn't know you didn't believe the dog existed so why would i break down a pedigree that you didn't even exi think existed and then if it crossed over to other people's blood they're gonna say oh no that that, that dog paper hang paper i'm not gonna have nobody's trying to say my dog paperwork is hanged when i know what's in my dog no, my dog no. i Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, my fault. No, I'm just saying, like, I know what's in my dog. It doesn't matter. I'm not breeding my dog for nobody. That when I when I breed my dog for me and my camp, long as me and my camp happy, and long as the people who bought the dogs happy, at the end day, I'm getting, I'm, listen, I was good when I bred them dogs. I got my one, so the, the dad back to the breeder, at the end day, he was oppressed by how he looked. Many people have seen my my blood on 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 on, on videos. I am I am already popular in my own state. Then people say my name so much and judge my dog. I'm already listen. My dogs already people already in different sectors of YouTube want to buy my dog. So if, if the pit bull community don't want to buy it, and other people are pressed by my dogs and the looks and all that, what do I care about people who not spend no money? I care about the people who spend the moolah. That's all that matters to me. The moolah. Well, I feel you now. I feel you. I feel you on that. Let me ask you this too, real quick. So, would you take if, if the brothers out here wanted to get you a um a dog, a game bred dog with papers and stuff like that? Would you take them too? What do you? I mean, what do you mean by that? Like if like if you seen a dog you like or something. If you seen a dog you like and it was off a particular bloodline, would you know? You know, would you have one of them kind of dogs? Yeah, if it's gonna fit my requirement, because I mean, if it if, if by the time it hits six months, if it don't meet my requirement, I don't care how much, how much. Yeah, you, I feel you on that. I feel you. It's got to it's got to go. I'm gonna yeah. call you and I'm gonna call you and say, do you want to do you want to get the dog back? If you if you gave it to me free, I'm gonna give it back to you for free. But if you charge me, I want the same price that you charge me. I ain't no dime nickel less. You if you want it. If you don't, I will sell them up to somebody else for the same price I paid for it. Either oh, you yeah. can take your stock back or I can sell your stock to somebody else. But me, I don't, this is the whole point of it. When I bought my dogs, I bought them with papers and pedigree because my dogs, like I said on Buck Channel, see, is... See, it's best that you say your dogs don't got papers because every time you say that, that makes a brother say, what is the pair? See, every time you say, it's best if you're not going to worry about the pairs, just to say, man, I'm not worried about no pairs. My dogs ain't got no papers. You know what I'm saying? Because whenever you say... Uh, my dog's got pairs. My dog's got pairs. That make a brother. Why would speak. I lie? But listen, if it, oh, listen, that'd be me lying. That'd be that'd be me lying to Pedicure Bay. That would be me lying to to make everybody else. Happy. Why would I lie and say my dog don't got pigs and paper when they do? Why? I mean, it doesn't make sense because I don't want to tell. Don't mean that it doesn't happen. If I don't want to show, now, it doesn't mean like this, uh, yeah, I'm just a, like listen. I'm a tell up, you, I'm a tell you game, dog. Hold on, hold on. Let me give you real quick. Okay. I had a game dog about a couple of years ago. Bred or bred off the same shit. You know, we talk about all the time. I didn't have my hands on the papers. That dog registered. That dog got a pedigree. I didn't have my hands on the papers. That dog don't got no fucking papers. You know, I don't care about the pedigree dog having a pedigree. If you don't have access to the papers, you know, your dog don't got papers. A dog is worthless to you. If you, if you, I'm talking about not you, Nanny Dog. I'm talking about brothers who deal with the pedigrees and all that. 
if you don't got the papers, it don't matter what you see. Or, or you can know this dog off of this and this dog off of that. You know what I'm saying? If if you if you don't care about the papers, then that's a whole different story. You just a brother who don't care about the papers. It's, it's a lot of brothers like that who don't care about the papers at all. You know what I'm saying? But if you care about the papers, you know what I'm saying, and you don't got the papers, I mean, you 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 know, it's no really you know everything you okay, say. So, you so this this, this I'm gonna tell about my blue dog. No, you got. Look, look, this is what I'm saying about my blue dog, and I would never. On God, buy a dog for thirty five hundred without no papers and pedigree. I could have bought a dog off the streets for that. I didn't have to take a trip to go buy that dog. So are you going to I, so are you gonna limit yourself in your blue dog sales right now by saying that? Which, which mean that you can't make yourself pumping enough to sell your dogs with no papers for for thirty five hundred for forty five hundred. I sold my puppies. What do you mean? I'm, I'm, sorry, yeah, I'm, my yeah, I'm, not, I'm not talking about with how much you're selling for right now. If you're not selling them for 35, hopefully in the future you will be selling them for 35. I hopefully did listen. I saw listen. Less I saw the pup, less I saw the puppy for was 3200. Damn, boy, I need to get I need to holler at people you hollering at. I didn't, I didn't I listen. That's why that's why we y'all be talking about, oh, your dogs don't got papers, they ain't got pedigree. Oh. I spend listen, I spend with people. I spend what people won't spend because I'm getting a good quality dog. That dog, for my money, I feel like I like I said on Buck Channel. I feel like I didn't waste my money. I, I I'm pleased with spending that much money. And then I've got my return now, back. I got a, a good meal off of it and return. You said the key thing is not any though. When you was on Buck Channel, no. Why is you on that channel with them boys? If you talking, they talking pedigrees, and you don't want need to be talking pedigrees because you know that, that we you just you just established that you don't want to be, you know. So why that, that you put yourself in that situation and when you jump in them chat? See, Master of All Bulldogs, he don't talk pedigrees, he talk bullshit, or he talks some other shit like mixed breed dogs and all the other shit. You know what I'm saying? But them boys is pedigree talkers. So when you jump in the conversation with any of them boys, but any of them boys, you know what I'm saying? Anybody. They gon' they ped we, we we all we we like I said before we we got PhDs in pedigrees. We talk about pedigrees. That's what these channels go off of a lot of pedigree talk. You know what I'm saying? So when you jump in there, you know it's like you jumping in a pedigree uh shark pool. Everybody in here got their pedigrees. They sharpen them up like knives. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody on Rackers Island with a bunch of pedigrees sharpen up ready to stab people. And when you jump in there and you ain't got a pedigree, it's like you coming in there without oh, a weapon. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Okay, 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 okay. So, so my thing is, I sent them dissect your pedigree. I sent you dissect some of their pedigrees, right? Yeah. That that, that right there, that right there. When you just said it, I'm jumping in. They're they're not pulling up their dog pedigree. They pull up every other dog pedigree. Besides, they they pull might pull theirs up, but they pulling up anybody in the chat. Anybody okay. want to volunteer? Listen, any I've, I've been sitting back watching before I hit the panel. They pull right. up anybody pedigree that put it in. If I put my pedigree in, in your chat, they're going to pull up. I don't have to put my pedigree in. I, listen, to be accepted in American people with terrier group, and, and I be in other groups, I don't need to do that. Only only time that that matters is people who wants to be messy. What what are we being messy for when at the end of the day, the end of the day I, can learn, I can learn from them and they can learn from me? The whole thing of old timers, when y'all talk about the old timers, is knowledge, giving knowledge and all that. I know more outside of the of the the box thing of the dog. Why would you not let me in there that you don't they don't know that? Because if y'all knew that, y'all would have knew that the blue dog been around for the long for a long time. They might I might not be a million of them, they might have disappeared, have it went. But from their beginning it was it never they never existed. And you thought the same thing, they never existed. It was nowhere to be found. So my thing is, I don't need to break down no pedigree when it comes to trying to tell them about the dog, period, point blank, the colors okay, of the Okay, let dog. me give you an example real quick. A lot of brothers know uh, the, the black brother that do the training out there called um, K-9 gra Grassroots. Okay, uh, great brother, great great training. If you, if you ain't hit this channel, go check it out. Uh, Grassroot K-9, I think it's called, or something like that. But uh, that brother's not going to get in a conversation with us because, you know, if we're talking about uh, game dogs, uh, you know, unless he have dealings with that dog, now, uh, them dogs. Now, if he come over there to conversate with us, 
The first thing I'm going to ask him, me, myself, personally, first thing I'm going to ask him, what's the pedigree on the dog you got? Or what's the pedigree on, you know what I'm saying, uh, the dog he talking about? Now, we talking about training. That's a whole different thing. He'll get in that conversation, but he's not going to get into it. He, anybody who not into pedigrees or into that type of got dogs with that stuff, they're not going to get in that conversation because it's, it, you know, it, it's not for them. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not going to get in that conversation. But when you get into it, you got to be ready for what people ask you. And they're going to ask you, what's your stuff off of? When you say, um, you know what I'm saying, um, that you don't have to tell them. That's quite, you know, that's understandable, um, big dog. I ain't going to lie to you. I feel, you know, exactly what, what you're saying. I don't have to explain nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you do got to explain something to somebody because this is a YouTube channel. You want people to watch your shit. You want people to, 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 to hear your word and, and think, you know, feel like you giving some real knowledge from it. You know what I'm saying? So certain things, you know, if you jump in that conversation, the whole thing ball down to, though, if you jump in a conversation about anything, it don't matter what we talking about. We could be talking about pimping girls. You know what I'm saying? If you jump in that conversation, you got to have some some type of something, you know what I'm saying, that back what you're talking about up. You know what I'm saying? And hey, listen, not can just, I say, not can just I say something on what you just said? Because you're going to always say end up, hold on, hold on. You're going to always Go end ahead. up going off the air on everybody who asks you about the pedigree because you're going to always fall back to, okay, I don't got to explain nothing to nobody, this and that. Then you're going to start saying, you know, getting the attitude or temper. I while. don't get the attitude. No, 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 no. So this is my thing is, you said because I own a YouTube channel, I have to explain. No, I don't. No, you don't only have to people, explain. Only people I have to explain something to is customers. Customers. If you're not a customer, I don't have to explain that. I don't have to tell you nothing about this. I don't have to tell you how the dog breed, who his sight, who his dam is, who his grandmother, grandfather is, what blood he came off, what blood you he... You don't think he, people that like your you dog... You don't have to. You don't have channel. to. You don't think people that like your dog that watch your channel want to know how the daddy temperament is, the mama temperament, how the granddaddy temperament is, were they good family dogs, were they good house pets? They don't want to just go off your word. They want to go off what they see. When we got them working dogs, we like to see police, so-and-so, um, somebody, whatever you um, you say your dog named Blue, okay? Um, when you got them certain working dogs, they have titles in front of them, the name of them. It might be, a, if it was a police dog, it'll say it was a police dog in, in a different name. Or whatever. People want to see these titles in front of their dogs, you know what I'm saying? When they look at the papers and stuff. And it's just like, okay, you got people that's you saying, okay, you just looking for sales. Well, what's the purpose of the um the, the channel? Just to talk to your people who feel like you, to communicate with people who feel like you. All on all y'all good dog men, y'all, you know, people who think like you. So now that you got them out here and they see blue, they want to know what blue off of. You know what I'm saying? Now, not they know his name know. is Max. His name is Max. Don't you see that? I thought it was Blue. My fault. My fault. No, Max. no, that's his daddy name. His name okay, is Max. Okay. So Blue, uh, Blue is in there somewhere. I knew, I knew, I heard Blue somewhere. Okay, but Max. Okay, now they want to know what Max off of. So now you got Max off of Blue. You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they want to see that. You know, even if it ain't number pictures. You know, um, showing oh these pictures right here or this or that or this or that. It's too up to date times. We're not in the sixties no more. We're in 2024. It's too easy to get information. The same way I say you said the dude had papers and all that. Back in the days, what we used to do was write that shit down on paper. Brothers write that shit down oh, on okay, paper. Okay, okay, okay. So 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 you are, so okay. Max is off blue. Blue is off of um um what is that dog name? Billy. Billy is off Billy is off of uh um what the what is Billy for freaking daddy name? Oh fuck. I just listen. I just know when it comes down to customers, they know exactly what these dogs are for. And they can listen. And then they see blue paperwork say who his breed is, and I'm not his breeder. So they are, they go to the breeder. They get the documents. Like my dogs had the documents just like everybody else do. I had listen, I have documents with on papers and pedigree. And then I do what the old time told me to do. I write down my my pedigree that I make myself so the dogs I breed together so at the at the end of the day so when I be able to do when they come back to me when I do my line I have the from my house and how I breed into how the people breed before I was breeding why about right. it from now let me explain something to you real quick okay me knowing I want to sell dogs and make money off my dogs when I, the first thing I knew is I had to invest I had to invest in the best quality stock that I could find. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about before, before I'm talking about before my Molly Wise, before JD Hogg and all of them. Listen, okay, my thing is, okay, I'm training. Now I want to get dogs. Ask my homeboys I talk to every day. You know, you're not going to build my yard just sitting in my fucking yard. You got to make money. You got to do something. You know what I'm saying? You got to earn your fucking keep. You know, so at the end of the day, you know, um, it's like, it's just, it's just, I don't know, man. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to damn. He did, listen, he did, listen, he do, listen, he do on, listen, he do on his keep. Because if you walk up to my house right now, I'm going to know you, are you in front of my house here before you even touch the door? I just know he do. You know, man, so he uh, do. So when I get him the raw, when I get him the raw steaks, and I give him that diamond dog food, and I buy them hornets, and I buy them collar that listen, I invest into my dog. No matter what a person think about it, I probably put more into my dog than half of the people who think they got game bread. I mean, they got game bread people. They think my dog. I invest into my dog. My dogs cost probably more than their dog do, and I sell my dogs more. When you listen. You can't you can't sell dogs high if you're trying to flood the community with them. That's why I'm not breeding no not no time soon. I want people to want my dogs, want, not push them to them, want that 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 I get enough customers that I say okay I'm gonna do a breed, rather than me saying I'm gonna breed and figure out why well, I'm gonna keep two. No, I breed I breed on the, how many people. If I feel like a dog gonna have eight puppy, if I get sixteen customers saying they want a dog. Then I know out of 16, I can get eight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, man. Uh, big salute to the brothers down in the chat. Big salute to Jay's Moonlight. Big dog. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, um, now nah, this man, I, I this video was the um I, I did this whole video, the you know, the big up uh brother nanny dog, you know what I'm saying? Because I found that little article that I played at the beginning of the video about the silver dogs and Way back in the days or whatever. So this whole thing was the big nanny dog up. You know what I'm saying? What we talking about now, you know, we we've been past that uh, as far as the blue stuff. We talking about the pairs and stuff now. Um, but yeah, man, and you know, um, I I just don't think, you know what I'm saying, if it'd be a whole lot easier myself, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't jump in a conversation when you know, you don't see me jumping in all kind of training conversations about certain things, or you don't see me jumping in the conversation about um uh uh, what do you call it when you cut the dog hair and stuff like that? When you're grooming the dogs and stuff or certain things because I know when you jump in them conversations, you got to be able to have documented fact or either some type of fact that you, you know, some type of something. You know what I'm saying? You can't just say, okay, I'm going to talk to these guys who are in the Westminster shows. They're going to the Westminster shows and I'm saying, oh, I got a Westminster champion. Dog come off a Westminster champion. You don't need to know who he come off of, though. You don't oh, need excuse to know me, can I ask you a question? If you either want I, it or you don't want it, you know what I'm saying? You either, you, you don't even know who it's off of. I got papers on them. Offer, can I ask you a question? Go ahead, go ahead. So, so I, I, I just see people pull up, okay, they got Jeep, they got Jeep in their dog. Why are they pulling up Jeep pedigree and they don't own Jeep at this time? But they pull up Honey Bunch. They don't own Honey Bunch at this time. They pulling yeah. up pet. Listen, so if they don't listen, I can get in a conversation because that's, that, that's the dog that was prior to their time that they don't they got the blood they but they don't got the dog so yard, I, hold on hold on let me say, yard, let me finish this that dog they talking about and they got no, proof listen. that it is because they're showing you, you know but what i'm saying is why if if i know if i know the pig if i know what who honey bunch and who she came off of and who who else came off of why i can't be in the conversation if i know that you like I mean, in, you, go to school. You, could be, you could be in any conversation, bro. But the thing is, no, okay, you, you, know, I, you know, I told Supreme Excellence his carver ain't close up on his dogs. But let, check this out, right? At the end of the day, he showed me his papers. If he showed me his papers and it all go back, he can show me his papers. Then it all go back, boom, 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 back to the carver stuff. Then that's he proved. You no, know, he showed me that his dogs off of this, his dogs off of that. But if you don't got that proof, then what you're talking about is just talk. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, at the end of the day, these brothers over here in this lane, over here on this, like, the YouTube community as far as the pit bull game dog-wise, they all talk pedigrees. And when they know you don't got a pedigree, they all gonna hit you in that same way. So that's why I say, even if, no matter different where your paper's at, start pedigreeing them up. You know what I'm saying? Breeding to these mother, making your own papers. Not your own papers, but your own generation of dogs. You, you done got about two or three generations do your own generation. So when you start talking, when they start talking pedigrees, 
You can talk pedigrees. They just going back to your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I mean, if they don't like it, they don't like it. It is, it is what it is. You know, um, but at the end of the day, when you jump in them conversations with them boys, like you was in Buck, them conversations, they're going to eat it up alive, dog, because they're going to automatically jump into the, the pedigree talk. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they hey, 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 this is what they realize. Listen, and you realize this. I don't give a damn. Listen, only, only person, this is the best way to say it to you. Only I person I give a crap about is to me. No, 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 no. You listen, so this, you no, I get frustrated. I don't get mad. No, I don't get mad. Listen, I can't, listen. I can't get, listen. I can't get mad about something that ain't nobody taking money out of my pocket. So I get frustrated. But one thing I do realize is you saying this. I don't care what nobody think about me. I'm trying to I listen. Only person I care about think about me is my wife, my mother, my father, That's my sister. That's how all of us feel. No, all us feel. But, no, but listen, I'm not gonna get so, in no conversation with nobody speaking on something that I can't you know. If I'm talking about what they talking about, then it got to be verified, or it got to be. I can, I can. If they say, "Oh, what you did," I got, I got to be verified, man. You know, you can't jump in a conversation. I wasn't in a listen. I listen. And get the, the, okay. I'm talking about and get mad. Okay. Now, if they say, okay. oh, hey, what, what, what's this or what's that? Okay, you know, I, okay, I talk about my dog, right? I ain't mean to cut y'all, yeah. bro. I'm just, you know. No, okay. no I'm, I'm going to answer you quick because you do hit on the good chat, point. Say, say somebody in the chat, say, boom, what, what's this off? Okay. You know, I talk shit to different brothers in the chat all the time. But at the end of the day, that's what we do. We talk pedigrees. We talk dogs. We talk bulldogs. We talk stuff that can't be done no more. We talk stuff from history back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we 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 not necessarily talking about doing stuff right now today or none of that type of stuff. We talking about old stuff. You know, so that's the type of conversations we have. But somebody who don't want to be involved in that conversation, they're not going to get into it. Because if they do, then you can bet your bottom dollar. It ain't just you, though. Any brother that get up here and start talking with brothers in these conversations, they're going to ask you, what this dog go for? What that dog go for? What this dog go for? And then they got to go show you. You know what I'm okay, saying? So, 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 so my thing is, I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. I don't tell my dog, I don't never want my dog bloodline to be able to consider like all the rest of me is, oh, I'm chasing dead fighting dogs. So it, it's not really for me to talk about. I'm never going to get on nobody platform and break down my dog's pedigree to put me in a category with everybody else. I don't have nothing. They don't have nothing to do with me. I don't believe in that sport. So I'm not going to put my dog's pedigree in that sport with it. I don't listen. Do, what we can't do, what we can't do is we Go can't ahead. put the pedigree for people doing illegal stuff the date. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we fight for all the time. We fight to say that these pedigrees, because we got these dogs off these pedigrees, don't mean these brothers are still doing this stuff. It means these brothers could be doing the same thing you're doing, but they got a dog with a history. Everything got a history. All the papers is is a title to a car. Would you buy a car without a title right now? You yourself personally. Would you go buy a car without hold a title? Hold on, hold on. I got I got three vehicles. I got the title. So I got I got the deed to my house. I got the papers to my dog. I got the birth certificate to all my kids. I got my birth certificate. Why do ain't nothing in my house ain't, ain't registered? Under under nothing. Everybody got certificates. Uh, uh, pet, uh, papers is a dog certificate, like a birth certificate. It ain't nothing. Listen, that, it didn't cost me number fifty dollars when I bought it. When I registered my dog, my dog, it cost me fifty dollars. When I the the pedigree or everything, my dog. Listen, my dog granddaddy got a pig online. All I gotta do is say. All I gotta do is wear well, his granddaddy pig online. All I gotta do is say his granddaddy name, and y'all y'all know everything. But why would I give y'all that to go through that dog pedigree? Because that shut, up, that shut up everybody. And then, and then the conversation moves on to something else. No, it's not. It, no, it's not. I don't think it's going to shut nobody up. Hey, it ain't going to uh, never shut everybody up. It ain't going to never shut everybody up. Hell, we all got pedigrees and every, people still talk trash. That's just YouTube. Hey, can I get back in here, y'all? Go ahead, big dog. Hey, nanny, one... Bro, you already know we talk offline all the time, bro. You don't have to show your pets, but I'll tell you why I choose to show mine and show it so abundantly. I'm proud of the lineage that comes behind them and that pedigree. And, and I tell people this all the time. I look for dogs that had the traits I wanted to have. And when I'm looking to build my program, 
it, there might be dogs that are bred better than my dogs, but they might not possess those traits. And that pedigree is kind of like a like a it gives me the warm and fuzzies about knowing what it is that I'm getting or what what traits might might be behind my dog. And that's what as a as a person trying to build a program, that's why they would ask that question. But I also clearly understand when you say if you ain't spending no money with me, don't worry about my pedigree. I 100 percent understand that. But like when I tell you, man, when I look back on my pedigree and I see Jeep and I see White's tab and I see Garner's Frisco, and I know PBK be talking shit about them, but when I see them dogs in there, man, I'm proud. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. You know, I just that's all competitive talk when it comes to the, me talking shit about the blood. Everybody got their own preference, though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own preference. Um, you know, um, I you you, you still talking something? Or I ain't want to cut you off. Nah, nah, man. I was just messing with you, bro. Oh, yeah, Cause oh, I'm gonna yeah. tell you right now, my family they they disown me off of the fact that I bought Frisco dogs. My family runs pure Red Boy Jocko. Been running it my whole life since they was racing motorcycles down my road in 1995. But when I got them Frisco dogs and, you know, and I showed them something different, man, I was proud of that. You know what I mean? And oh, yeah. and to have something to, to, to slap in their face along with, you know, doing whatever we do, to slap that in their face and say, boom, look what I got. You know, that it was just, it was like a stunt. You know what I'm saying? For me. Mm -hmm. And Nanny Dog, guess what, man? I took my pedigree and I said, yo, I want you to see that I can take these dogs like you just said, these dogs that's coming off this. I want you to sh I want you to see that I can take that same dog and make him do this other shit with that same pedigree right there. And I wanted to use that pedigree to show you that this dog is what they claim that's supposed to do this. But when it's all about what the man do with the dog, I take that dog and make him do that. You know what I'm saying? But I couldn't do that without showing him my pedigree because you wouldn't believe it. You know, I can say, oh, that's just a red nose. You know what I'm saying? But I show you that this dog is coming off of dogs that ain't supposed to be doing this. What well, they say, they can only do one thing. Or they can only do certain things. And I show you next thing I'm going to teach Melody Yo, because I was walking today thinking about teaching some scent work. You know what I'm saying? We're going to find some money. We're going to find something. We're going to do some scent work. Because, they, you know, these dogs only can do one thing, nanny dog. So, well, guess what? I take that pedigree and I slap them in the face with it and show them how that yellow dog coming off of Grand Chapman Yellow out there finding weed, out there finding money, out there finding all kind of shit. But the same dogs, they say we're supposed to do this. But I got this pedigree. Just making this whole thing a triangle, a whole thing a circle, the whole story go as one part. You know what I'm saying? One part. Because I can't prove that. That dog's just a red nose, you know what I'm saying, without that pedigree. And it's just my red nose, which don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? It don't mean, that pedigree don't mean nothing. But at the end of the day, like you said, uh, Summarize, that's your lineage. You be proud of it, man. When you make your moves or whenever you get, you might be somebody who wanted a Frisco dog all your fucking life. You know what I'm saying? Then you finally got you one, man. You bought a home. you like, Everybody, everybody in your hood might be always fascinated and fantasizing about them dogs and never had them. And you finally the first one that brought one to the hood. You know what I'm saying? You proud of your dog, you know? And it just be like that. You know what I'm saying? It just be like that. Uh, but and but um, the pedigree wise, man, everybody got them. Any dog? We don't care about it. A lot of I'm starting my own from JD Hall. I don't care about talking about his daddy, his granddaddy. I always say that twenty four seven. None of that stuff mean nothing to me. But at, still, at the end of the day, when brothers start yapping and talking about this and we want to get to talking about different prep pairs, I, I throw my pairs up there, you know what I'm saying? Because I got them. You know what I'm saying? I got that title to that car. You know? Oh, uh, oh, oh, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So so, so this this my thing is, right? The whole thing is that how I look, how I look at it is the people that worry about my dogs and I go search for their channels and my dog, listen, that look was only for people who thought that my dog wasn't what it was. Ain't no way, ain't no way that that dog in a short time, 12 days, I made that dog look like that. 12 days. I fed yeah. it the full, hold on, let me say this. I fed it the full diet that I was feeding it before that. All I done was put work in. At the end of the day, my, it's not about my, listen, my job on YouTube is not to show my pedigree, my my job on here, and people better realize is to show that my talent with these dogs, this condition, this training is what I'm about. It's not about the dog pedigree. You can give me any pedigree dog, any dog with papers and pedigree. I'm gonna do the same thing no matter what color, what brand it is, who is off of. If the dog it have good working skills, that's all I care about. Now no. I do got some good news. I do got some good news that I that I found out today. New York. 
used their first American pit bull terrier as a police dog. Is I'm lying, uh, uh, Samurai saw it. Nah, he right. I, he sent me to add, and I, I, yeah, that's true. In New, York, in New York was against pit bulls, but they're using a first in 2024. They first American pit bull terrier as a police dog. That is amazing. I am proud of that. Yes, sir. That's that's a big accomplishment, man. And the pit's gonna be used in the field and more than just the police dogs as the future go on. You know, but brothers gotta give them a good name, and you know what I'm saying? And to get them to that point, you know what I'm saying? It just you know, you can't stay with the bad name because if you do it, it's going to go out in extinction. It got to be, stuff got to be dead good with the dogs. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, uh, shit, I tell you what, though, man. Uh, I mean, I don't know, man. Nanny dog, like I say, uh, this this whole show just was a, a big shout out for me. You know what I'm saying? It was a big shout out to you because your part was at the beginning of the show. You know, you prove what you, I, at least I put out a little article. And I, like I said, I want you to get some more information as well. That showed brothers, or uh, told brothers that the, the Silver Dogs was out back in the days. You know, way back in the days. You know what I'm saying? But um, you, they the must day, have called it Silver in that video because you was used to call it Blue. What about, I've been asking you all day long. What do you, they must have said it in the in the video because I told you what the blue wasn't the, the color yeah, as you. Did. That's what I be talking about. That don't matter, man. That don't even matter. We in the series, us to even uh really silver, blue, purple, all of them the same. You know we talking about the same dog. You know what I'm saying? That don't matter. No, uh, cause y'all go finna about the red dogs. If I said blue, y'all oh no, red dogs. You just said my red dogs ain't got no blue in it. So give them the respect if you gonna get a red. Was oh that's the only thing I fight for. They get the same respect. They went through the same battle as the red dogs and the black dog. They went no, through the same. I, I they, don't know. I don't know all that. See, all I was you, trying you, to prove was that the dogs were existed back in the days. You know what I'm saying? They did the same things the rest of the dogs did. People used them for the same things. You know what I'm saying? But far as anything else, I don't know. You know, like I always say, I'm not going to argue about a blue dog because that's not what I'm running. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going as a dog man, as a dog channel. I'm gonna give you, you know, whatever kind of dog information I can get. You know, if it's blue dog or whatever kind of dog. So I'm doing that on the strength of being a dog channel, you know, and you my homeboy, so I'm going to get you some uh, information up there to, to try to back what you're saying up. But brothers need backup, dog. You know, it's just all this to it, man, when it comes to certain things. You ain't got to like nobody. You ain't got to care if nobody buy your dogs, no nothing. I mean, nobody on watch your channel, no nothing, as long as they buy your puppies. But at the end of the day, you know, you're going to always have to sell puppies for a certain price. You're going to always be subject to give a person what they want to give you. Because you don't got the proper credentials behind what you're trying to sell them. No matter what you sell, oh. them, anything you sell, anything you sell in this world got when you buy something from Amazon, it got the, the, the directions, it got the where it came from, who manufactured it, it got everything with it. You know what I'm saying? So, no so, what so, so hold on, say the world, I, you want to know where you keep up? What? No, 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 no. Listen, why do you keep on your sir? You you just said this multiple times, and I, I I'm trying to be polite by it is. Why, why do you keep on saying I do listen? I do have the issues to, to sell my dog. My paperwork looks just like you yours. Did. My you no, know, you did. You just said it. Fedeke Bay, you said it so quick. That's why I slowed you down so I could be able to say something before you go too far into it. You did say that. At the end of the day, this, this all matter, Fedeke Bay. The it, it, when, when you come with listen you when, when me, I have my yourself, listen when you have my listen when you have my ne- fifteen minutes ago you told me yourself you wouldn't pay thirty five for a dog with no papers I wouldn't that mean they why not because it doesn't have a pedigree behind it, it doesn't, I don't it know where the dog come from right? it don't got the credentials that means right, but you got the credentials you can't sell your dog for certain prices you can't sell a dog for ten thousand if it don't got credentials behind it. Yeah, you can sell them for two fifty or five hundred, maybe even a thousand. But you can't sell that bitch to nobody for ten thousand dollars. Shannon Sharp, Ocho Cinco, they want papers. Them regular people like that, they gonna say, "Yo, what?" what, what, what okay, what, what, so you think? So you think? So you think? So you think the people who bought these these five other dogs for me didn't get paperwork? Because that's what it sounds nope. like. You say you always resort to personal stuff when we talking about the overall for anybody. It could be me. No, bro. you said you said I'm you was talking me. to. I'm gonna use me for example. I'm gonna use. Okay, me. there you go. Could it sound I, like you was shooting I'm at me? 
I know I want to sell dog for a certain price. I know I'm not trying to limit what I'm trying to do. Right now, it's only the, uh, the seed of what Pelican Bay is starting as far as the YouTube, as far as getting people to know me, anything. Okay, boom. Okay, if I know I'm trying to start a, a dynasty with my dogs, I know I got to start off with the proper credentials from the start. Okay, so boom. I'm not going to breed a whole bunch of dogs in my yard and none of them got papers and I'm trying to scatter and get papers from 10 years later because you can't, it's hard to do all that stuff. So what I'm going to do, knowing that I'm not going to limit myself because limiting myself will be saying, oh, I'm only going to sell dogs for 500 to 1000 to $1,500 five years from now. Five years from now, I'm trying to be selling dogs for 10000 20,000 and I can't do that without the credential. You know what I'm saying? So I got to think I got to think for the future right now. You know what I'm saying? And, and if I'm thinking for 20 years down the road that I'm trying to be selling dogs for 50,000, if I'm going to be selling a dog to the police force for 50,000, 100,000, if I'm going to sell a, a dog to anybody for that high, they want some paperwork, my brother. I can promise you that. They ain't going to hand you that bread without some type of something. I don't care if it's AKC, UKC, BRN numbers, something health certificates don't count people always say vet bills and all that is papers that's not papers papers is showing we show me that this dog that you got don't come from um hemi james down there that ain't hemi dog that you just took from him and now you're trying to sell it to me you know what i'm saying that's all papers is though you know letting brothers know that this is official that you buying from him if i'm gonna spend top dollar on a dog then i gotta have papers right no matter what kind of papers it is, they gotta have it. If I'm gonna spend five dollars, true, 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 true. That's why, listen. That's why my dog sold for less. The less one sold for thirty two hundred is because it. It wasn't just the papers because at the day it was more than the paper. It was the pedigree behind the dog. It was that the people got to watch the the dog grow from a puppy to a grown man to work. I even sold. I even showed them videos that I did not put on my kind on my channel of the dog working they they see everything that they wanted to see so when i told them okay this is how much i'm charging okay and this they're going to receive from what i paid for the dad and this i'm not i'm asking you for this how much and if you don't like the dog in six months i would give you back majority of your money i didn't get no i didn't get no dog back i didn't get no dog back so they was happy with the documents and the dog tucker listen tucker owner is a person that really I don't I'm not breeding because Tucker is going Tucker is going to take my bloodline far as he can go because he got paper pedigree. He was bred with a red boy Jocko Booty old two stone female that had eight eight puppies out of that litter. He had eight children. He had four girls and four boys. Two of them looked like two of them looked like a, a Max the dog on our two of them looked like him like his little mate brother. And I and, and dude didn't have no problem selling them dogs with the papers and pedigree. Part of his pedigree, it's my pedigree to add on to it because you cannot sell a dog without having all the pedigree. This is an old older guy who deal with dogs. That's what he do. He hog hunt and sell game bred dogs. I mean pit bulls. He sell pit bulls. He sell good hog hunt pit, pit bulls. So I gave him everything he needed. Do you think that I stopped him from making money? No, because anytime I need something, I can always go back to him. Or I or he can give me a female to breed with Matt. Because this because how good the business idea with him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I hey, Nanny Dog, like I tell you, dog, the whole show tonight was a celebration for you, dog, because you stand up for the blues like no other brother stand up for them blues. And I put the article there to start just ahead of the information, dog. You gotta go. Get the info. Stop arguing with them niggas about your dog ain't off this and just get the info on the, on the history and stuff and be be that Richard Stratton and, and write that book on the blue dog history. You know, I you am a legend. Enough, enough history on these dogs. You know what I'm saying? You done brought out enough, enough history to, to write a book. And so now brothers can see that these dogs came out. They can read a whole 200 pages on number history on the blue dog, what it did this, when it did that. And now they know, oh man. Maybe my, my but that's my, not that's my, not that's do got some of this in it or some of that in it. You know, we never know. That's, man. that's not know. my purpose. That's not my listen. My purpose with this blue dog is just to say that it exists and it is the breed that it is. All the the sport that it was in. That's I I could have got the same information you got. I don't want to put the information out. That's as me being a spokesman and the people that I deal with and the breeders I know that got them dogs that I know. 
Well, why do you I, they don't have no they don't have no problem they don't have no problem with nothing I speak about because they say it like at the end of the day people say the breed gonna die but okay you got a million people saying the blue dog is not a is not that only people need to know if, if people want to know about the dog they would they would come to my channel I don't have to give information on your channel nobody else channel that is my channel you. I am why would I get let's information shift, let's shift it real quick let me ask you this right here real quick do you think the blue dog is more human aggressive than the other pit bulls in his the other color pit bulls? You said, are you talking about yeah, blue dogs or blue? Do you are you think, talking about blue dogs do or blue pit bulls? Blue pit bull is more human aggressive than the other pit bulls. No, sir. They easy. They they love to please. No, no, sir. I cannot say that. I cannot say that. I cannot say that. You know why I want to, you I'm know why you, know, you, you, you want me to tell you why you want me to tell you that, and, 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 uh, what's name is, what's the name? Sunrise Sword is a witness. Uh, reason that I don't own Max Daddy, cause he was too damn fucking friendly. He was the friendliest motherfucker. I'm talking about, raised him up, didn't have nobody. He, you could walk up to him and pet him on top of his head. He had to leave my yard. He was too friendly. Too friendly. So no, I don't see that. Oh yeah. I feel you on that. I feel you on that. You know, um, I, am, I, have, I haven't dealt with that many blue pit bulls. I dealt with a couple of them. I had a couple run-ins with them, and I had, you know, a couple bullies on the yard before. But uh, I haven't dealt with that many of them to talk about it as far as knowing the history of them dogs. I don't know nothing about them. I never tried to get no history on them when I had them. I never had no papers on the ones I had. You no, know, they was there. Yeah, I did like any other brother would try to do, try to make a dollar. I, I had a bully on the yard, and I had it for probably about two months. And called somebody, and I gave it to him. Gave it to him my home was. And, you know, and, 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 and turn around, and people start selling pocket pit bulls. About them, pocket pit bulls became a, a the priority around here. You know, I'm like, damn, I had a pocket pit bull I just got rid of. You know, but uh, I mean, hey, it is what it is, man. I know even with them dogs, I didn't have no papers on them, so I know it was a limit to what I was trying to do. I ain't trying to subject myself that no more. You know what I'm saying? I did all that collecting dogs back in the days. You know what I'm saying? With who the team that's riding with me now, everybody got to be able to hold their weight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't collecting no more. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, um, whatever it is, it make no difference if this one doing treadmill or this one doing this or this one doing that. You got to be able to do something. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, and, and you know, I just think you get a little aggressive, nanny, when brothers talk about blue. I'm a pit bull. I'm a pit bull. Anybody, anytime I, I just say this, I'm saying to you, I'm I, look, I don't believe, I don't believe in the dogs in the sport. I look at myself as one of mug. Anytime somebody jump in the box, I'm gonna go across the line. It's either you gonna you gonna you gonna tussle right. or you're not. Yeah, I, that's great. how I look at it. That's how I look at it. I, I look at myself as the dogs. Who been the number one person down in your blue dog over the last five years? Fat guy. Okay, now you in a group with a whole different bunch of bunch of cats, dog. All but they them, was, but listen, even, even so, I told you so, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That dude, dog. So, you so know, okay, we gonna, we gonna say this: majority of the the guys that that's that's asking the questions, I don't trust no. Listen, if if like, I don't trust nobody because at the day I know them people who asking these questions. Is they asking these questions for him or for themselves? Because I know they was his supporters one of the time. See, that's what you can't. That's what you can't get personal, dog. We in a whole different bracket than that dude. That dude over there doing his thing over here is about pedigree. He don't got no pedigree. He he never argued with you about. He was talking pedigrees, but he, he never. No, no, no. He, 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 no, I'm not gonna let you lie. His dog's got pedigree. His dog's got pedigree. Some of them got pedigrees. But them pit bulls got pedigree. Them pit bulls got pedigree. I ain't some, gonna, some of them may have them, but if he come in the conversation with us, we want to see him. We ain't want to damn talk about him. You know, they want to see him. You know, that's just, that's just the conversation is. As long as he's still over there, brothers in these conversations ain't going to go over there messing with him because then he ain't talking about what they want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Dude? They want to hear pedigrees. Now, when you jump in the conversation with them, they want to hear some pedigrees. Now, when you get mad and you start saying, oh, that, that always leave you being defensive mode. Because you jumping in the conversation when they always gonna ask you what it is, so always gonna leave you in no, the no, 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 no. Listen, at the end of the day, I, I look at it like this: I don't show, I don't just be on the internet showing my birth certificate, my marriage license, my social security. I don't show my deed to my house. 
I don't show my title to my core. I'm just, I'm a kind of person that if, if we're not doing business, there's no reason for you to show no document. I just always been like that. Always. I own my own business. I'm not for the, I'm not going to show nobody my, none of my stuff unless we're doing business because if they, at the end of the day, I listen. Put like this: We gonna go street life. What you doing? What you doing? You ain't gonna show no. You ain't gonna show. You ain't gonna show no dude. You ain't gonna show no dude no half of a brick. Hold on, hit it, come back. You're not gonna show a dude a half of a brick or or a brick without him. You know he got some money. You said it out your mouth just now. You are not gonna show no papers unless it's business. This yes. shit business, ain't it? Ain't it's business? And that's what you just said earlier. It's business, right? They're not doing business. Can you get a? Can you go get your licenses without showing documents? You can't do nothing in America without showing documents. You can't get no little loans. You can't do nothing without showing documents. They want to know if yeah, you're that business. You're American. They want to know if you're a citizen. You know, we want to know. Them boys want to know if these dogs is something, not something as in nothing in your eyes. They want to know if they're coming off this. They want to know if they're coming off that. It's the same thing. If I'm, I not, would listen when I breed. When I breed, listen when I breed again. And I got put through the sale, and they get, and they put down a deposit. Then they get, I can show them what they want to see. And if they don't, that's the only way deposit. And the deposit, you if once I show you my document, if you think you're gonna scam me and see see my document, you did not get your deposit back. So you might as well buy the dog. Yeah, I feel you on that dog. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I feel you on it. I mean, but hey, I'm just trying to help you to what they talking about. No, over no, here. no, no, no. Listen, listen. I don't have to listen. I don't have to sell. Listen, I don't even have to sell no dog. This ain't this, this that ain't my social income. I'm a dog trainer. I can go tomorrow morning, wake up in the morning, and say, look, I'm I'm doing half out on on training. I can make a, some grand, saying half off. That's what I do. It might not seem like I train dogs. I train more than my dog. I got friends and people. And, and people who I know, I even help people by car, they reach out and talk to me on the phone. I'm making my money. I don't listen. My this dog that y'all looking at is not for the public. I'm not breeding for the public. When I do breed him, it's not for the public. It's for a, a cold or community people okay, that yes. understand what I how I'm breeding my dogs and what am I breeding my dogs for. Okay, we know seven eight them channel right. I'm using them boys as an example. Say they got a big panel up there tonight, right? Seven eight sports them boys. Say they got a big panel up there. And say they up there talking about the old school game dogs. What are all the old school game dogs and all that type of stuff? And it's a great conversation going on. You think I'm going to jump in that conversation with the boys talking about dog training? That's not the conversation for me to be in. You know, that's not the conversation for me to be in. I need to stay in my lane, stay in the dog trainer conversation because they talking about history. They talking about these game dogs. So I'm not going to, even though I know about the game dogs, I'm not going to get in that conversation if I don't want to get it into that discussion. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to bring the training talk into a conversation where you got five men talking about a certain thing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if I know I don't want to, you know, I got to stay, even if I don't want to talk about that, I got to stay over here. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know, once you get over here talking about this, anything can go. You know what I'm saying? Anything can go. Uh, when I knew I mentioned Sambo, I don't care what people think. But I know the time that I mention him from day one that when I mention him, I'm going to have to verify something. I'm going to have to show something. I'm going to have to show what this and what that. I couldn't do all that talking I did from the time I ever mentioned both name to right now today and never show a pedigree. You know what I'm saying? It would it would have, everybody would have thought I'd been fucking capping. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it hey, no hey, hey, would have been no way I would have been able to do it. You know, it just, I just understand, it's just I understand what you're saying. But, but, but yeah, it, I it, 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 if I'm talking bank. to if I'm talking to K9 grassroots, if I'm talking to uh one of them brothers over there about the training, I never have to mention Sambo Pedigree. I can just say he was a hell of a dog. Never so, mention so, so basically you telling me conversation so, with brothers who don't care about pedigrees. Okay, you know? so basically you telling me that because I want to show my pedigrees, I can't I can't be no, in the dog community. I'm I can't you, be in, in the AP, I can't I can't be in the APBT community. That's what no, it sounds like y'all trying to tell me. You can be in it hundred percent. i you you fuck with me. My I'm, opinion you, listen. Dog. You my dog. I'm in the ABT community. You can always fuck with me, but what I'm saying is you get upset. You get upset, you know what I'm saying, when you get in a conversation that these brothers holding that's about pedigrees. No, it's get, about no, it's about my no, no, no. It's not about pedigree. Listen, 
I get offensive when you're trying to figure out my my dog. That's what they when all I, do. That's what we no, all no, no, do. Because you're not gonna listen. At the end of the day, I can I can you write that. Change the game. I can listen. I can you show you pedigree game, and papers. Though. Right there, I can show you pedi paper and pedigree. I listen. This how this how good it is. I sell that dog. That's worth more. I sell that dog for five hundred dollars, and I bet you nobody buy him and his pedigree look good. Hey, you I got you. With killer pedigrees that can't be sold for, like you say, two fifty or five hundred. That's all. That's all about advertising yourself and make and marketing yourself and making yourself more valuable than that dog is. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you still can't. I can't jump in no conversation, brother. Samurai, I'm talking about the samurai method. The samurai. I don't know nothing about the samurai stuff. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about the. Uh, the I'm talking about the Shogun method and all that stuff. I don't know nothing about that. I can't jump in that conversation with them boys when they start talking to Shang Tsu and, and all that unless I do research, unless I have backing of what I can say to get into that conversation because they're going to say, yo, he going to ask me, yo, boom, what, what, you know, what I got this or what I got that, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, oh, you no, know, it just is what it is, dog. This is a, this, 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 this pit bull game. You don't gotta do nothing to oppress nobody. It's all about oppressing yourself and and, and doing you know as much as you can for yourself. But at the end of okay, the day, so 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 my my thing is get this, this is the kill part about the situation is okay. So we're gonna we're gonna do it like this. Blue plus his six son makes seven dollars. I was happy with the dog, but the only part I didn't happy was he was too friendly. Now Tucker on this happy with him. Um what is it? Hold on. Max Tucker. Uh, See, I don't care about uh, the pedigree. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me say something to you. Hold on, I don't want to say this. Max, hey, these, Nanny Dog. I hate to interrupt y'all, bro, but PBK yeah. Nanny Dog, man, 0341 comes dumb early in the morning. And it's a couple brothers that will get on there and clown my ass if I don't be up on the time myself and be at the walking dogs <laughs> in the morning. Man, it's 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 always a pleasure to talk to y'all brothers, man. Y'all brothers had a great conversation tonight. Salute to you, PBK9, for letting us come on here. Salute to you, Nanny Dog, for standing your ground and speaking your peace. And salute to the chat, man. One love, y'all brothers. I'm out. Thank, thank you. God bless you. Have a nice rest of the night. Yes, sir. Summer. Have a good night, brother. You and the fam, man. You and the fam. Yes, Hold sir. On. Yes, sir. Hold Go on. Ahead. Let me, I just want to say this. Go ahead. Tucker, Max, Payne, uh, uh, Mo. And what was more? Hold on, Tucker, Mac, Mo, Payne, uh, Junior, Junior, and what was the other middle name? Uh, what did they name him? Uh, what the freak is that? Uh, B. Ain't nobody got a problem with none of them dogs. And, and listen, none of them got no problem with that dog. They listen, they hoping I breed a female to Max so they can have they can start keep their bloodline going. They're not mad. When they get when they got them dogs on papers and them pedigree, they didn't have a problem with when they when the man who got Tucker breed, he didn't have the dude breed with his dog, got documents on him. Do you think he said I'm gonna breed my my dog that I make money off of with a with an unpapered document dog? No, they they listen, I can take Max right now. And bring them to anything I want to because guess what? People ain't gonna be mad because they got a pedigree and his pedigree is good. Because I don't show it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Oh, yeah, I believe you on that, dog. I believe you on that. But you just gotta you know that's the same thing, dog. If it's like you selling a car, you know, I can say I got a I got a title and I can write you up one with a pencil, but you gonna accept that? If I give you a maximum right now and tell you I got a title and I write it up in a pencil, is you gonna accept it? You know, you ain't going to take that, dog. You know what I'm saying? You got to have the documents for stuff, certain things, when you start talking about certain levels of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then it's, it's, it's just, I just, it could be, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, 100% wrong. Uh, I just think brothers wouldn't go at you if you wouldn't insert yourself in them conversations when they start talking about pedigrees, if you don't got a pedigree. You know, uh, they, you know if you, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, if if you know you if you know you got something, you can put yourself in there just because you want to tell. Listen, the whole conversation when I jump in is usually not about the pedigree. It's just that when they see that frame of this dog in here, it's oh, what the how that dog bred? And it's like none of your business because you're not buying no dog. That's how it go. 
It's not about like you're saying the situation of pedigree is never that way. It's always do you 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 argue with I'm gonna tell you what happened. You argue with somebody that 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 they try to tell you your dog wasn't full blooded for too long. You know, it ain't even about that over here. You know what I'm saying? Them brothers, it's too simple over here. You know what I'm saying? It's too simple. You got it's what it's what these brothers work hard. Some brothers can't buy a pit bull dog until they get a taxes. Some brothers can't buy a pit bull until they get after they pay all their bills and they done saved up half the damn year. You know what I'm saying? But when they get it, that damn piece of paper they get with that motherfucker, they be happy to have it, dog. No matter what the bloodline it be. You know what I'm saying? No matter if they pay thousand for it, five hundred, fifteen hundred, um, uh, two thousand. Brothers walk with, I always say that. Brothers walk with that paper with their chest high. Now, when they get their dog, they be happy for them pairs. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like anything, dog, anything when it comes to business-wise, you got to look at it like, are you going to subject yourself to being limited? Don't limit yourself to doing nothing, dog. You know what I'm saying? And then at the end of the day, you got to look at it. You not you, you yourself not even going to pay for so much for a dog with no papers. So if you yourself not going to do it, what do you think the next person going to do? And then if you yourself not going to do it, you got to say, boom. That means sky's not the limit to you. It's a limit. Sky's supposed to be the limit, fam. Everybody, sky's the limit. Do It ain't no limit to what you, your success going to take you to. You know what I'm saying? But if you feel like you're never going to answer that, you're never going to answer, oh, what are these dogs coming off of? What are these dogs coming off of? Look at I Hulk. do to my customers. I, I keep using Hulk as an example. He don't, he don't deal with half the people that watch his videos. He, you know what I'm saying? You know he make videos for? The, the, the advertise what he got going on. He can care less if you like his dog. He can care less if you say they're in a pit bull. He do that to advertise what he got going on and he stay out, out, out. He stay out our conversations. You know what I'm saying? Hulk, you would never, you would never Marlin. See, Marlin. I, I say I say the dog's names because I don't want to if affiliate people names sometimes. You no, know, that's his name. You calling him a dog when he's not a dog. His name is Mark. I know he's not a dog, but I'm calling, I call brothers dog. I call them by their dog names that represent them, you know, instead of calling their uh, government names all the time, you know, in certain conversations because they might not want their name said in certain conversations all the time. But you're right, though. You're right, though. But, you know, you wouldn't find that brother over here arguing about a pedigree or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? And not because he got his shit together and he's selling his dogs. But because he got his shit together and he's doing his own thing and he's not worried about it. He showed a pedigree off of Hulk, what Hulk Mama was, even though we all know they're not full-blooded pit bulls. If you Google Hulk, it say he's got to have some master or something in him. But when you look at that brother's TV show, he's showing you the pedigrees of what these dogs coming off of. He can care less if you believe him or not. That's what it's about, dog. When it's about business, he know he's going to sell them dogs. He not putting no limit. If he know without papers on them hawk dogs, he can only sell them dogs for $500. He's not going to limit himself. He's trying to sell them dogs for $100,000. So he got paperwork on them dogs. It's about business. And when it's about business, it's about the paperwork behind it. You know what I'm saying? No matter what business it is, your lawn service. Your lawn service. You can't run that without the LLC. You can do it. I got I got paper. Listen, I got I got paper. Listen, I got paper. Listen, I got paper. On my dog, I did not spend thirty five hundred for an undocumented dog because I don't show the documents don't mean nothing. At the end of the day, let, 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 listen. For example, I always you always listen. I always use this person. I'll, always use this person as an example. I knew when I was going to buy when I first person I ever reached out to buy a dog from is Tonsil. Uh, uh, Tonsil. Okay. He's a witness. He never denied it. I knew a dog's came papers. I bought my dog right behind that because he, he didn't have a dog to sell me. Why listen? Why would I go to him knowing his dog got papers? Why would I listen? When I got my hold on, let me say something. When I got my blue dog, listen. When I got my blue listen, when I got my blue dog, I already knew being on the internet to sell people these dogs, you had to have papers and pedigree. So I bought a dog with papers and pedigree. I never listen. I sit been saying from day one, I'm not showing sure nobody. Ain't gonna be. It could be 2035. I'm not sure nobody my dog document without you trying to spend some money. I'm not. I'm not no uh, no no person. I'm proud of my dog pedigree. I'm proud of my dog. If nobody, right. what product? Yeah. What product sells without somebody showing it first? That's why they make commercials. You if you buy guns, they showing you stuff first. There's no product in this country that's gonna sell without a person seeing what they're getting, without a person knowing what they're getting first, bro. 
no matter what you sell, a person want to know what they getting, man. You know what I'm saying? And it just is what it is. You can you can you can fight it right now. It'll break you eventually. It'll break your back eventually. You just come succumb to it and just say, man, fuck it. I'm getting papers on all my dogs. You can. Fight I got papers. Let, let, hold on, no, no. You it, listen. Something cannot break you that you already. For example, that's just like me telling you your car don't have a title. You know your car have a title. Just because you won't get on here and show me a title, I can believe that. But at the end of the day, if you sell a car to somebody. And they know they got to try. That's all that matter. The customer, listen, you, you guys are not buyers. You guys are, or people just want to, listen, so I don't deal with, I, with and say, I, I look at it like this. I don't deal with window shoppers. That's what it, I look at my paperwork is you want to see as you being a window shopper. Come in here and, and come in here and show me some, some moolah. I, so I, I even listen. I even ask people if they believe my dog don't have paper, put their money where their mouth at. Nobody wants to do that. I want some benefit behind that paperwork. So Much that I dealt with on this in there. You don't think if I go in a car lot, I can get information on that car without spending money to find out what that car back. You're not. You're not gonna. You're not gonna get the. You're. They're not gonna pull the title out until it's. First of all, if you pay a note, you don't get. You don't get the title. You just get paperwork. And then when you when you get ready, you fill out the paperwork. You give them some money. Then they turn around out about many cars. Then you get the, the title. You do not get the title. You get how many miles of that mug. And, and all that, and they might tell you it only had one owner, but you're not getting that 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 bin number until you pay that money to get that bin number on that title. You can see the bin number on the front of the car or on the door, but you're not getting that 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 document with that with that with that title until you give them their money. You don't get a title to a car that you pay a note on until you pay it all the way off. Okay, so you think if I walk in and in in say a Chevrolet place. And I say, man, where it is in the town, y'all selling cars with no titles and stuff, man. I'll buy that car right there. I just need to know if it got a title on it, man. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to get that car if it got a title on it. He can't show me the title because most people don't have a title. They got to send it to you. You get the title printed off. Most, and, and, and <laughs> I tell you what, if he got the title right there, that man will show you the title because he's not worried about you taking it. You know what I'm saying? He's not worried about you taking it. If you if you saying something like that, you know, when it comes to business, though, it ain't nobody trying to. I'm, don't get it wrong. Like, I'm trying to make it seem like, oh, uh, uh, about Max and none of that stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, your dog is your dog. What you like is what you like. And that's the main thing from this whole conversation. Plus, what we got at the beginning of the show that said about the blue dogs. But at the end of the day, we jumped into another conversation. And this is the conversation that always leads you back to being aggravated, though. You don't have to be aggravated if you don't get yourself into that conversation. The conversation is these brothers that you name it, Thompson, can put his, kill, his kennel his dog uh, pedigrees down in that chat right there. You know, even if he got papers, he still could put the pedigree of his dogs down in that chat. All them brothers that you talking and you arguing with, they could put their pedigrees down in that chat. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's the good for them. Man. That's good for them. What? I, listen. I, That's listen. What I'm it's like you want to argue with them then. No, no, no. I don't mind. Listen, I don't mind. Look, I don't mind. Let, let me let me say something to you. My mama, my mother alive to this day always raised me don't be a follower be a leader i am a leader i am a leader because somebody say my mom always said first they jump off a bridge you're gonna jump off a bridge because they change up a bridge so i don't do nothing that nobody tells me to do do you understand where come from that's just real deal holy field no sugar code no nothing i ain't, i don't care about them arguing with me i don't even care about them watching my videos i don't care about them accepting me or none of that at the end of the day guess what the killer part about it is I didn't get on YouTube to be accepted by nobody. I just try to deal with other people that deal with dogs that I like, the brand of dogs I like. If they don't want to sell me, oh well. And then they, they, I can sit back. They can sit back and talk about my dogs, say they don't got documents. But if I get into the mind why they get it, go, go buy a kennel on top of kennel and blood on top of blood, I will outsell them because I know how to sell dogs like I know how to sell business. I am a businessman first. I all that they talk about me. Cause what what do you know on, on YouTube who posted don't have dogs with papers and pedigree sold dogs the less he sold for thirty 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 two hundred, that's three thousand two hundred dollars. Not count listen, not counting the shipping to them. That wasn't part of no shipping. So when we talk about my dog, let's talk about these are not cheap dogs. These are no dogs. These are not dogs. There is going to did went to homes. Then I got worried about a dog being in a shelter. So these went to homes where people that they put their money into them. If you sold one for thirty five, do you agree 
Or do you disagree that if you sold one for 35 with no papers, could you sell it high with papers? Just disagree. No, 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 because I because the paperwork, I the 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 paperwork disagree or agree. This uh, so no, and then you can explain it. Just disagree or agree. I I I don't I I, I don't think I can sell no dog without no paperwork for no thirty some thirty three grand. So I don't know what you're talking about. That's why I'm a little bit too out. But you, I sold. Well, you, with, you, you, you sold one for 30, 30, 30 I so. never listen. I said listen. I sold one for thirty two hundred. Listen, listen. I sold one. Listen, I sold. So let's break it down because you keep on saying the same thing. I sold one for thirty two hundred with papers that had pedigree behind it. Oh, you sold it with papers. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I never said I, I never listen. It's not listen. It's not hard when you listen when you buy a car with a title. It's not hard unless you the car catch on fire or you lose the title. There's no way. But when long as your dog is registered and you got you know the breeder. If you do lose your document, all you gotta do is call the breeder, and then they would they would tell you how to get the document. I kept my documents, got my documents, and then I bred my dogs together. Then I called into the registry. I called the breeder and said, "Okay, I need to make sure that this gonna come back to where it's supposed to come back." And it came back to where it's supposed to. I got the documents. When I got the document, I told the people I had the documents. I kept the dogs until the document came back because at first they told me I had to wait. I had to wait to sell the dogs because they were saying it was taking long for the paperwork, but the paperwork came back a little bit quicker than what it was. And I sent them the paperwork and the dog at the same time. I had the, I had the majority of the money. I had the majority of the money because at the end of the day, they dogs was already tagged. They were sending their dogs every day. I was talking to them every day, sending them videos of every day of their puppy. And like I told them, well, puppy died. I don't I don't have that many puppies. So I'll send you back your money. I'm not no, listen, I'm not trying to con nobody. I'm not trying to send nobody nothing without no documents. I love my dogs with documents. So why would I give somebody a dog without documents? My dogs been have documents since, since I had them. Blue documents I got in 2020. So and Max was born uh 2022. So that means his daddy document was A1 because he his document his daddy document was on him for a whole two years before he was bred. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I definitely hear you on that, man. I definitely hear you on that. And and like I said, man, um I like what you be doing with your dogs because you know you take care of them, they look good. Um, you know, I just say uh um the conversations that like even like not the night because it's your show tonight you know what i'm saying but uh like uh when you be them boys be arguing or, so, or saying something about your dog if it ain't uh fat boy you know what i'm saying the, the mother boys man they they they, they got their shit you know what i'm saying they pedigrees and stuff the damn back where they're talking up you know what i'm saying um you know uh it and then you you can't get mad that's the whole thing you get back to i don't care i don't care about who i'm selling to i don't care if they buy it, it always go back to that i don't care I, long as I, long as I, long as I, long as I, but it wouldn't be none of that if you wouldn't be in that conversation. Just like I'm not taking the game dog talk, the old history into the training conversation because it don't fit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you got to just, you know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. You know, uh, and as far as the blues, you know, like you kept doing it tonight. You'll get upset when we when the, when the brother was talking about the bullies. You know what I'm saying? It's like you you think everything we say about the gray or silver dog is pertaining to your one dog, and it's a big country, dog. You know what I'm saying? Even no, when it no, comes to he rules, called my dog. Rules. He called my dog a bully. He called my dog a bully. That's why I got offended. He called my dog a bully. Well, he was talking about the hog hunting, the bullies and the hog hunting, blues and the bullies and the hog hunting. You know what I'm saying? Never tired of that. Really talk let, about your dog. Let, as a dog in general, that, listen, you, when you speak about them or whatever. Hey, you listen, know. Bay, you know what? I'm starting to realize that <laughs> the, the 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 more the more I do me, the more people get mad. At the end of the day, I ain't never gave them none of my business, my anything that they know about me. Either someone else docks me, or or something like that. I, I do get offended about the blue dog when they talk about it because they don't know they I can't argue look I get mad because they sound dumb and they thinking I'm sounding dumb when the truth is they don't know everything that they know. I get what you said when it comes to pedigrees, I shouldn't get in there, but I use on me with it don't be about pedigree, just be about the dog and the knowledge of the dog. Now they're taking to my dog pedigree just like you're taking it to my dog pedigree 
when it shouldn't be listen it shouldn't be a concern about this dog pedigree because this dog is i'm not trying to breed with your dog i'm not trying to breed with their dog like like right. my my mentor right. my my mentor always said this when i told him about that I say they be one of my dog pedigree he say it then they why do they want to know something they not breeding with your dog the only way you should be wanting to know my dog pedigree if you got a female you want to breed with it you want to make sure i got the correct blood nobody ever said that they wanted to stood with my dog do you plan on having them for stud no sir no sir no sir okay. He, okay. It, it, listen no sir his, now his daddy went up for stud but he he ain't listen he ain't going up for stud and and the people that own the man that own tucker me and i already have agreement with a contract that you know at the end of the day anybody that own a, a, a youtube channel I wouldn't prefer him to uh to do it. Now he did tell me that he gonna what he gonna do in the next eight months is take a single registry uh Tucker so it can only come to him. So if it is somebody out in there, because he's like you said, we won't we won't never know. But he yeah. can stop it right there and single register him, and then that'll just start from Tucker from my my kennel and go back to wherever we go from after that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I definitely feel you on that, man. And like I said, man, I ain't, I ain't trying to uh, talk no trash about Max and none of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my whole thing was to do what I did at the beginning of this video before you even got in here to show that the dogs existed. Um, You know, other than that, man, shit, I can care less about the motherfuckers as far as that's your dogs. You know what I'm saying? I just be trying to argue about mine. You know what I'm saying? I you know shit. I mean, you, it just is no, what it no, is. No. I, 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 listen. I'm actually, actually, even though it seems like I'm, they did frustrate me, but right now I'm not frustrated because of that day. I, I'm amazed, I'm amazed how many people want to know about this dog, but don't want, don't want to buy nothing off of him or stir them out. Even though he's not for stud, that, that that amazed me. That make listen, that make me proud. What they do don't hurt my feelings. That made me proud because he's a threat. I was always raised that a man is not gonna speak on nothing unless it's a threat. Yeah. So well, he's a threat. Anybody is co concerned about him so much, it's a threat. They say, oh, no, it ain't a threat. People only talk about stuff that they fear. They fear down the line that they're not going to be able to sell dogs if I keep on going the way I'm going. Yeah, and see, that's another thing brother said down in the chat. You know, okay, we advertise a dog for sale, but it's all about what they can see. You know what I'm saying? They can't see nothing. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't going to uh, provide a pedigree, you know, uh, it's just like you got to say, it's just like you got to fuck you attitude if you ain't coming to buy no puppy. See, I had a homeboy. I told him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, one of my homeboys got on the channel and was asking about his dogs. And, you know what I'm saying? I wanted him to speak up for his own dogs. He said, if they ain't buying no puppies, he ain't worrying about it. So I said, all right. You know, because at the end of the day, I already know how these brothers is in these chats. And and it's YouTube. They want to know pedigrees and they ain't bullshit. You know what I'm saying? They, ain't, they, 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 they they don't care about your feelings. You know what I'm saying? They don't care about none of the other stuff. All they want to know is you got a dog, whether they think it's good or whether they think it's sorry. You know what I'm saying? And that's the conversations you win. It's not these conversations with M.O. for Fat Boy, you know, because he is a whole different lane with these boys right here. It's a whole different oh, okay, you know okay. saying, uh, conversation. You know what I'm saying? It's like, shit. And, and, and then it like I, I let me see, let me see. Uh, um, so, one, so, so, one badass, so did, one badass. Um, you know, uh, one badass pit kennels. That brother got that brother got some blues or had a blue over there that did all kind of training and stuff. I can't remember if it was a pit bull staff or bully or what. But when we talk about blues and we talk about all the other stuff, you know, or when we talk about pits, he don't bring certain talk in the into the conversation, or he don't get mad about it because we say the blues are this or the blues are that. You know what I'm saying? He he's it's still doing his thing because he's doing his thing. He don't get mad about that. My other homeboy who who do the blues and stuff. Um, he do protection work with him down there at Plantersville. Big salute to you, big dog. Um, blueprint kennel. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he don't get mad when we talk about the blues. You know what I'm saying? Because they know that they blues is they blues. They not. We, we, they got a million blues that we could be talking about. Every you know they they can't take offense to just talking about a dog in general. You okay, take okay, offense, okay. You're taking offense so, because you've been arguing about that dog for five years with Fat Boy, but these four, boys, they don't these four. boys they don't care about that. They care about pedigree. okay, okay, okay. So, so, 
so listen majority majority of the people so let, let me say some the things that you say people don't know first of all my customer know that it's a smart dog i i even uh clicked up with um another dog trainer has a full suit they didn't see these dogs on the suit they didn't see these dogs see i'm selling nanny dogs and nanny dog is a dog that can be around your kids that's a good dog that's why i say i'm the home of the nanny dog 314 i mean these dogs that i am proving in st louis missouri i said i am not selling my dogs off their pedigree yes they have papers and pedigree but majority of them people who i saw my dog didn't some of them heard about it some of them didn't they just wanted a good family dog and a lot of them did that's why b is a family dog that's why um what they hold on uh pain pain a family dog uh tucker is a is a hog uh, a hog hunting dog max is a guard dog uh junior is just started at two years old he was already going but the man was sick and he back well so he's going through training to hey, be a guard dog don't then they, i don't see i'm not selling gang dogs i'm telling i'm selling family guard dogs see that's so another thing that's another thing you do you know you jump in the conversation when we talk about pedigrees and then you start talking about it like we're talking about modern day stuff when we're not talking about modern day stuff. When you start getting mad, you start saying, um, my dogs is this, my dogs is this. We saying everybody's dogs is this. We're talking about old history. So I'm saying you jump in that old history conversations, and then you get mad and you start saying, Oh, um, my dogs is for this, my dogs for this. Well, my dogs for that too. You know what I'm saying? But we're talking about game, we're talking about pedigrees, we're talking about all that other stuff. We and when we get mad, we still talking about it. You know what I'm saying? No matter how much I cuss at Supreme down there, no matter how much I cuss at came and any of them boys, I'm still showing and proving. And, 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 and you know what I'm saying? It ain't just talking. You know, and you can't get mad. You get mad, but you still gotta back it up. You know, no, you don't keep on using the word mad. I just, I'm just words, the words you use. You don't understand the words you use. The words you've been no, using tonight. You said, you said people want. You said people wants to know what. I, what what about my dogs? And I just explained what you said before. I said that I've explained what my dogs is and but what, what my dogs. Business wise, business wise, everything that you named when you were saying Max did this or the daddy was doing that and next person, business wise, people don't care about that. They want to see that shit. You either got to show them something. Only way that shit will slide, only way it will slide if you can take your dog out there and show them something that'll make them say, yo, that's the dog. I want puppies off him. If you can take that dog out there and really make him work to show them something, that's the only way there that it's gonna work. Other than that, folk want to see something on the dot line, dog. And when you jump in that convo, it is all this to it, man. You know, it, it ain't that your dog ain't is less than a dog than any brother dog. Your dog is just as much as next man dog. But the whole point of what we're talking about is when you embed yourself in that story with them boys or anybody. And they're talking about that kind of story, them history, the history, the old dogs, the pedigrees, the new dogs, or whatever. When they start asking about the pedigrees, you, you got to either get another dog outside of Blue. That way you can jump in the conversation with them. You ever thought about that? Leave Blue at home. Don't bring Blue to this conversation. You know, don't bring Max to the conversation. Get something else that brings to the conversation and leave Max at home. Let Max do his thing. You know what I'm saying? And then bring another dog to the conversation. With the, that you could post out in the pedigree if you want to, and still don't give a, a crap about the brothers, whoever you don't give a crap about. But you got pedigrees on these dogs, business wise. You can sell these dogs for fucking half a million dollars if you want to. You know what I'm saying? But you can't do that because you don't got no paperwork. And then you get mad. Uh, and then can you, you quit, excuse, excuse me, sir. Could you quit? Listen, can you quit saying something that is false information? That's but false information. My fault then. You keep on saying something. The, because I don't, about listen. I don't care about what the paperwork, because one quick question I could ask, you know, what's there? Is what uh company they're going to. But I don't want you to even ask, don't even answer that. Don't even answer that. Because I don't care about your papers. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about your papers. I don't I, I like your dogs and I like you. And you know what I'm saying? What however you feel about your dogs is how you feel about them. But at the end of the day, nobody not talking trash to you. We talking trash about the blue dogs. And at the end of the day, the blue dogs is not game as the dogs that we got. 
not talking about your dog. So that that you know that, that, that when I say that that, that right it, there, that right there, that right there, I can right. never be a, a I listen. The, I, the majority listen. of blue dog. No, 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 no. If you take all the blue dog, the blue pit bulls, if you take all the blue pit bulls in America and you mm -hmm. tally it up, they're not gonna be as game as these dogs that are being bred for that. The blue dogs over the last 20 years, if it had been being bred for being gameless, you would have had game yards. You don't got game yards, which means they're not being bred for gameless no more. They're being bred for other reasons, which are good reasons. You know what I'm saying? Good reasons, but they're not being bred for gameness. You know what I'm saying? So when so a brother can I, can, old, I, can, I, can I speak on that? Game, I'm not talking about yours. Yours might be. Can game I speak on? Can I yours. speak on that? Can I speak on that? No, they're not. Listen, as me being this folks, you're correct. They're not being bred for gameness. They're the most curvy dog. Do not buy them dog. They're not going to do nothing. But they're not going to do nothing. Don't buy them. They're 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 not. They don't have nothing. They're they're going to let a a a a a baby kitten beat them up. They're 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 the worst dog in the world. They're the worst dog in the world. They 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 are not. They are not what you think they is. Yes, you're correct. Which ones you talking about? I'm talking about the blue dog. I agree with you on the see, blue that's dog. What, that's, see, see, you mad again? See, that's what no, I'm no, talking. No, 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 no. That's not. No, 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 no. Pedicure bait. No, 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 no. Pedicure bait. Pedicure bait. I'm, I'm saying that. So, so I can me, always. You try so, to tell me. We, we. I asked you one question earlier. You weren't truthful. I get mad. You weren't truthful with me earlier when I asked you a question. You misunderstand. Are more aggressive than the other pit bulls? You said people aggression. I said no. I said people aggression, but that that and I said no. Deal. Okay, and now I said no. Now are blue dogs as game across the country? Are the majority of blue dogs as game as the other dogs? No, they 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 don't have a game that's in them. They're 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 well, no I say that, How can I be talking about yours? No, 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 no. As me being a spoken for them, and for me to be able, my grandkids be able to get one that y'all think work. I, no, they're not. No, no, they're not. I don't. No, they don't. That's why you can't find a yard full of them. They don't sell them. They don't. They don't sell them because they're not going to do nothing. So it is yard full of them, but they don't sell them because they're not. They're they're not. They're not good dogs for that. See, you being sarcastic. No, I'm being real. That's how you, as a spokesman, that's what you're supposed to do. You're never supposed to put. You're never supposed to put nothing that you're speaking for in a bad predicament. That is what a spokesman See, supposed to do. We're talking about bad predicaments when we just talking about answering questions and talking about uh, either yes or no answer. Or we're not talking about putting nobody under the bus. We're not trying to throw nobody under the bus. We talk. We all in under the same legitimate thing. We all on the same boat trying to say, do our dogs the right way. You know what I'm saying? But what I actually was when it comes to gameness across the country. Tell me the honest truth. Do you think the blue pit bull? Is as game as the other dogs, not your dog, all of the blue dogs. And I'm speaking for I'm speaking as a spokesman for it. No, we That's don't have them. Kind of one dog. No, a as, as a spokesman. Listen, don't take this the wrong way. As a spokesman, no, we don't have. We don't. No, they not. As a spokesman, no, we not, sir. No, we don't. Now, so when I say over oh, the blue dogs, this we talk about the blue dogs ain't game. That mean it's proven fact. That mean you can't jump up in there and start talking about. No, that, no, I agree with you. I, I never listen. I never, argue, I never argued that the blue dog was more gaining than any. No, I don't argue with that. I know, sir. I do I ain't not talk about game. I'm talking about lacking gameness. Yeah, they like they listen. They they like they they lacking game. They they lacking it so bad, so bad. As a spoken, and they I, like. I it. know you too good, and see how you talking, how you giving in. You being sarcastic. You trying to be funny. No, 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 no. As a spokesman, listen. Be listen. Right, real about it. Better, 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 you, you're, you're not you understanding. You're not, you're not understanding. As a spokesman, listen. As a spokesman for a, a for anything, you never put anything that you're speaking for to put it in a bad highlight. Either way it go, you don't do that. What, that what, is what not that. Gameness is bad. We're not talking about doing nothing illegal. We said gameness. What about gameness is bad? We just no, got no, 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 they, 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 listen, they, they, listen. They, you can, and one of y'all said that um, Greyhound racing was gameless. You know what I'm saying? So what about gameless is talking bad about the dog? All I said was, was the gray dogs as game as any other dogs? If we know they're no, they, 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 Listen, they're hog hunting. They, they'll be good protection dogs. That's the only thing I can say. 
So that means when I say, or when anybody say that about the Blue Dogs or anything, I talk down about the gamers, we're not talking about yours because you might have the best Blue Dog we ever seen in our life. We're not talking about yours, but the majority of them are. If the majority of Eli Dogs are biters and we say they biters because of Supreme Excellence on don't bite, that don't mean shit. That means the majority of them bite. If a majority of this other line is curves, it don't mean what other brother got a good one in. This is only as a curve. I mean, these dogs are curves. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. You can't you can't get mad because when you know uh brothers sp speaking on the wide majority of the dogs when they're not talking about yours. You know what I'm saying? No, and no, it don't, it, it, it don't, it don't. When I when I interfere into the conversation, it's not about that point. It's about that they say they never existed. Now, if they don't ever say that, I don't have nothing to say else. That's the only thing I speak about that is this. I'm not as I'm not saying is this it was the best dog back in this time. I'm not saying that I'm just saying that it did have a time limit in, in the lifetime of, of the breed. That's oh, yeah. the only thing I speak about. I do not speak about the gainers or the or the or 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 whatever it did prior to that. That's not my cup of tea. My cup of tea is to put out the knowledge that the dog was around and is still around and it, and everybody don't breed and you know how I can even explain how it went off a little bit because people, the myth that people tell them that they weren't good dogs. So a lot of people didn't want them and didn't breed them, and some took the chance to do it. Oh, yeah, I can agree with that. And, and you prove your point because I played the list to the video at the beginning. At least as the article said, the dogs was around. But that's not what we're talking about right now, you know. Um, and, you know, you was right about that because they was around. You know what I'm saying? Um you know, it just you know how it is, man. You know my how goal, it is. Listen, my goal, listen, my goal has been done. So anything behind that, listen, thanks to you, my goal has been done. So if I don't hit no more panels, I'm good. You know why I'm good? Because it's that day my goal has been filled. That's all my goal was. That's all the whole goal of mine was. To hey, prove bro. that. Hey. It wasn't it, it, it's not about my dogs. It was always to prove that information and put it out. To let people know that I have more knowledge than what they think I do. It's not about the pedigree. It's about the knowledge of the dog, the the color, the the phenotype, the weight, the 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 head, the structure, not the pedigree. I love the dogs, not what they pedigree, not what the merit they got. I love the weight. I love the way Honey Bunch look. I like the way that Eli looked. It. You know, say I like the way certain dogs looked. It. I like the way that Kobe's picture looked. I like the way that um. So many different people, dogs. Look, I like the dog, period, point black. I don't, I'm one of the people that are fascinated with the dog, but not the whole knowledge of the dog, like the looks and how smart they is and how, how good they, they can be workers. they very good workers. Because I, everyone I ever owned and been around with, you can walk miles and miles with that dog. That dog can swim miles and miles in the thing. That dog can play with a toy. That dog can. Sit next to you and relax and be your friend. The dog is amazing. That's what I care about. You got cut off a little bit just now, but uh, I believe that was on my end. Probably maybe maybe my, my system or something was messing up. But yeah, man. Hey, it is what it did. Let's talk a little bit of this dog talk real quick, man. Let me see if I can pull some of this news up real quick. I was trying to pull up a um. One of the news clippers I had is now. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. You know, um, stay with me, Nanny. Y'all don't go nowhere. I got some news for them brothers. You know, no, I, I ain't going nowhere, but I appreciate. Listen, I appreciate you. I mean, my goal has been done. That's all I want to say. Yeah. Hey, everyone. I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivory, the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. And you're probably wondering why I'm standing in the Sally Port of our jail holding a sandwich that's made out of pine straw and leaves. Well, it's because I'm about to walk this sorry big bag of crap into our jail for animal cruelty and a bunch of other charges. This guy, Clarence Jones, starved his dog to death. And when I say starved him to death, when they did the necropsy on him, all they found was pine straw and leaves in his stomach. So I wish I could feed this to him. I wish the law allowed me to feed this to Clarence Jones and let him try and live off of this crap. But instead, we have to follow rules and we have to do things right when he didn't have to. This case actually started on February 5th when our animal services team, our deputies, responded to this guy's house because uh, an anonymous citizen complained that he was mistreating his dogs. Thankfully, the citizen called us, our team went out, 
Unfortunately, it was too late though because what we found was uh, his dog that was completely emaciated, um, had starved to death. And as I said, when they did the necropsy on him, all they found in his stomach was dirt, pine straw, and leaves. That's how, that's how desperate this dog was trying to survive. So this guy, Clarence Jones, our team, um, our team is arresting him for one count of felony um, animal cruelty, two counts of misdemeanor animal cruelty, and three counts of unlawful confinement without food or water. And I, I want to give a huge shout out to Judge Patel um, Duku, who actually gave this guy a $20,000 bond. That's what our judges are supposed to be doing, keeping bad people locked up behind bars. So, you know, thank you to our citizen who called us again. Unfortunately, it was just too late. Our team couldn't save this poor dog. Um, but I can tell you this much, we're going to do what we do in Brevard County. We are going to walk his butt into that jail. He's sitting in there on a citizens, thanks to a great judge and thanks to this team, AJ and Aaron and, and Matt Rush, our whole team here that worked on this case and brought this guy to justice. As I always tell people, not all victims can dial 911. You're their voice. Call us. Let us know when this is going on. And I promise you, I'll come lock their sorry butts up and put them in jail. And like I said, I wish I could feed him that pine straw sandwich, but unfortunately the law makes me do it differently. So let's walk his butt into jail, everybody. Let's go. Harm an animal in our county, we look straight to this jail. No, 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 no. That was Big a stop. puppy, you know that, right? That was a puppy, I don't know. you know that, right? I don't know. Who you told, hey, uh, Count Money and Renegade, who you talking about? Uh, that's why uh, Buck be on who ass, me or Nanny, though. Come on, take now, Buck, Buck don't be on my ass. Buck, Buck need to answer some damn questions. Buck, Buck, y'all damn hero. You know what I'm saying? Buck, y'all hero. You know, at the end of the day, John Kramer, Buck, your hero. Shit turd. <laughs> I ain't nanny dog, dog. I got game dogs with pedigrees. I'm going to talk my shit. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, nigga. Don't, 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 nigga. don't be throwing me in on my foot, buster, because I got dogs with pedigree. What the fuck is you talking about? What make you better than me, nigga? Hold on. I ain't you better be going to listen. Don't shoot I shots my way because it is because that nigga. Conversation, dog. I can engage in it. Sit back for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Listen. No, to don't me. put me in there. Don't, don't use my name, nigga. That, 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 that ain't even. Take the conversation over. Take the conversation over. They say Buck. They say that's why Buck City be on your ass. So take the conversation over. Go ahead. No, I think he was talking to no. you. Okay, then let me take, let me But, but you put me in that. Listen, hold on. When let you shoot shots, it. you don't have to put other people in there. Okay, sit back. Then let me talk. You didn't give me. You got to give a person time enough to finish something, bro. You just all start be cutting people off. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man. When you mention Buck name in my damn chat, mention motherfucker. Don't come with no. Tell me something about Michael Myers, motherfucker. Damn. Tell me something about Michael Myers. Any of y'all weak ass motherfuckers. I dropped. The, hold up. We just went four. I'm ready to go a whole nother four. None of y'all. Sit back for a minute. I got this. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers ain't showing no dogs. Talk about nothing. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if we talk about blues or not. You know, at the end of the damn day, they ain't talking about nothing. All bunch of bunks, Buck City flunkies. Dog, man, before and get mad when niggas, niggas, um, friend pro. That nigga ain't no different than pro, except he don't smoke. And we don't even know that. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, Oh, yeah. One thing about it, motherfuckers be hating, but they can't stop me. You ain't got the dogs to stop me, the money to stop me, neither the manpower to stop me. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I talk that shit I talk. Big salute to going hard down in the chat a few minutes ago, Flip Wilson. You know what I'm saying? Y'all fucking with a different kind of motherfucker right now. Nanny dog, I ain't saying nothing. But at the end of the day, that's why I pay them dollars for them pedigrees so I can talk this shit I'm talking right now, dog. That's why I tell you, man. You know what I'm saying? The pedigrees mean something. Fuck the motherfuckers in that chat. Show me a pedigree, motherfucker, whoever talking that shit. Drop a pedigree down, and I'm going to drop a pedigree down, whoever in that chat talking shit. That's what I'm talking about, Nanny Dog. If you got that pedigree, you can talk shit back. If you don't, you can't, fam. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, fuck Buck City. You know what I'm saying? All he is is a motherfucking bitch. 
Like I said, at the end of the day, he can't. <laughs> Bug City ain't on my motherfucking level. And neither, neither none of his motherfucking fans. You know what I'm saying? And I say that shit proudly. You know what I'm saying? Do something about it. Let me drop the link down in the chat, one of y'all fans. You want to come up here and talk for your boy, Buck? Come on, how much I'm saying to the nanny, though, you know, because at the end of the day, y'all can't, like I said, you two, uh, two years worth of damn game, dog, I had that shit in high school, and you want to call brothers' names. Fuck all that shit y'all talking about. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, show me a pedigree. You know, show damn right that hit a nerve. You damn right that hit a nerve because you're talking about a bunch of nobodies in a motherfucking chat where motherfuckers trying to give you some knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Keep that shit in the nobody chats. You know what I'm saying? Keep that shit over there. You know, I done told y'all, I done boot his ass out the damn chat the other night. You know, you, you, only reason, hey, check this out, right? Buck City, you post a damn, a damn, a uh, uh, post with, uh, what's the dog name? Um, the new dog you out here posting for stud, motherfucker say you double bread Michael Myers dog. Dog, I start to get down to your up under your comments and say, yo, you you posting a dog for stud, but you and lying about a champion? <laughs> you know everything about everybody. Y'all hero know everything about everybody besides <laughs> his own damn shit. You know what I'm saying? His own shit. And you want to come up in my damn channel, you better have some credentials talking that shit up over this motherfucker. I ain't playing no motherfucker games with you. You know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't playing no games with you. You know, no games. This is why Buck City be on who ass. Must be Nanny Dog, because he damn shit ain't on my ass. That motherfucker using me for getting views. The fuck you talking about on my ass? And you can't tell one motherfucking story about your damn dogs. And in three or four years, you done been on the damn YouTube. You ain't give brothers one box story and y'all stupid motherfuckers believing all that bullshit he talking about. I can't help he, he got y'all fooling, gonna get y'all fucked up under that investigation he on. I can't help that shit. It ain't my fault half of y'all stupid. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to give you what I give you. You know, it just is what it is. Tell that fuck boy to stay in his lane. You know, he ain't on our class. He ain't in the chitlin circuit. He never was in the chitlin circuit. And whoever got up here and lied to my damn channel the other day, acting like you're looking for him in the 90s, stop fucking lying like I told you back then. That motherfucker just got in the dog game in the late, late 2000s. You know what I'm saying? Came in. I made a rule last week. Y'all want to ask about Sambo? Drop a pedigree. You want to know about, uh, hey, 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 see, that's what you tell them, fucking nanny dog. You want to know about my shit? Drop a pedigree. I done told you a life story about my shit. Drop a fucking pedigree you want to know about my dog. I ain't explaining shit to none of y'all nobodies. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who the fuck you is. Came in, you might be able to sit behind a desk with a badge like I told Paris Jackson, Paris Jackson last week. You know? I don't know who the fuck you is. Drop a pedigree. Let me see something. Let me see you with a fucking dog. Let me see a picture of you holding two dogs breathing. You know what I'm saying? An up-to-date picture. You know? I ain't explaining shit to y'all motherfuckers because my shit together. And at the end of the day, you know it is. That's why I'm talking this shit. You know what I'm saying? You know? It just is what it is, fam. Drop a pair. Drop a pair to something you're working with that I might like. I just dropped the link if you want to talk. <laughs> Buck City train y'all boys to type. I train all the people to come to my channel to talk. You know what I'm saying? Train everybody to come rock with me to talk. Speak your motherfucking mind. Buck City teach y'all to type your mind. That's the difference in dog men. <laughs> yeah, buddy, we getting warmed up now. We four hours in, we getting warmed up now. Yes, sir. And we ain't show no pairs yet, but you want to know about Sambo? Let me show you nanny dog. Let me see what he asked me. I'm going to go back and, and I'm going I'm to answer that shit for him. You know what I'm saying? Hey, came and say, did he lose the pinity? Ask, ask him, did he get the Diablo dog straight from motherfucking Big Giant and did Sambo like to kill that motherfucker in five minutes? Ask him that. That's what you ask him, Cayman. Ask him, did he get that bitch straight from motherfucking Welcome All, bring him straight to motherfucking Sambo, and he like to die in 15 minutes? <laughs> okay, okay, now, yeah. Now we can get further in that conversation if you want to. Now, that's how you do it, Nanny Dog. You have shit to back your shit up when they start talking that fuck shit down in the chat. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Cayman. Let's keep that shit going, Cayman. Keep it going, big dog. Yeah. If he told you that, oh, he lost the P. Nitty dog. Yeah, tell him. Ask him when it did, did, did P. Nitty take the jaws of life off that motherfucker. Ask P. Nitty, did he take the jaws of life off that bitch? Straight from damn Welcome All House. I don't want to hear that talk. Bring something else. Give me some more dog talk. What's happening with it? <laughs> yes, sir.
Yes, sir. Sound like you got mad like I do. So hey, hey, but I can back work in mysterious way. I can back my that's the difference, dog. I can post pedigrees up here. I can tell stories about the stuff. They know who the people I'm talking about. You know, it's a difference, dog. I got pedigrees to po post up there. I get that way because I when I had Bo, Bo was ADBA register. You know what I'm saying? Bo put his thing down. When you got a dog that put his thing down, you don't let nobody talk shit about him. If you feel Max put his thing down, you don't let nobody talk shit about him. But at the end of the day, we in the game dog conversation. So if they start talking about Bo, Bo got a pedigree behind him. You know what I'm saying? When I say Jeep, they know Jeep. When I say Red Boy, they know Red Boy. When I say Hollins Julio, they know Hollins Julio. When I say Toe Jam, they know Toe Jam. When I say Champion Fatty, they know Champion Fatty. When I say Grand Champion Yellow, they know him. When I say Yellow John, they know him. When I say Jocko, they know him. You know, they don't know the dogs you're talking about. So you when they say when I say when I say Eli and my dog, do they do, 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 do they count? Do they count? If you say yes, they do, I, I don't have to tell my whole pedigree. There you go. I just gave you. A, I gave you a, a dog that's in my dog pedigree. That's all that matters. Hey, I don't have to give you everything. Listen, here. listen. I ain't talking to you, nanny dog. I'm talking to uh, my man right here. You know, one thing about my channel, dog. Like I say, I post the news. Ask the fucking news, man, why they do the shit, and then that damn the reward come up that motherfucker, and they don't stop the damn show. You know, you y'all ask me the ignorant shit. If you don't like it, get the fuck off the channel. That's what anybody else that they're looking at something they don't like it. <laughs> they do. They switch the damn channel. You know, what that shit gonna poison you? Make you go call the AAS and PCA. It's gonna make you do it. You know, I don't give a damn how much I say. Uh, talk about it. It's gonna make you do it. You that weak that you gonna listen to something I say and you gonna do it? Come on, man. Okay, okay. At the end of the day, I'm gonna put what the fuck I want to put on my shit. And at the end of the day, my dog's back for himself. And at the end of the day, I got pedigrees. You ain't showed me shit. None of y'all boys that post down in that chat talking shit this now. Show me a damn pedigree and show me a picture of you with a damn dog. You know what I'm saying? You dealing with somebody else, dog. We can go hours with this shit. You know, if you ain't willing to show nothing, you know, it just is what it is. And like I said, Buck City, your hero, that shows me how what it is with y'all. I don't even really got to argue with you. You know what I'm saying? I don't even really got to argue with you, big dog. You know? You look up to somebody <laughs> at the end of the day, dog, a bunch of fairy tales. I don't, I don't fair well, tale. can I say something? I don't look up, look, I don't look up to none of these motherfuckers. They, they believe, they under me because at the end of the day, they trying to figure out my dog pedigree. I ain't even give a fuck what they dogs and they dogs can be whatever fuck they want to be. So and I get where you come from. I don't I don't look up no motherfucker. I try to bond with people, but I, I guess I'm about to cut my bond back off. I'm about to go back to the old me and just say, fuck everybody, just think about me, myself, and I and my dog. Man, I don't keep no buck on came and say I keep buck on my mind. Nah, dog, they mentioned we weren't talking nothing about no buck tonight. They mentioned buck in the chat. I don't give a fuck about that low life motherfucker, dog. Get the fuck real, fam. Come on now. I don't give a fuck about that motherfucker, dog. Hey, that hey, hey. Can, 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 can you I, never, people, I never even been in that motherfucker chat before in my damn life. Excuse me. Can you, the people, he, huh? can you add the people down there to quick? Uh, I don't I do not do homosexual things. I don't do men on men. Can you quit putting boo in my name? Like, no man call another man boo. Like, get that. that that's starting to be weird. Like, do y'all know that suspect? Don't 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 bring your uh, agenda out on me. I I don't do men on men. I'm married to a woman. So with that boo stuff, leave that where it's at. That a man don't call another man boo. Man, we 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 uh, I ain't even listen though. I ain't worrying about that. We talking about Buck right now. We ain't talking about no damn none of that. We talking about Buck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shit. I'm wait when we drop the link. I, I know he up. It's West Coast time. He up right now. You mean drop the link? I'll wait for him. One of y'all boys mentioned the name. You think I'm gonna mention the name? We ain't talking about that motherfucker all night. I ain't mentioned his name on my last chat, but a little bit here and there, maybe. You know, and if I when I said his name tonight, I was talking about him in a good way. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that motherfucker. And his motherfucking homeboys. Shit. Give a fuck about him. Neither the shit he damn running, like I told y'all before. Give a fuck about that Mayday shit either. 
That shit wasn't making no damn noise around this motherfucker. That shit been fucking going when Mayday left. Give a fuck about that shit. I'm not y'all, man. Gassed up off some lies. I, I tell this motherfucker to tell me one thing he did. He ain't never been in the box. And he can't explain to you nothing about nothing. Man, get the hell out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. You ain't seen no motherfucker damn. You ain't seen no motherfucker in the pedigree what I made with no damn Sambo to say no damn he lost to no damn nobody else. So somebody else made the pedigree, you know. One thing about it, dog, all y'all that rocking with Buck closer to the police, y'all closer to going to jail than anything you can ever come across in this channel over here, dog. Y'all motherfuckers all under investigation and so stupid and don't even realize it. You know what I'm saying? I don't even worry about what you say over here because at the end of the day, you talk that shit, but you ain't showing me no dogs. None of that shit you tell me matter. Show me some dogs. I want to see some pedigrees. That shit you asking nanny dog about. Show me some fucking pedigrees. Other than that, you just a fucking, what? Just a motherfucker talking with no dogs. You don't even got no dogs to me until you show me something. You know what I'm saying? Only motherfucker that talking that shit, maybe down there that can talk is Supreme because I've seen this shit. You know, other than the rest of y'all motherfuckers, man, fuck y'all motherfuckers. Shit. Yep. We all, like you understand. we all sound stupid. We all sound stupid. Go listen to Buck is what you do, Cayman. You know what I'm saying? Sound like me now. At the end of the day, though, at the end of the day, y'all ain't showing me shit yet. Until y'all show me something, I'm about like, yo, I'm just sitting here waiting. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do all that talking, all that damn talking in the chat, and, and, and know how to post. Y'all know how to post links and all that. And y'all know how to get on links. Y'all got opportunities like all these other brothers got on the link. But y'all scared to voice y'all opinion. Y'all bitches, man. You know, bitches. Not so females, you- not ladies. Bitches. So why do you think I have to show? Huh? So why do why do you think I have to show bitches my pedigree? Yo, listen, you, you in the, you're on the same page. Listen, you're on the same dog. page as me. You you're on the same page as me. Dog, <laughs> dog. You think I'm gonna argue about my dogs without have? You think you see you see all that shit I just said? But what I said at the end of that shit, I got the pedigree to post whatever I need to post. You see, that's what I told you, dog. Hey, Cayman, it'll be what you wanted to be, dog. I'll be what you want me to be. But you ain't got the dogs I got, big dog. You ain't got the client clientele I got, neither nothing I got, dog. You ain't got the women I got, the woman I got, dog. You ain't got shit. All you got is a fucking chat and, and a text, dog. Other than that chat, you don't exist, Cayman. You was a nobody, big dog. And, and, and that's what's hurting your feelings, and that's why you so typing. When y'all boys get to typing like that, I know your feelings hurting, boy. You know what I'm saying? That's why your feelings hurt, because you're nobody. You ain't proved you ain't show shit yet. You lived off being a troll. And there ain't no future in trolling, bitch. No future in trolling. You can troll niggas who feel like y'all can get over them, but you can't get over on me, big dog. You you hurt now, Cayman. You hurt because you, listen, dog. And I mean this honestly. Unless you post a pedigree or a picture of you or come up here and talk, you was a nobody. You was worthless. You was, you was lower than scum, dog. Lower than scum. You know what I'm saying? Say what you want to say. But until you post and prove that you can back what you talking up, you don't mean shit to me, homie. I done back mine up. I done did all that. You know? You know? It just is what it is. Hey, John, I'm going on, going on with the show. You know? I had too many of Buck City fans in here from the start listening to this shit. They got, they, 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 that was killing them because we ain't in here talking about mess. So I'm going to give it to them. They want me to tell them the truth. Your boy ain't shit. Let me drop the link so one of y'all can get up here and back him up. Talk about it. Drop me a damn pedigree of a dog that you got that's worth selling something. Yeah, Cayman, I'll fuck your... Hey, Cayman, I'll shit on your motherfucking grandma and piss in her motherfucking face, boy. I wouldn't even fuck her. You know what I'm saying? You ain't worth it, son. You ain't worth it, boy. I'll shit on your grandmama, boy. I'll literally bend over and take a shit in her face, son. Literally. Shit on her and piss on her, dog. That's what they mean to me. That's what your whole family generation mean to me, boy. Period. <laughs> hey, I talk gangster online. At least I'm sure myself, came in. You scared to show yourself, pussy. Get up here. I dare you. I'll drop a link for you to show yourself, pussy. <laughs> yeah, like I said, man. I call them the way I see them, nanny dog. Pussy, pussy, pussy. Every fucking night. One of Buck City pussies in here, man. One of Buck City pussies in here. Got came in here. Number one pussy. Always been a number one Buck City pussy. And you showing it just tonight. You know, 
What <laughs> nigga, you police, but you running with a nigga that's on probation that say his charge ain't over yet. They caught 170 some motherfucking damn dog. Man, get the fuck out of here, your pussy punk ass. That's why I shit on your fucking grandma face if I see a pussy. <laughs> yeah, I treat you. I treat him like I see him, man. Yeah, I be super gangster. Court. Hey, hey, court the money. Count money. What you count? Count me a pedigree up here, big dog. Fuck count money. Count me a pedigree. We talking dogs, big homie. Y'all always want to see something, but y'all ain't showing shit. All y'all get to talking about the police or this and the police or that. And y'all on the number one investigative page. Man, shut that bitch ass shit up, man. Tell us, tell that shit to somebody that that shit matter to, man. I'm up here with Nanny Doll tonight, man. Y'all, y'all ain't shit. We up here with Max, and y'all ain't got no dogs to show nobody with shit. All y'all do is stay down in the chat and talk about a bunch of bullshit that don't matter. Ain't got no game dogs to prove nothing. Yeah. Uh, let me let me put this post up here for y'all. He say, oh, I'm police. Yeah, you might be the police because you ain't showed us you, bitch. You ain't showed us you. I'm up here talking. You get up here and talk. Let me drop this link for your punk ass, bitch. <laughs> Why shit in there, Hey, can I respond to the person that said I'm the police? Talking up for y'all selves. Y'all boys hey, straight can, pussy, man. Can, can, can I speak to can I speak on the person that said I'm the police? If I'm, po- if, I, if, I, if I'm the police. Fuck, fuck if, all that if, shit, man. Fuck all that. Don't explain. Get up on that link. <laughs> you yeah, yeah don't don't hit the link. If I'm the police, yeah, listen, if I'm the police, if I'm the police. Then guess what, bitch? Yeah, listen, man. I must I, I must not be looking for your country man, ass. Why you call me police? Fuck all that shit, dog. Listen here. Fuck drop me a ass, if they ain't dropping no picture. Don't even talk, man. If they ain't dropping no pictures, they ain't dropping no pedigrees. They ain't nigga. worthy enough. They ain't worthy enough to talk to us right now. They ain't got no credentials to be talking to me right about fucking now. Fuck all that shit you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Drop me a fucking pedigree. I done dropped a link, Cayman. I done told Paris Jackson the other fucking night. I'm tired of y'all two or three year motherfucking chat motherfuckers ain't showing nobody shit and y'all keep wanting to see something and everybody keep getting busted and y'all keep blaming everybody for every damn thing. Y'all might be the motherfuckers investigating every fucking body. The fuck is you talking about? Drop off some pictures of y'all motherfuckers, man. You damn right I piss on that mother and shit on that motherfucker grandma face, man. Fuck that pussy ass motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I was playing with the mother boys talking about fucking the old lady. But fuck them pussy ass motherfuckers. At the end of the day, I dropped the chat. They didn't want to back up their boy. You know what I'm saying? All of them got weak fucking yellow backs down their yellow streaks down their fucking back. You know what I'm saying? All of them got yellow streaks down their fucking back. Pussy. You know? And I treat them that way. Count money. Came in. All the motherfuckers. You know? When you see Nanny Dog, let me let me let me let me let me put you on some game, Nanny Dog. When you, start, when you start arguing with them game dog brothers, and they start uh-huh. talking about, and they start arguing about everything besides them pedigrees and what we supposed to be talking about, that's how you know okay. they feelings hurt. That's how you know they feelings hurt. That's how you know they bitches. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. they, hey, look, they always want to ask you something, right? They always yes, want to ask you something about a pedigree. But yes, sir. Ask, tell one of them to drop a pedigree in their chat right now, Nanny Dog. Tell them for me one time real quick. Tell them to drop a pedigree. Hey, listen, listen. I, I, I'm on the point since y'all said my dog don't have a pedigree. Let me, pedigree your, let, 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 let me see what your pedigree looking like. Tell them Let's to drop, see, drop Drop your pedigree. because I you, Come on. Since y'all worry about pedigree, somebody got to drop theirs. All y'all are in saying about me and my dog and blue dogs and what it don't have. Somebody drop a pedigree. They go for <laughs> all, all. Listen, they go for everybody except me. Drop Somebody drop a pedigree. Since that's what y'all want to talk about, it don't matter who, anybody drop one. Hey, you see how it's going to go, fam? That's why I tell you, man. That's why I tell you, you know, it just is what it is, man. Pussy motherfuckers. Motherfuckers ain't got no dogs, man. They want to question real dog men. They got one or two years worth of experience. Bitch start bulldogging when the coronavirus checks hit. Motherfucker damn start bulldogging when Obama motherfucking came president. Man, listen, man. Y'all boy better stay in y'all fucking lane, man. Y'all bunch of bitches. Go over there with Buck City where that shit ride at where a motherfucker ain't never been in the box and lying to you so he don't give a damn what you say. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is, is what it is, John Kramer. I can't help family that you two-timing. John Kramer, I can't help you two-faced at Big Dog. One minute you want to act like you with the bay, the next minute you don't. You over there in Buck City chat talking about me. 
Fuck you too, dog. I've been heard about you. You know what I'm saying? You two faced it, fam. Show me a bulldog, John Kramer. You know, or get up here and talk about your shit. Do what a real bulldog will do, you know? <laughs> and stop all that capping. Let y'all boys be saying, man. Yeah, you talking entertainment talk now. It's entertainment when I'm talking. It ain't entertainment when Nanny Dog talking. Yeah, it's entertainment now. Yeah, fuck that shit. I'm about to drop a link for your punk ass, man. It's, it's see how much entertainment this shit is, man. That shit, man. Think I'm dropping right now? This for entertainment, dog. Get up on it. Let's hear what you got to say about your dogs, fam. Let's hear about some pedigrees. Yeah, that, that motherfucker be on Buck City dick, old John Kramer, man. Yeah, motherfucker, you think I ain't know because you been in the chat the whole fucking night? You just like came in pussy ass. Y'all Buck City dick riders. Y'all should have a mouth full of nut by now that dick y'all be jacking. And, and that man got a wife, yo. Y'all jack that motherfucker dick like <laughs> on some real shit, on some homo shit, yo. <laughs> on some real shit. Like, what, what the fuck y'all be mad at me for? Do what the fuck I do. Or either shut the fuck up and get the fuck off my page. You know, it is, is what it is. You ain't one thing about it. You dealing with a whole nother brother. Because at the end of the day, Buck said he can't talk for his dogs. He, he peddling and, and trying to sell dogs, fake champions, off another man who buys champions. None of them could tell none of the stories about their dogs. You ain't dealing with that. No, no, no. Hey, count money. Call it what you want to call it. Call it what you want to call it. You promote a pedigree, bitch. You promote a pedigree. That's all I want to see. <laughs> One thing about it. At the end of the day, I, I, I got real dogs, pussy. Real dogs. Can you afford them? Let's talk some real money. Let's talk money now. Can you afford my dogs? Uh, 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 oh, boy. Can you afford them? Or are you going to buy some aftermarket made shit? Can you afford them dogs, boy? Hey, man, y'all boys be steady lying about that made shit where y'all be at over there. Y'all be steady lying. Can you afford that shit, dog? Like I said, are you even really a dog man? Because this whole dog game under investigation, and we don't know who the ones who got it under investigation. It might be the ones who always throw salt on brothers, like y'all motherfuckers. Like I said, make y'all self known, bitch. Hey, I like that they use my... I Make like that y'all use. No, bitch. Put the pedigree. Hey. Get up here and talk. Stop all that capping. Hey, <laughs> I hey, tell you hey, that, hey, they pussy. Hey, pedigree, mate. They like said, listen, you said they like say your name. No, because they go hey, from you, check look to out, check. Look out, look out. From check, right they hey, go from check to check. Listen, hey, they go from check to check saying my name. And this is what they realize. Hey, me and my dogs, males, get up off our nuts and our, off our thing, bro. But we don't need no supporters. We don't need no supporters. Y'all always typing my name for what reason? I'm a threat to y'all, and I ain't even and I ain't even even try to be a threat. That's when you know guys don't have they have low self esteem. When they take a group of people to jump on one person, I was always ready. That's a pussy. Punks only jump. Real niggas stand on there. Anybody got something to say to me? It's a whole panel. Y'all be in the chat talking shit about me when y'all get hit a panel. I it be a bulldog. You talking about what a bulldog is? Hey, my father always talking about bulldog this and bulldog this and the American pit bull cherry was bred to be this and human being was bred to be motherfucker tough and defend himself. You motherfucker was the slaves who sat there and punked out. Right now, what Nanny Dog doing is no, like, no, fuck that shit. I'm tired of biting my motherfucker. Hey, I try to be nice to you, know, pussy ass niggas. Y'all you know always what? typing my name. Y'all worry about my dogs. Get the fuck up on my dog, motherfucking jock nigga. On everything, you couldn't even. You couldn't even deal with a smart dog like mine. Mine been escaped out your fucking house or a kennel or escaped hey, away from you. You, hey, you mother got dumb ass dog who bite on fucking chains and think that's gang. This hey, dog, dog bite on the chain. The motherfucker don't realize he's gonna pull his teeth out. Get the fuck on, dumbass. Hold up, hold up. This is another Please. thing. This is another thing. This is another thing they start doing. They start talking about your weight. They start talking about how you dress. They start talking about how you look. That's what they all do when they ain't got no dog credentials to back none of that shit. They talk up. You know what I'm saying? That's what they all do. You know what I'm saying? That's listen, Nanny Dog. They jump on you and try to fuck with you at pedigrees. But right now, you talking shit. What you doing right now is is equivalent of me slapping the shit out of one of them fuck boys with the pistol, them falling on the ground, and I'm daring them to get up while you shit and piss all over their fucking face. You know what I'm saying? Say what the fuck you want to say, because none of them got no dog credentials. None of them that's talking oh, shit. Oh no, 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 no. Listen, you know? they can listen. 
They can listen. No. At the end of the day, they talked all that shit about me. Guess what? I haven't seen no. I haven't seen none of them niggas who talking shit. Condition they dog. That's why they dog up here like this. Show man, me. I knew you motherfuckers gonna talk shit that like. Show me you condition your dog like my pussy. Then we can talk. Fuck about a paper and pedigree. Let's talk about who can condition. Who can work a dog out? Who can make a dog look good? Hold on, no, my shit look better than your shit, look pussy. I bet your dog either short all the rib cages because you stop listen. Just because you feed your dog a little bit of food and burn it out, pussy, you can't do it on a full diet. I can do mine on a full diet. That mean I work harder than y'all. Why y'all worry about a nigga who work harder than y'all? Hold up, I mean, hold up, um, um, uh, Nanny Dog. Now, man, listen, came in, boy. Boy, you was a true hater every time. Boy, I got y'all boys with your feelings, acting like bitches. You from Generation Z, boy. You ain't born when I'm born. You a straight bitch. I can tell you got bitches. And you say, J-Bo gave me the heart to talk about Sambo. Boy, you been following me that long? You been listening to my story that long? Boy, you's a fucking fan, boy. You's a fucking fan, and then you get mad and want to start talking about it. Man, shut your bitch ass up and put a pedigree up there, you fucking hoe. Your mama's a hoe. Your grandmama's a hoe, boy. One that I'll shit in her fucking face until you put a pedigree up there, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Cayman. You was born from a prostitute, boy. You was born from a prostitute, and she was born from a prostitute, boy. <laughs> you ain't got to be a fan of me, big dog. You ain't got to be a fan of me. I'm going to shit in your mama face, your grandmama face, and your whole generation, like I said. Fuck y'all motherfuckers. Stay on my page. You don't like it, bitch. Show me a pedigree or shut your bitch ass up, like I said. <laughs> you know hey, I, I you, it. You, you, know? say, you say a pedigree, I right? I say thing. show me a condition, dog, or shut nah, the fuck nah, up, nah. bitch. We ain't want to see no condition, dog. We want to see some pedigrees even know these no, niggas. No, no, no. Well, listen, I want to see a dog that they we take from. Voices. We want to hear some voices. We want to hear somebody talk for Buck City instead of typing for Buck City. You know what I'm saying? They're going to type. So, see, listen, we know they're going to type. So, this is my thing. is, I want you to take a, a 45-pound dog. Oh, no, no, no. Let's do it like this. Take your dog all the way up to 60 pounds, feed it on the same fucking diet, the same diet, and take it down and look like my dog. If you can't do that, shut the fuck up about my dog pedigree and papers. You have you need can't even do that shit. Take your dog up to the full weight and burn it down with hey, on, on the full hey, diet. Hold up, hold up then, don't 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 hold take no food dog. from it. Don't hold take up, one then. one kibble away from it. Listen, Give it the whole that, motherfucking no. diet. Act like it's winter time. Yeah, burn the winter weight off and make it look like that. None of you cowards can do that. Well, I laugh at y'all when y'all want to know this shit. You don't even know how to condition a dog before you talk shit to me. Yeah, Bitch, right. you going That's off a right. of pedigree. I go out work. I go out working skills. You go off a of pedigree. I go out working skills, pussies. Hey, hey, check this out, right? We got came and say grown man talking about shit on a woman. I ain't talking about shit on a woman. I'm talking about shit on your grandmama, pussy. The fuck is you talking about, man? We got grown men up here talking about dogs and ain't posting no pedigrees. They ain't getting up here talking. We got grown men talking about other grown men getting in other grown men business, acting like bitches. So what the fuck is you talking about? Get up here and represent yourself and stop typing, man. Y'all boys do too much typing for me, man. Y'all do too much typing, dog. <laughs> Damn, which one am I? Which one? Am, which one of y'all boys am I hurting your feelings the most? John Kramer, Michael, Kamen. <laughs> what? All y'all got pussy tendencies. Do what y'all typing? One of y'all get up and talk for your boy. Is he worth talking for? <laughs> is, is your grandma worth talking for? I'm talking for mine. I'll shit on yours. You know what I'm saying? I'll shit on yours. Me, Peter, the police department, all of them shit on your grandmama, Cayman. All of them. Yeah. So what you got to type now? We all a shit right in your grandmama face, bitch. Yes, we will. John Kramer, you ain't no better, dog. All y'all niggas... Y'all be talking that dog, but y'all ain't showing shit. And it's okay because y'all rolling with people that ain't showing shit. You damn right I talk, Cayman, because I can back it up, faggot. Yes, sir. Woo -wee. We got Michael Schrader in there having a hissy. We got Cayman in here motherfucking damn shitting on himself, his period on the night, and count money in here acting like a bitch from Gen Generation Z. You know, y'all some dress-wearing motherfuckers. I ain't from your era, dog. We from a whole different era, dog. <laughs> hey, we don't even dance the same, no, none of that shit, dog. So I don't expect you to think like me. You know, <laughs> y'all just straight bitches. Won't get up here and talk for yourself. You know, let me drop that link again. Maybe y'all Buck City. I, I keep telling y'all, man. Buck City taught y'all to type where that shit matters at. You know?
hey, hey, that that mean they hands is gameless. You know what I'm saying? They 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 they, they listen. They they easy to type. They easy to type. Michael, hold on, man, hold on. Michael Schrader say, let's just wait and see. Michael Schrader must be a fucking agent. Take that shit over there back to this Buck City chat, bitch. <laughs> Flip Wilson, what the hell wrong with these boys, man? What the man, hell they, 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 they type us. That's why, that's why, listen, you, some, look, one thing you say is I go back and forth, but I don't argue with you. Listen, this is the first time they actually got me to flip out of these raggedy motherfuckers. Listen here, dog. Because listen, they too. Listen, dog. You don't know what to because say to when them. Because they come down to smoke. You don't know what to say to them. I know what to say to them. Post me a fucking pedigree. Post me a picture with you and the dog. I drop, I drop that link for your bitch ass to get up here and talk. Other than that, shut your fuck ass up. Do what the fuck you been doing, being a corner ornament. Uh, fucking with the motherfuckers who ain't, ain't hitting on shit. Calling Chico Lopez out the blue. Calling any dog out the blue. Calling all these dog men, playing these dope fiend games. Copying all the Ooh. dog men channels. Copying all the dog men content. Okay. Listen here, man. Listen here, it's all good, dog. Cayman, how many dicks you done jacked before before you came to my show tonight? <laughs> you know, how many times you done jacked buck dick? You know, it is what it is. Michael Schrader, you know. Michael Schrader say, that's facts. Talk that shit to me, then punk. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Michael Schrader, you going to be where in July? Man, get the hell out of here, man. I don't want to hear that shit. Hey, man, better get back. In July then, Michael. Don't tell me that shit in damn March, man. Get the hell out of here, man. And shut the fuck up with that bullshit ass shit you talking about, man. Hey, hey, you better get back. Guess what I just get, like guess, guess what I just realized, man. better get back. What though? What you realize, big guess homie? What I assumed was already correct. Soon soon as you get them, see, they want me to tell them my 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 thing, but at the end of the day, you don't see nobody jump up here to to, to if, get their information out, but they want to know my information, but they want to get theirs out. No, listen here. To me, the motherfuckers all might be agents. Because it, it, motherfuckers like me don't come around often. They try to keep brothers out of trouble. I keep telling you all the time. I'm looking for motherfuckers to try to knock me down because you don't need a motherfucker out there like me trying to keep brothers out of trouble. So them brothers in the chat, you think I'm playing with them? I'm serious. I want to hear y'all fucking voice. I want to see y'all with a fucking dog. Other than that, <laughs> Stay on Buck City shit and kiss my motherfucking ass. And we gonna keep shitting in motherfucking mama's mouths, grandmama's mouths, and y'all mouths. As long as y'all in my motherfucking chat. You know, it is what it is. And when July come, holla at me, boy. Other than that, I'm being I made so much money before then, I ain't thinking about your bitch ass. July, I'm watching the Mike Tyson fight, pussy. I ain't thinking about you, man. Holla at me when you see me, though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't hard to find. You know what I'm saying? I ain't hard to find, dog. Period. You know, it is is what it is. Y'all do hey, too much hey, crap. They do too much tapping down in that chat and don't show yes, shit. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. But guess what? Guess what, Pedro can make? Listen, not, 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 listen. Let me, let me talk to this fake gangster out here talking about. Go ahead. PBK, just remember, we ain't fighting fair, so keep running your mouth, super gangster. Listen here, listen here, cow money. Listen here, man. Listen here, dog. I ain't even going to talk about that. This, this show me what you're talking about. That's all I'm going to tell you, dog. Show me what you're talking about. And then, like I said, at the end of the day, we ain't got to do no talking. We ain't got to do no talking. You know, I gave y'all opportunity to talk. <laughs> that gangster shit, I done told y'all before. I get up here and talk because I know y'all ain't about that gangster shit. And if you was, shit, you ain't about to do it right now. What you about to do? You know? What you about to do? One thing about it, you got to be disrespectful to some folk. You know what I'm saying? Because some folk don't deserve respect. You give respect where respect's due at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? If you don't deserve respect, you ain't getting that motherfucker. Go to Buck City where, like I said, where they got low standards at. Where they got low standards. You got high standards over this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Just any and everybody can't come over here and fit in. You know? This ain't a channel for any and everybody to fit in. For one, yeah, I'll be a super gangster. And I'll take a super shit, like I said before, in your grandma's mouth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and holler at me in July when you see me. You know? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, you know what? One thing I know about it, y'all talking about everything but dogs. With me, with me, y'all talk about everything but dogs. But with Nanny Dog, y'all talk about everything. <laughs> but what that man talking about? Y'all try to talk about all the dogs, all the bloodlines. You try to say the man is that, but you ain't show me shit yet. Show mm. me something. Every time mm. you scream Nanny Dog name out, you're talking about you tell him to post something. But you ain't mm. post nothing yet. 
When it come to me, he start talking about, oh, his grandmama, his police, oh, this and all that. Look at Cayman. Now he back to talking about P. Nitty. Man, go suck some dick, Cayman. That's hey, what hey, you 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 seeing though. the same thing I'm you seeing oh, the same thing I'm Nitty train everybody to watch his channel, to study everybody else shit, learn more shit about everybody else than they know about their own damn yard. All y'all motherfuckers flunkies, man. All y'all flunkies. You know, from the top. Hey, from the hey, top. hey, 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 listen. Yes, you, you, they better listen. You better I, listen. I, I, you better I, I, hold on, better get back. Let me say this right quick. Let me say this. You better listen. Listen, if you know what's good, if you know what's good for you, you better leave me alone before I, before I hurt your feelings. And that's on God. I got to make sure I hurt all y'all motherfuckers. You, motherfucking you David, dumb. David, you listen. David. Hold on. Let me say this. All David, you dumb and literate mother. Listen. All you dumb and literate motherfuckers behind closed door. I talk to any nigga that talk about me. And behind closed door, I hear anybody number. I know some you motherfuckers don't know. So keep on trying to talk about me because I'm going to expose some shit that you motherfuckers on my channel that you motherfuckers going to be hurt, hurt. Because right no motherfucker. Right 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 listen, listen, listen. I'm going to show you how to do this shit knockout style. We're not talking about none of that other shit right now. Right now we focus on the motherfuckers in that chat talking that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? We ain't worrying about none of that other shit. We're going for the knockout. We're going for the kill. Fuck all that shit. Drop us some pedigrees or, or drop these links. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, John Kramer, that shit you talking about don't mean shit, dog. <laughs> don't mean shit. You just another bitch typing. <laughs> Other than that, Kevin, that shit you typing don't mean shit. You know Michael Schrader, that shit you typing don't mean shit. <laughs> y'all typing police, family members, all this other shit. But what kind of chat is y'all in? What kind of chat is y'all in? Y'all ain't show no dog shit yet. <laughs> Nothing yet. Uh, uh, count money say you not knocking out nobody ever in your life. Now he talking about fighting. Who talking about fighting? We talking about bulldogs. You mean to tell me y'all that mad? You talking about fighting? You talking about police? You talking about all this other shit besides a bulldog and a pedigree? It's something so easy that we school nanny dog. We y'all trying to scold nanny dog about for the last hour, but y'all can't answer these simple fucking questions. Your fucking self. If that ain't pussy, that's pussy. And that's why I'm calling you pussy. I, I, pussy. Hey, hey, better can bait. Pussy, man. I, I smell, <laughs> I smell pussy, nigga. I've been to smell like pussy when, when I first when Anyone I first started reading their comments. I was smelling yeah. pussy. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just didn't say nothing because I was on your panel. But listen, this end of the day, I don't have to hear your panel. I don't have to hear book panel. I don't have to hear nobody fucking panel. I've been doing this without hitting y'all panels. You know that, right? At the end of the day, my knowledge is gonna still be put out there. At the end of the day, let me say the panel before you cut me out. And then they, I know more about these dogs than you do. You motherfuckers swerving down. They never, a blue dog never existed in time. So at the end of the day, I don't argue, I don't argue with, I don't argue with yes sir ass niggas, no lap up niggas. I'm a real nigga and I stand on my, on everything. I don't, I don't give a fuck how many you, y'all jump down on me. At the end of the day, I'm more hardcore and more men than all y'all. I'm a real fucking bulldog. You niggas pretend to be bulldogs. Because guess I, what? No matter I, how many pedals I, I jump on and, and how many of y'all say what y'all say, you still ain't seen my dog. You still ain't put me on my dog pedigree. Listen, you still ain't put me on my dog man, paper. Hold on, man. Hold on. We can't go back to no pedigrees and stuff. Until no, 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 no. I got. Let me say this because this is my closing. This my, listen, this is my closing. So motherfuckers know why I don't hit they, they boss channels Yo, no more. Listen, right now we in kill mode. We ain't doing that. Right. We in kill mode right now, dog. Fuck all that other shit. We in kill mode. We need to see pedigrees, stories, or pictures, dog. I got you. Stand back right now. I got you. You roll with me. My credentials good. You know, let me see some fucking pedigrees, pussy. Let me see some pedigrees, dog. Fuck all that talking, Cayman. You talking, 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 count money. Show me some pedigrees, Michael Schrader. Show me some pedigrees. Yeah, you better be out, pussy. You, can, you can't show no pedigrees. I'll tell you there's a difference than talking to a dog, man, and talking to a motherfucker down. Y'all want to bully all the time. Yeah, Cayman. Yeah, you talking about Peter. You talking about everything but a fucking pedigree. How I know you even exist. How, you, how I know you even a real motherfucking dog, man, man. You know, I tell y'all, man, here go that link again, man. Y'all boys acting like y'all can't read. Y'all know how to read the type on that pedigree. I mean, the type on that keyboard. But y'all can't read this link I'm dropping for y'all pussy ass niggas, man. Let me, let, let me drop it one more time for y'all. Okay, you know, yeah. <laughs> I don't like to talk to no damn typer. I want to see. I want to talk to who I'm talking to. You ain't got to put your picture up here. I already know y'all boys pussy. You know, I already know you pussy. 
You know, so get up here and talk. Tammy, don't get mad with me, dog, because my chat is what y'all motherfuckers want to be. You know, what y'all motherfuckers in Buck City want to be, bitch. The fuck you talking about, man? Y'all motherfuckers can't go a whole motherfucking damn, a whole fucking show without mentioning nothing about the bay over that motherfucker, dog. The fuck you talking about, man? Stop all that capping and get up in here and talk some bulldogs, pussy. <laughs> Everybody in your family prostitutes, boy. Your mama prostitute, your sister prostitute, boy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody prostitutes, boy. <laughs> Dirty bitches, boy. Dirty bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I stand up for blue dog. They ain't gonna stand up for their mamas. Damn. Yeah, man, them That's dirty bitches. Bad. I don't stand up for a dirty bitch either, dog. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, everybody fuck them bitches, man. They them bitches from the area where everybody fuck them. They want to crack on pro and crack on all this other shit, man. Them bitches passed around, dog. Listen here, man. Them niggas old enough. I, them niggas mamas my age, dog. Them niggas mamas passed the fuck around, dog. Them bitches ain't shit. Motherfucker damn. Listen here, dog. Exactly like I said. <laughs> You, 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 want, you don't want to talk about no dogs, so let's talk about that. <laughs> Y'all want to talk about families and all that other shit? Let's talk about it. You know? Michael Schrader say he's sending them out tomorrow. You must be sending out the fucking law. That's the only thing he's sending out, man. Anything I'm worried about, anything else? And I ain't worried about no law because I walk that walk and I talk that talk. <laughs> you just a homosexual that's hating on me, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, it is what it is, dog. They were just sitting in the chat the whole time, hating, hating, hating. Mad because we can go a whole three hours without mentioning Buck City name a whole time. And they can't go 30 minutes in Buck City chat without mentioning my name. You know? <laughs> and then the ones that's talking can't show no dogs. Can't show no dogs. Michael Schrader can't show no dogs. Can't get up here and talk. You know? Cayman. Cayman been talking for about three years now. He bought like Paris Jackson. <laughs> been typing for three years boy y'all should be tired of typing yet and ain't show nobody shit hey Michael Schrader, Michael Schrader it's funny how you say gotta read it all the way out it isn't hard you can't seem to read it out with your boy Buck City it must be mighty hard y'all better keep that shit over there dog I keep telling you what y'all wanna do with it <laughs> what y'all wanna do with it dog Y'all ain't show me no pedigrees yet. So, you know, we, that shit y'all talking about with me don't mean shit. <laughs> I have a dog in the pick, Michael Schrader say. I have a dog in the pick. What pick, Michael Schrader? Man, as far as I know, a pick, you, let you tell any dog. You can download a pick off a motherfucking damn Google, bitch. I don't give a fuck. I want to see you get up here and talk some dog talk, man. Fuck all that shit y'all talking about. You disrespecting me, bitch. You ain't got enough, like I said before, credentials to disrespect me. Oh, I'm a black man. That's why you can do it. Let it be. Let me have been a white brother. You want to be disrespecting me all kind of ways. But I, I, at the end of the day, I just play it how I play it. You know? Treat you like I treat you. Your mama a prostitute. Your daddy a crackhead. And he think he your mama. He think he your mama. I don't know. At the end of the day, he want to be your mama and your aunt. You know? Supposed to be your daddy. I bet not see none of your niggas with my name in y'all motherfucking and, and type my name no more. He didn't disrespect y'all mamas, your grandmas, your daddy, and you want to worry about my dog. Y'all know oh, you man. Oh, man, he say the dog he showed is the one up here on this damn picture right here on this damn message. Man, listen, you might be Google that shit. Man, I ain't going for that shit. What the hell you think I am, a rookie like you, motherfucker, a greenhorn? Man, the hell you talking about, Michael? I guess that dog that I put on all my thumbnails is my dog. You know? <laughs> Man, you must be thinking I'm a sucker, man. Shut your bitch ass up and drop her some pedigrees and get up and talk for yourself, man. The fuck is you talking about, man? I know you don't give a fuck what color I am. Get your bitch ass up and talk. I don't give a fuck what color you is either. I'm still shitting your grandma mouth, pussy. Damn, man. You was killing these niggas fucking... They worry about dogs and you just saw they whole fucking blood. Like they worry about what blood like my dog is. Hey, Damn. now, now little, little came and say, Tony Hill, Tony Hill. <laughs> The nigga used to record videos of himself doing it. Oh man, come on, man. Yo, hey, I'm about to I'm about to eat off y'all. I tell you, tonight, other night, Supreme was my my Supreme ain't fucking with me tonight. So I ain't unless he did what I wasn't paying attention to the chat. I ain't about to fuck with Supreme. You know, I'm gonna leave Supreme out of this. You know, Cayman, 
Boy, look here, dog. You done came at me in about 10 different ways besides a damn pedigree and a dog, which is so simple. You said Sambo. How the hell you know about Sambo? And you ain't tell me about your own damn dog. That's not that's not courteous of you to introduce yourself to me, talking about your dogs and ain't talking me about yours. Talk me about mine and ain't talking me about yours. You know, courtesy, I'm talking about mine, talk me about yours. You know, this nigga talk about ass nanny. We ain't asking nanny dog shit. Nanny dog say post that pedigree, bitch ass nigga, and stop all that motherfucker running. Buck said he need to teach y'all how to be men, motherfucker. That's what he need to teach y'all. I uh, guess he can't teach y'all that, though. You know? <laughs> Birds of a feather flock together. Like I always say, man. You fucking with a freestyler, dog. You ain't fucking with it. And you fucking with a freestyler that got his dog gang together. <laughs> and you fucking with a freestyler that do legal shit. And you fucking with a freestyler that can stand on this legal shit. And you fucking with a motherfucker like what came and talking about every five minutes he talking about Peter, Peter, Peter. This whole night, the only people brought Peter up was y'all motherfuckers. This whole night we've been talking. We ain't nobody never brought Peter up. It made y'all mad. It made y'all mad when I played that video with the man with the dog news. It pissed y'all off then. Why did that piss y'all off, man? Why did that piss y'all off when I played that damn animal cruelty video? You know? <laughs> That's when it went left. No. Y'all boys bitches. And y'all ain't got no dog gang to back it up. And I said that. Y'all ain't going to do nothing about it. And nobody you know going to do nothing about it. And this Hirsch talking. This ain't PBK talking. I'm talking to anybody that know me. You know, if you know one of these pussy ass niggas, do something for them. You know, if you from around my way, if you know one of these pussy ass niggas, do something for them. You know, <laughs> see what a nigga ready to risk what he got. Risk what he going to get himself into for your punk pussy ass. Hell no. I tell them, man, they want to crack on people. You'll crack on people like pro them because you think they ain't got no dog game. Or you'll crack on the next man. But in, the, in my chat, man, all I do is make clowns out y'all suckers, man. Y'all boys clowns to me, man. And your family is fucking whores, man. Whores and crackheads and, and homosexuals, your daddy, like I told you before. You know, sh shout out to my sister because she rock on that side of town. Because I don't got no hate against nobody. You know, they rock on that side of town. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but your daddy a whore too. You know, and I ain't talking about one that fuck women. I'm talking about one that, you know what I mean? You don't know if he yarn or whatever. Like I said before, you know, I'm trying to say whatever I can say to get you out your, get you out your shit to come up here and talk about your dogs. You know, <laughs> I ain't never ran into a pussy crowd like y'all. If I knew I could make money like this 10 years ago, man, I'd have been doing it. I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. I'd have been doing that shit. Talking shit to pussies that ain't going to do shit? <laughs> Listen here, dog. One thing about it. I know the law. And like I always tell y'all, run up on me. Run up on me with that bullshit. That's all I'm going to tell you. I ain't going to do all that talking. I done did that in, the, I done did that in my teenage years. You want to go look all that up. You want to look something up? Go look all that shit up. That's what you're going to do. You like to look up shit? Go look it. Go look it up. Your punk bunch of pussies. <laughs> y'all looked over that. Y'all looked over that and look. Y'all want to see something else? <laughs> hey, Nanny Dog. They ain't got no pedigrees to show none of us. Hey, hey, hey. You know what? I can no listen. Punk, man. These, niggas, no these niggas talk all them. shit. These niggas talk all shit to me, and I kind of feel sorry for them niggas that that they ain't even got enough what I got. Man, listen, what did I say about them niggas that, that should make it? Listen, man, the kids Damn. pussy, man. Y'all kids pussy. Your daughter a whore, nigga. Damn. Your daughter face pussy. What Damn. can I get y'all to come up here and talk, man? Y'all boys Damn. gay, man. Y'all boys faggots. Y'all ain't from Damn. my area. That's what I tell you. You would have never been in the chitlin circuit in my days, man. Y'all boys straight, y'all straight yellow streak down the back, motherfuckers, man. That's what I'm telling you, man. I'm about to cremate y'all buck city ass cowards in my damn chat down here, man. Let me drop this fucking damn link again for these whores, man. One nigga, I gotta come. One nigga, I gotta at least come up here and give some fucking smoke back. Goddamn! Now this shit is one sided, and you motherfucker, and yep, you motherfuckers always jumping on me is one sided. But come on, somebody got at least come up here and be like you got my mama fucked up or my daddy fucked up. Some goddamn fight Listen, back, man. man. You can't expect that when I just told you the whole family what the family was. How can you expect any of them boys in the chat right there that we talking to to be anything different? If I'm telling you the mama a whore, the mama ain't shit. 
the daddy of fucking damn punk. Thank you to aunt, the sister, the cousin. You motherfuckers wearing dresses, all kind of shit like that. You know, if I'm telling you all this shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cayman say people want friends so bad, but you in my chat, Cayman. How that make sense? We went to school 12 years, right, big dog? We went to school 12 years, right, big dog? How the fuck I want you as a friend when you in my fucking shit? If you come to my house, my yard, how the fuck I want you as a friend when you came to my shit? <laughs> now, now we starting to see, like I told brothers, these dudes went around regular people throughout their life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Michael Schrader, Cayman, Count Money, Renegade. You know? John Kramer. All Buck City flunkies. You know what I'm saying? All Buck City flunkies. Cayman. Nigga, you invite anybody on your clearly want friends. Friends about what, dog? We talking about dogs, homie. We talking about dogs. You know? I ain't trying to be your friend. I say you get up here and talk your shit. That's what I said. Stop typing that shit. You know, that's what I said. Any of y'all motherfuckers. John Kramer, get your punk ass up here and talk. You know? <laughs> Any of y'all. That's what I'm saying. Why is it so hard for y'all brothers to talk? Why is it so hard for y'all brothers to post anything got to do with dogs when you're talking to me? But anytime you're talking to pro, you try to shine on them. You're talking to brother who feel like Nanny dog who not in the game dog circuit like that, you try to shine on that brother. Any of these brothers that's not in that circuit, you try to shine on them. But y'all motherfuckers ain't got shit going on, period. 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 But internet at your damn house. That's why you get typed so damn good. Let me read what these whole ass niggas out here talking about. I wish I had some pictures of the damn mama. I'll be in beating my meat to that motherfucker. Me and my old lady. <laughs> Some faggot ass motherfuckers, man. Y'all motherfuckers gay, man. Michael Schrader say, ask the police, PBK. I don't know, dog. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. We talking about dogs. What y'all talking about? I'm trying to, y'all got me confused. We talking about dogs, right? I asked y'all for a pedigree. I asked y'all for a pedigree. Same thing y'all demand from everybody else when y'all be in them chats, right? We got a, we got over 100 some people watching this thing still. You know what I'm saying? They want to see what the hell y'all going to post. You know, they want to see what the hell y'all going to get up here and talk about. Now, you tell me, count money. You Y'all boys did all that typing like I told brother Knight. Y'all did all that typing, doing all that typing. <laughs> How can you keep up with me when I'm just speaking this shit from the tongue? Michael Schrader said the comments above that, PBK. Man, I'm not keeping up with your comments. Bitch, get up here and talk, motherfucker. The fuck is you talking about? I'm not keeping up with your comments, bitch. Go to Buck City Channel. You want to keep up with comments? Somebody who needs your comments. I don't need neither one of the four of y'all motherfuckers. See if my channel, see if my channel slow down a bit from y'all unsubscribing to my shit. That's what I want you to see. <laughs> hey. Let me see. Let me see. Man, why y'all keep talking about Nanny though? Y'all can't ask Nanny Dog, Nanny Dog off limits for the rest of the night until y'all drop a pedigree. Fuck all that shit. Nanny Dog is special privileges for the rest of the night until y'all drop a fucking pedigree. Other than that, y'all motherfuckers ain't talking no Nanny Dog. Y'all motherfuckers ain't talking to shit about no Bulldogs until y'all drop some pedigrees. Y'all always want to call somebody else bluff. <laughs> y'all niggas ain't got no dogs. Michael Schrader, too, he posted a picture up on his damn, on his damn thing right here. That dog he got right there. Michael, you want me to download a dog from Google and post it on my my, my thing real quick? <laughs> man, let's see, man. Well, can we know how old the dog is so he come up here and we ask what the bloodline and how old the dog, old dog is? Dog. Fuck how old the dog is. Show me some fucking proof or come up here and talk, man. You trying to be nice to them whole ass niggas, man. Dog. Fuck all that shit. That shit over. They ain't got nothing to prove. They ain't got nothing to talk. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, yeah. keep on putting the dog up here. We don't know nothing about the dog just because we see a picture of it. The eight, eight, they, they didn't go off my picture. So why we got to go off their picture? I want no more. They want to know more. Cayman, Cayman, I ain't with all that name calling. You know why? Because I don't know you, motherfucker. I don't know if you sitting behind a desk right now, bitch, with a badge hanging around your neck, bitch. That's why I'm trying to tell you to come up here and, and talk. Come up here and show some dog, tell, talk some dog history. You know, I'm not going to call no nigga no name. When I don't even know who the fuck I'm talking to when I'm talking to you. And you you won't do it. You won't get up here and talk. Come on, man. 
Y'all boys might be thinking y'all dealing with a rookie. <laughs> Come up here and show you real, bitch. I done talk about your mama, your daughter, your grandmama. What you want me to go back and talk about your slave ancestors too? All the motherfuckers? What you want me to talk about? Talk to me, dog. Tell me what it's going to take for you to tell me some bulldog talk. Tell me what it's going to take for you to get your bitch ass up here and talk anything dogs, man. You know? <laughs> Hey, it is what it is, man. At the end of the day, I done seen this shit too many times, though. I'm the only reason I'm on here talking to y'all because I ain't sleepy for one. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting content off you. You know, I got my dogs to back it up. I got pedigrees to back it up. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't know what you want me to talk about. What 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 is gonna take for y'all to drop a pedigree? Okay, we're gonna stop. Okay, everybody in the chat, let's give it a moment of silence. I ain't going to talk about nothing else. Let's just see how long they're going to type. Let's just, I'm just going to stop talking. Nobody say nothing. Stop talking for a few. I'm going to stop talking. John Kramer, we ain't got to cross paths if we close, homie. Come, come. Shit. Come holler at me, John Kramer. That's what I'm talking about. I already know you're talking pussy when you're talking about we too close to not cross paths, big dog. If we too close, come holler at me. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, sir. And how we say it around here in this country, yes, sir. <laughs> ah, shut your bitch ass up, dog. <laughs> ah, boy, look at what I got them whole ass niggas wet tonight, boy. I got them wet. I must have got one of them girl listening because that's the only time they damn stay in the chat this long when I get one of them girl hooked. I, I, I ain't like to tell you big dogs in the chat. Not y'all. Not y'all hoes. Not the big dogs. Big dogs. When I get them texting me like this, it's because they done listen to us on the TV and they, they girl in there and she digging what I'm saying. You know? She digging what I'm saying. <laughs> they don't get this man. They don't get this man unless the, the wrong person heard, heard me say something to them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, hey, no, your mama a bitch, your grandma a bitch, you's a bitch, your daddy's a bitch. Everybody, like I said before, in your whole fucking family tree is a bitch, nigga. So what you gonna do about it? What you gonna say about it? <laughs> now, y'all wanna talk stuff outside of dogs, <laughs> but you won't get up here and talk it. You wanna type it. I can't type, dog. I can't read, write, no, none of that. Come up here and talk some shit, man. Come up here and talk it. John Kramer. <laughs> Yes, sir, man. You don't need a wrench. You don't need a wrench to get up here and talk. We all need wrenches for. Man, I'll give you all the wrench you need. I dropped that damn uh that damn uh link in that chat. That's the only wrench you need. What the hell, man? I tell you, boy, look, now he go came and talking about snitching. Pro, pro sister like a snitch. Pro sister like a snitch. This and that. This and that. <laughs> What, what it is? What what it is? Got an echo, though. Got an echo, big dog. Damn, bro. I had to turn the TV off, bro. This is, this is church, man. I ain't got nothing bad to say. I just wanted to thank you for all you do, man. Hey, I appreciate it. We appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. It means a lot more to me than you know, man. I'll set you a little later. You might see it on Facebook. But I just wanted to thank you instead of blowing up the chat, you know. Hey, I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you coming up here and talk even more, man. You know what I'm saying? I yes. tell anybody that you come up here. Hey, no worries. I'm going to get off here and not bore everybody, okay? But everybody be safe and all that good stuff. All right. Okay. okay. All right, bye. Big shout out to that brother. Big salute out to that brother, George. Holding it down. You know what I'm saying? You know, it is, it is what it is, man. You know, it is what it is. Brothers be talking, talking, talking. He said, I'll drop, Cayman said, I'll drop the pairs if you ask Nanny. Okay, okay, I'm about to smoke my blunt. Nanny, you want to talk for a minute? Nanny, you want to talk? Guess what, Cayman? Fuck that shit. You think I'm playing, dog? Y'all motherfuckers hey, don't got no rank in this chat, bitch. Drop hey, 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 listen. This is what I got to say, Pedicure Bay. First of all, hey. it, it shouldn't be no reason he typing my name when you're talking about his whole generation. Hey. Second of all, 
nigga, get the fuck up off my goddamn motherfucking jock, nigga. Goddamn, nigga. I don't need no lap sitter. You, you got enough lap to sit in besides then, dog. You worry about me. I'm not worrying about you. He done hurt your little feelings. Now you, now you over here. Oh, nanny, dog, nanny, dog. I, look, I'm sitting here re reading everything y'all saying. Hey, let, me that this, yes. let me ask him this. Do y'all ask Garland, did he set up any of them boys that still on these dog shows? Do y'all get in his chat and ask him that? Do y'all get in that ask Garland, did he set so-and-so up? All right, shut the fuck up and give me some dog fucking pedigrees. Not you, nanny. Not you, nanny. Them motherfuckers. Give me some dog pedigrees. Uh, well, say what you want to say, nanny, to them. Because <laughs> other than that, they, like I said, they don't mean hey, shit. Hey, hey, pedigree, man, I'm enjoying Listen, I'm enjoying myself. I ain't gonna lie to you. I knew it was going to be a bunch of haters in this chat. You know what I'm saying? But I see how you destroy the haters. So I can respect you on that, man. One thing about me, Cayman, <laughs> one thing about me, dog, I represent with my people, son. You ain't going to try to play my people out, if I, especially when I know they ain't fucking with certain things, motherfucker damn, at the end of the day. You know, that man tell you what lane, why he doing dogs. Y'all want to play him all kind of shit? I ain't let that shit go down, like I said, like I said. You ain't dropping no pedigrees. You ain't showing me. You ain't talking up here. Fuck what you're talking about, dog. Fuck what you're talking about, big dog. Now I stand on what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I can back it up, dog. What the fuck you want me to be fat, sloppy? What I got? What, 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 I keep telling y'all boys. Y'all act like the American way is to grow up and get fat. Y'all keep talking about how skinny I am, <laughs> man. What the fuck that mean? What the fuck I got to do with me handling my business? Run up on me and stop all that talking. You know, stop all that talking. Show me some pedigrees. Nah, dog, I keep it fair and unbiased. Y'all motherfuckers do a lot of capping and a lot of talking and ain't dropping no pedigrees, motherfucker. Y'all motherfuckers stop being fit, uh, being being biased, which y'all need to stop doing. You know, stop being biased. Listen, Cayman, if a brother get up here and call you a name and you on my channel or anything, you know, listen, dog, we talking about dogs. You know what I'm saying? We talking about dogs. For one, let the brothers who he's supposed to be did something to get up there and say that all that talking. Y'all you, you, talking pass me down talk. You know, we ain't here to talk pass me down talk. We here to talk horse's mouth talk. When I talk my dog talk, I give y'all horse's mouth shit. And that's what I want from y'all right now. Horse's mouth dog talk. You know, you're fucking right I'm asking about Garner. It don't matter who he snitched on. Do you ask him if he fucking snitched or not? It don't matter who he snitched on. Do you ask him if he fucking snitched? And do you make sure he got, you got his attention when you ask him that shit? This is what I ask you. No, you don't ask him that shit. You know why? Because you don't do the white brothers like that. Only, only Fat Bill, because he give y'all some black brothers the time of day. Other than that, y'all treat the white brothers in the dog game the same way the gang members treat all the other KKK members across the world. You never killed one, but you kill your own brothers every fucking day. The same fucking way. You only know how to tear down your own people, motherfucker. Like I told you, man. Y'all motherfuckers ain't dropped me no pedigrees yet. Period. 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 Guess what? I got blue dogs. So what? Jank on me. Jank on me. I got blue dogs. I got a, a boot bully in the backyard right now. You want me to show you the picture of him? Want me to show you the picture of my bully? Yeah, I'll show him to you. He ain't got no papers either. So what you got to say about it? What you got to say about it? <laughs> hey, hey, Nanny, though, you see how they quiet? Pussy ass motherfuckers ain't even dropping no pedigrees, ain't dropping no hey, nothing. Hey, you know what? I've been, listen, okay. I've been sitting here waiting on that because, you know, for a motherfucker always talking to me about that, to somebody in this can drop no one. About bulldogs. The motherfuckers ain't no different than Master of all Bulldogs. No, they, you know, they, you know, they, they listen. All bulldogs all of them in the same fucking boat. No, they are, listen. And I keep on saying this, and people go over it. Them all are his old fans until he went rolled on they dumb ass. All them niggas looked up to that motherfucker. All of them. That was their idol. Yeah. So why do you think I'm going to show some niggas who I know? Oh, go his ahead, idol. They was all his idol. Ain't no nigga in your check and say they wasn't his idol. Idol. They looked up to him because he was the one... Everything ain't a pit bull, and a hawk ain't a pit bull, and blue dogs ain't no pit bull. That's where they got their dumb ass knowledge from. Yeah. They say where the box That's dogs at. Them boys say where the box dogs at. I don't know who they're talking to, but I can post mine. I don't know what they talking about. When I, had, when I had them, when I had them, you know what I'm saying? When I had them, you know, came in. Them the kind of, hey, I don't know. 
Y'all all come from that investigative channel. Ain't no telling what y'all bought from over there. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling what y'all bought from over there. At the end of the day, you know, yeah, like, like Tony M say, fuck him or fuck that fat motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? We want to see some pedigrees from Cayman, Michael Schrader, and, and John Kramer. You know what I'm saying? Want to see some pedigrees. I got all night, boys. One thing I found out about y'all, you call y'all bluff, y'all can't produce. Buck City can't produce no stories for Michael Myers. Y'all can't produce nothing tonight. I done call your mama a bitch. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? Yeah, I got box dogs. I can say what the fuck I want to say, but I walk a different walk, dog. You know? That box I'm in ain't the same box you talking about. At the end of the day, boy, your dogs couldn't, hey, like I said, show me something, big homie. Show me something. I'm, a, I'm the biggest motherfucking thing since motherfucking um, Earl Tudor. Motherfucker. I'm the biggest thing since Maurice Carver. Prove me wrong, pussy. <laughs> Damn, you got them niggas over there, man. Now I know they at home cussing this shit. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> I, I guess what Nate all said the same thing to you. Fuck you niggas. Fuck you niggas. <laughs> Hey, he can't listen. Why y'all let him do y'all like that? Yeah, yeah. Let's say it. Why y'all let him do it like that? At least you could have jumped on the pedal, said at least four words or something. You sitting down in the chat, typing, typing and typing and typing. Not any dog. That's you how talk book, all that bullshit. That's how I'm not gonna be typing home, that. Man. I'm not gonna be typing that long. Fuck that. I I, I want to get mine out like back and forth. But you niggas willing to sit on the phone or computer and type. When you can come up here and hit that link and talk your stuff. That's the part you niggas don't like about me. Hey, I now, get up and I talk. Count money, Dang. count money, say out oh, here and your feelings don't incriminate. Man, y'all boys sound like goofies, man. Shut your bitch ass up, count money, man. <laughs> and your feelings incriminate. Man, listen, who incriminate what? We talking about history, big dog. We talking about history. Old school stuff. Anybody know me know I don't fuck around, dog? What you talking about? Hey, listen. What are you talking about incriminating, though? Y'all boys start talking all out sideways shit when the brother asks y'all to show this a little information that y'all even a bulldog. Okay. <laughs> you, might be, you might be a French bulldog breeder, ho. <laughs> Bitch, you might, be a bandog, breeder. you might be a band dog breeder, faggot. Chihuahua you know? breeder. <laughs> they got a little dog in their house right now named Chico. <laughs> or Burrito. Put that no chihuahua, put, put that chihuahua on your goddamn lap, nigga, and rub it. <laughs> you nigga, listen. You nigga, listen. Just imagine if both of us get on the same shit, nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm actually throwing sympathy for pussies because I know y'all pussies, but he killing the shit out of y'all. He's murdering y'all. He's talked so bad about y'all that make me, listen. If I don't got no game bread dog, as y'all said, I wouldn't want to buy no dog for no nigga a pussy. Cause guess what? That means your dog a pussy. They say that the man is behind the dog. And if you're a pussy, your dog gotta be pussy. How am I having your dog as a guard dog when you scared to fight a man? <laughs> hey, hey, man. You telling me, you telling me, Kevin, you want to hear what I gotta say so bad that you're willing to stay in the chat? No, listen, I don't even follow y'all Buck City. When y'all talk about me, somebody else gonna tell me that shit, dog. I don't give a fuck what, what y'all boys talking about. Why is you even still here? I just told you, you's a bitch. Your mama's a miss bitch. Your grandmama's an old bitch. Your great great grandmama's an old older bitch. So what? We'll leave, dog. You know, one thing about it, I, I ain't doing my show from a computer, dog. I'm doing my show from a microphone. <laughs> Get it right, big homie. Get it right, big homie. Hey, Cayman. I'm gonna call I'm gonna talk about Buck until you show me a pedigree, bitch. Until you show me a pedigree, I'm gonna talk about Buck. Yes, sir. I don't even believe you're a dog, man, Cayman. I wanna see you with some dogs. Get up here and talk about some dogs, talk about some old shit. I don't believe none of that shit. Until you do, 
Came a suspect, y'all. Yeah, came is suspect. K hey, look, came and got a little you rainbow popping out. He, he gonna take my name and they got y'all gotta start proving y'all dog man, man. Y'all stay in these chats, y'all stay in these chats trolling. Y'all try to troll until y'all get somebody saying something and then come with an indictment. Okay, take your ass back over to the buck channel, man. You might be thinking you're dealing with ignorance, boy. Show me a pedigree, show me something with a dog, bitch. You know, it just is what it is, man. Yeah, bro, I'm slow. You fucking right, I'm slow. Slow enough to catch y'all fuck ass when y'all trying to get get a motherfucker off his shit. You damn right, you suspect. Until you show me that you a dog man, bitch, and we talking all this dog damn knowledge for your fa your faggot ass. You damn right, you suspect. You suspect. All y'all boys suspect they be in my shit, and I and, they don't, and I don't know who he is. Paris Jackson, uh, uh, John Kramer, shit. Oh, your Michael Schrader, suspect. <laughs> you damn right I got box dogs. Whatever box dogs is, I got them. Whatever cur dogs is, I got them. Whatever bullshit dogs is, I got them. Whatever blue dogs is, I got them. I got all of them. I Come got on. blue dog. I got blue dog. <laughs> hey, 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 Cayman, I got pedigrees, though, bitch. I got pedigrees. Ah, yeah. <laughs> hey, how about this right here? Hey. If I drop a pedigree, why don't y'all all y'all leave if I drop a pedigree and y'all don't? Michael Cayman, John. And, and whoever the other motherfucker, all y'all leave out if I drop a pedigree, and I won't kick y'all out of nothing. Just leave for the night, <laughs> cause y'all ain't doing shit, dog. Now you tell my nigga you happy about JD Hall? Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, hey, me if you come up here, dog, I go get JD, and I go in the backyard and I turn my camera on and get with JD, and I do the rest of my show with JD in the in the video. If you just get up here and talk, dog, to show that you a real dog man, get up here and talk about your dogs. <laughs> How much JD cost you? It cost me your mama, pussy. How much have it cost me to shit on your grandma? That's how much it cost me. Yep. How much Meliella cost me? How much have it cost me to shit on your grandma, boy? Yep. 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 Yes, sir. Hey, hey, every day I, I pull out a bitch. I show y'all what a bitch look like. You get to see in their damn comments in that chat. Only bitches start going to talking about people family like that. The only time I go into y'all family when y'all fuck with me. Other than that, shit. I got dog. I got dog motherfucking credentials to put up, man. You ain't fucking with your average dogger. You fucking with a retired dogger. <laughs> Michael Schrader, what agent, agency you work for, dog? Michael Schrader, I might put you in my next book. Agent Schrader. Agent Schrader, Agent Cayman. Agent Schrader, Agent Cayman. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Agent John Kramer. Yeah, I might put y'all in my new book. <laughs> I put JD on a motherfucking milk carton, John Kramer said. No, you won't, John Kramer, till you show me you got some damn dogs. I won't compete against you in no event. Motherfucker, the fuck you talking about? Milk carton? You worrying about JD on the milk cart when I just told you I was shitting all the women in your family? Mouth. Y'all boys worrying about the wrong shit. That's how Buck City train you. The shit man train y'all to deal with shit and talk shit. <laughs> hey, I can't, I can't believe these niggas sitting here letting you dog. Michael Schrader, dog. dog. Listen here, dog. Listen here, Michael Schrader. Listen here. One thing PBK do, though, don't take well to threats. Do what you're going to do and stop talking about it. And like I said before, so you know that I'm serious? If you know anybody around my way, tell them to do it for you. Pussy. And I got to say that when I say it before I end it. Pussy. Tell them to do it for you, man. You know? Tell them to do it for you, dog. <laughs> Why is you niggas sit down in the chair letting him talk to y'all like that? Y'all straight make me look. Y'all look bad right about yeah, now. Agree, I ain't like I'm it. a man, nigga. Man, listen, dog. You said that like a bitch, dog. You said that. You you wait. I talk forty minutes, an hour worth of shit about your mama and talk about you a man. Man, shut your <laughs> man, man. Oh Lord, have mercy. No, I, I know he didn't say that way. <laughs> no, you're not, nigga. Because a man stand up for their household, their family. Milk card, milk card, man. Put a fucking pedigree up and shit all that nonsense y'all talking about. Oh man, this is funny. Talking about milk cards, y'all talking about police, y'all talking about all that shit, but ain't put everything up except the right shit. 
<laughs> Kaylin talk what? about everything but a pedigree and talking. Kaylin, Kay, Kay, got a pad between her motherfucking legs. She must be cramping. Or one of my listen. Did I hear your baby mama, or, or, or did I hear somebody in your family? Because you type my name like I hear somebody that you was in love with. It, listen, it, it ain't. It wasn't too good, so I threw it away. You might got my leftover. You and your boo sitting next to each other talking about me till I said she'll never get none of this good thing ever again in life. <laughs> hey yo, hey yo, John Kramer say a piece of shit car. Oh my goodness, we talking about dog men talking about cars and stuff now. <laughs> Y'all boys is really motherfucking coming now. Boy, I got y'all boy nothing now, boy. Y'all, is y'all wet? Is y'all wet? You gotta be. This motherfucker went from police to cars to talk about my family first before I say anything about y'all. You talking about mine? Talking about that? Man, get the hell out of here, man. What the hell? And y'all ain't showed me a pedigree yet? So y'all what you call trolls, right? Trolls with no credentials. That's what y'all is, right? Trolls with no credentials. I'm going to cap up off y'all night, though. I'm going to cap hey, up off might, Hey, we might be arguing with niggas who still live with their mamas. I don't even know if I'm, I'm arguing, arguing with a nigga with no pedigree. I know that shit. I know I I'm arguing with a nigga who live with his mama. I can, you niggas, that, I can last about all that shit because we on a dog channel. That's what I'm trying to tell them. We on a fucking dog channel. Show me a pedigree. Y'all steady knocking people, but y'all ain't showing nothing. Knocking, 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 but y'all ain't showing nothing. Knocking, 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 but y'all ain't showing nothing. Okay. So it's easier to type than to prove. You know, easy to type than to prove. That's why, that's why Nanny Dog do what the hell he do. That's why he don't want to explain to none of y'all whole ass niggas. Because half of y'all ain't got no dogs. Half of y'all ain't got no damn dogs. And I'm sitting here proving it now. You know? Proving it now. And I appreciate you proving it, because guess what? You see what, how I think about them niggas is. I don't even know these niggas. These niggas, I don't even know how long they been in the dog game. I don't even know if they real. All I see, all I'm sitting down there is talking stuff with niggas with ladders. Ladders. These niggas ain't even got a dog picture. Come on, bro. We argue with niggas who got... No picture, no dog. And talk about my dog. J John Kramer said, you ain't proving shit. Shut the fuck up. John Kramer, I prove I'm real. I'm talking to you. I ain't talking about a real person like is in real or fake. I'm talking about I'm real. I'm talking to you. I got a voice. Get up here and give some dog talk, you know? Give some dog talk. You know what I'm saying? Don't bring no pussy ass nigga like Buck City name up in my chat if you ain't gonna get up there and rep that shit. You, the one, brought, you the one brought that shit up, John. If I ain't mistaken. Why John ain't got a dog and he got his face? Because he was the same whole ass <laughs> motherfucker that they say was on the chat talking about me the other day in Buck City shit. And then and 24 hours before that, he was on my dick. You know, that bitch a mutt, man. He got all kind of come on his motherfucking face. Wait, man. wait, 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 wait. He was he was all on your team and in it, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These niggas, these niggas is two sided. These niggas is two sided. Not, not, now he want to, now he want to be your friend, but he, he was over in the chat talking stuff about you. Big Derrick James, Big Derrick James. We ain't worrying about how Max bread. We worrying about how them boys are talking shit. Dogs bread. You know, we done established all that. We done talked about Max for damn near two hours. Now we want to talk about them ones that's in the chat. That's what I'm talking about. We want to know about the one in the, the one in the picture is off the other dog that we was talking about. We want to know about them other shit. That man got more to show right now than the ones that's in that chat talking shit. You can see that man dog on his shit. And if that ain't his dog, that man says his dog, he up here talking for it. We ain't talking about no typing for it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, no, no. That's my dog. That's my dog. Everybody in the chat know that's my dog for real. That's my dog. Okay. Listen, man, y'all asking the wrong questions in the chat, man. Y'all asking the wrong stuff, dog. Y'all need to be asking Cayman, Michael, and all the rest of the boys to start posting some pictures, man. Because I got all fucking night, and I'm sitting here burning me a damn L of that good shit. And I don't, I just can't figure out why y'all keep fucking with Nanny, dog. 
I tell you, y'all. Hey, y'all John, don't... you no, no, John, you the pussy because you keep on calling me boo. So you the pussy. You can't call another man boo and then call him a pussy. You the pussy. You call me boo. P pussy. Women call they men boo. Pussy. Put your pad on, pussy. Call me a pussy, bro. You don't want to call me boo. Boo boo. That's what a woman call her nigga, pussy. You heard that, man? You heard what the hell that man said? You ain't going to do shit about it, and you ain't going to prove that you even got a damn dog. That's why it don't matter what that man say his word around this bitch. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no damn dogs. You just down in that damn chat capping. Capping like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You heard what that man said? Show me a pedigree. You know? Show me a damn pedigree. Alpha, Alpha, I mean, uh, what that motherfucking name is right there? Cayman. 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 You must don't understand English, big dog. I, I told you I don't type. I'm talking that shit to you. Why the fuck is y'all keep talking to Nanny when I'm the one doing the talking? I don't understand this shit. Y'all, y'all current, y'all going all around the subject. Why the fuck is y'all talking to this man when I'm the one doing the talking? I don't understand. Like, come on, man. They tucking their tails and going in the corner and wanna uh, trying to scratch at me when I ain't even in the motherfucker box. You in the box all by yourself. Mm. No, that's how it is, dog. That's why, like I said before. You got real dog men in that dog, that dog uh, thing, and they ain't gonna never talk to talk to you how these dog brothers be talking to you certain ways. A real dog man that been in the dog game, he gonna treat you. Oh no, you they respect me. You know no, what? It's gonna always be respect. You know what no, I'm saying? No, they do listen. That's why whole ass motherfuckers with no pedigrees them damn selves, with no dogs them damn selves. Probably got one or two bullshit ass mediocre, not fast lane dogs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not fast lane. You know that bullshit. You know that 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 that, that uh, bootleg. You know what I'm saying? Hey, dog. Nanny ain't answering no questions. See so y'all drop some answers, man. Yeah, I dropped the link, y'all. And when if a brother get up here and talk his dog thing, then you got the right to ask Nanny dog a question. If you, I, I will, I will take that. I will take that on. If you can do that, then we get to duck some business. Until then, you motherfuckers just go sit down there and hear us talk shit about you, dumb motherfucker. Because at the end of the day, he keep on asking, why y'all said my name? He talking to y'all. We're not, a, it's not about me. It's about him and you. He said he wanted to see something. Y'all wanted to see something me. He has y'all the same motherfucker thing and you motherfuckers don't want to do it. But then say, oh, he won't do it, but you're not doing it. So now you're playing father leader behind Nanny Dog, but you type in Nanny Dog name and I, I got more, I got more nests than you motherfucker do. I got my own channel. I don't give a damn what nobody say. I do me. I'm not under nobody. I, I am. Listen, I am the nanny dog movement. Movement. That mean me by myself. I got people under me, under me, and these people is not on the internet. I get respect from all older dog men because the way I take care of my dog and how I love my dog. That's all that matter. And then that you motherfuckers can never talk to half of the dog men I talk to. You motherfuckers ain't probably ain't never even talked to no motherfucker Marlin. Or nobody else. You motherfucker talk to motherfuckers anybody else can talk to. Talk to somebody as somebody. You heard what that man say? I, I, ain't, hey, I ain't trying to correct him. You heard what the hell that man said? You know what I'm saying? All I know y'all doing, I know that I'm typing down that motherfucker, man. You know, typing like a motherfucker. That, that link for anybody that want to get up here and talk. You know what I'm saying? But don't, don't get up here and talk if you don't want to get into your shit. I'm going to tell you now, I ain't going to wear the rest of the night. I got enough bud to smoke the rest of the night, bitch. We going to talk. You want to talk? Let's talk. Let me drop that link for y'all boys. Hold on. Let me drop that link for you. Drop, 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 that, drop that link again. Maybe they, they got lost. They probably going to find it this time. Drop it again for them. Because today y'all got today y'all got what the fuck y'all wanted. Y'all wanted to see me act a fool with you dumb motherfuckers. Well, guess what the killer part about the situation is? You motherfuckers got to hear what the fuck I got to say, you coward-ass niggas. All y'all do is just pick on people, and then y'all don't show no dog, no pedigree, no nothing, but y'all in the chat where about everybody else, and all this man asked for the same thing y'all asked me for. At least I got my dog on my on my picture, 
and I'm talking my shit. Y'all worry about me. Quit worrying about me. At the end of the day, I ain't never did shit to you, bitches. So what you bitches mad at me for? Why? Because I look better than y'all. Why? Because I take care of my dog better than y'all. Why? Because I got better money than y'all. Why? Because I give a fuck about something better than y'all do. Why? Because I got more knowledge than y'all. What the fuck is your smoke with me for, bitches? I ain't never got into it, you hoes, until you motherfucker keep on typing my name. So tell me, what's the smoke for, pussies? What's the smoke for, pussies? Hey, hey they, they always quiet, don't they? Always quiet. They always talk about shit that shit that don't matter, a shit that we ain't talking about. You know, one thing about it, brothers down in the chat, y'all boys is typing all that stuff. I don't know why you still typing it. You ain't gonna get through. You know, I'm I'm sad on what I said. If you ain't showing no pedigrees or you ain't getting up here talking, fuck what you talking about down in that chat, motherfucker. I don't respect no motherfucker typing out that bullshit. Get up here and stand behind what you say, bitch. Get up there and stand behind what you're talking about, man. <laughs> you just a fucking coward like the rest of the motherfuckers you get in the stories you in the back streets talking with. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Cayman say any nigga going live for six hours on a Monday can't be getting no paper. Cayman, Cayman, y'all brothers and sisters in the chat and listening to this damn show right here, listening to what I'm about to tell y'all how ignorant this Gen Z ass nigga is. You say I'm, I can't be getting money when my channel monetized. You in my fucking chat. You didn't make one fucking dime in my chat this whole fucking night. But you been here fucking with me the whole fucking night. So who made money, big dog? I'm making money right now as we speak. I'll be broke, dog, but I'm making money right now. You not. I'm making money right now. You not, fam. Hey, hey, you hurt, you hurt, you hurt feelings too, because you type three times in the last damn two seconds. Hey, guess what? Real bad. Hey, listen, boy, I can burn. Wish, listen, boy, I can burn six. You me. Came and say, boy, you wish you knew me. Listen, no. I can burn six. Pedic I can burn six hours. I get up. I get up tomorrow morning and make six hundred dollars. Hey, no, that's, that's a, about, that's by training, a, by training somebody. Listen, by training two, two dogs and one dog. I'm gonna so get what you talking about. My dog. I'm gonna get up tomorrow. Fuck my dog. It's got some full day's work I put in on it. On a motherfucker that can't prove shit, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I can get up, I get up, I can get up anytime tomorrow and make some money. At the end of the day, I own my own business, sir. You talk a person that own his own home. So when you talk about this, do I beat? Listen, if I want to enjoy myself, cause some clowns in the chat wanted to talk about me and my dogs, then I can burn some time because guess what? Hey, no, listen here, dog. <laughs> Who the clown? You the one in the chat, dog. It don't take you nothing to exit. <laughs> you never see me in Buck City shit. I don't fuck with that nigga. I ain't, I ain't fronting like I do. You don't see me in that shit. Not to even hear what he got to say about me. I don't give a fuck. One of my homeboys will tell me. Somebody will tell me. One of the boys who want to keep shit going will tell me. You know? Now I came and said, I don't own my own place and all this. Came and show me a bulldog, came <laughs> Y'all boys do all that talking. Y'all go all around the bushes. But none of that hey, shit. Hey, 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 if, if if they talk, listen, if they talking to me, guess what? If you can bring the information in this chat, then you dumb motherfuckers was around long enough to see me when I show my house. Listen, everything I speak about is on the internet. You motherfuckers dox me and I show shit. So okay. don't say okay. I don't own my okay. own home okay. because it's on my channel. Go okay. to my channel and see I bought a house as is and fix that bitch up. Let's go there. My business was already put out. That's how my number being played on. So. At the end of the day, you know one point, but you don't know the point about that. I'm doing good, and you pussy that nigga trying to get where I'm at. Y'all bring dogs to make income. I don't have to breed a dog to make hey, no income. Hey, hold up, hey, hold up, nanny. Kevin, I got a homeboy that do real estate. This a dog channel, whole ass nigga. <laughs> this a dog channel, boy. You want to talk about houses and all that? Go to that channel. Go holler at my homeboy. He do he can do all that on his channel. You know what I'm saying? How, how come you still type it, Kevin? You you doing you doing like Supreme did the other night. You got all the comments down at the bottom. The boys can't even type in now, dog. The boys can't even type in, dog. You was a faggot. You know it, dog. <laughs> and it makes you mad. It makes you mad. Let me see who I got here. I hope it's one of these boys, man. I hope it's one of these. Let me see. It's, it's disconnected. It's disconnected. It ain't. It ain't. You ain't connected, dog. It, it say you. It say you ain't connected. So that's on your end, cause everybody that tonight that came in, they was able to get in. So I'm going to drop that link one more time, dog. 
The link might be old. I'm going to drop the link one more time, and you try to get in on that link. Maybe that's what's wrong, you know? I'm going to drop that link one more time. No, it ain't the link. It's his device. His device not connected all Listen the way. Okay, man. Okay, man, you say, nigga don't fuck with me, but you in my chat for four hours. It don't matter who fuck with me, long as I know you do, man. Long as I know you fuck with me, came and I'm cool with that, big dog. I'm cool with that. And I, you fuck with me, dog, because you've been here for five hours. <laughs> I got your mind, boy. I whipped your brain, boy. I got your, I got your, I got your, boy, if you was a bitch, you'd be on my track, like I said. I got you right now, dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. Listen, don't worry about it. Listen, dog. Don't worry about it. He's sitting here, he's sitting here watching both of us listen to us. What kind of nigga sit there and listen to us and won't hit the panel and talk back and forth to us? Man, a nigga, a nigga who's sitting down in the in the chat blush you like a bitch. Nigga, take your pad off, nigga. Put your boxes back on, bitch. We niggas. You up here keep on typing my name, goddamn nigga. Do you know anything? Know how to spell anything besides my motherfucking name, bro? You type my name more than my you say it, type my name more than my bitch do. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with you yeah, clown no. ass niggas? <laughs> Came and say, listen. Came and say, listen. Came and we we listening, but we waiting. I just dropped a link. Don't you see it going up the chat? You know, hey, low low mountain, low man, come on in. Turn your mic on and come on in. I'm inviting everybody tonight. We want to talk bulldog talk. You know, if you ask nanny dog a question, you gotta validate your fucking background. To Ooh. me. Damn it, because I've been in the dog game for a long damn time. And tonight I'm holding court. You want to talk to Nanny Dog? You got to validate, motherfucker. You got pit bulls. You got some. You know what I'm saying? Got to gotta validate something. You ain't getting up here asking that man about shit if you ain't got no damn dogs. And right now we established Cayman ain't got shit. Michael Strader is a talker. John Kramer is a wannabe bouncing from click to click, dick to dick. You know what I'm saying? It is, it is what it is. We got our own bulldogs over here, big dog. We've been doing that shit over here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them real South Carolina folk. You know? I don't know what y'all used to. You know what I'm saying? Keep bringing Thompson name up, man. Take that fake shit on up to New York, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Cayman ain't showed me, talked to me about shit yet, man. Cayman, I'm starting to believe you the whole like I said you was an hour ago, dog. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Nigga can't tell me he gonna shit in my damn mama, mama mouth and hey, I don't get up here and talk for myself. Hey, Y'all, listen. I, I will shit, runny shit in your mama, in your grandmama mouth, boy. God Diarrhea. Damn. Diarrhea in her fucking mouth, son. Hey, you could, listen. No. We be, me and you be back no, up. Why I want to worry with... about fighting, Cayman? Why I need to hey, worry about I... fighting? When I got you mad as a damn, mad as a motherfucking damn <laughs> boy, look at you. you mad, boy. Why I need to worry boy, about fighting? Boy, if you would have said that to me, you would have had to kick me off your pedal because I'd have been calling you or everything other than the sun trying to figure out how to hurt your feelings. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> you, listen, I ain't gonna lie to you. I stand up for my dog, but shit, the people you just talk about his family. Oh, no, I, this, no, this I'm dog with 25 years old. What the fuck? I'm a grown man. I ain't I ain't round walking around with a grown ass man talking about a crip. Bitch, I'm a grown ass man. What the hell I look like fighting? Hit me and can't and can't fucking handle your business as well. I'm telling you though, know. you know what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, dog, what I look like bragging about? Can I fight or can I can't fight? I'm bitch. I'm a grown man. I can't help you. Ain't got no dogs, man. I can't help you. Ain't got no dogs. Man, now we talking. Came and told him all I can't read. Came in, came in, came in, came in. Come on, big homie. Drop me something. I'm stuttering. I'm saying all kind of I'm talking over my words. I got the baddest blue motherfucking pit in America, came in. You's a pussy and you ain't got shit the motherfucking damn out motherfucking competing in no level. Like I said before, you're off a generation of pussies. Low man don't got to do nothing but turn on his mic. He welcome to get up here. At least you tried. Came in them and didn't even try. Some old cowards. Cowards, cowards, cowards. 
talking about I'm on the damn chat for five hours. Bitch, I'm getting paid every damn hey, second. Hey, but li listen, you on the chat on your channel. He's in your, oh, he's in channel. your, listen, this, oh, this about it. we up on, listen. On the East Coast, if this bitch on the East Coast, it's about to be three o'clock and motherfucking damn, this bitch ain't got a dime and he in my motherfucking chat. Hey, oh, hey, but this kill for about here. Talking, calling this me all corny. started. Call me corny. This, <laughs> this all started because some bitches down in the chat got in their feelings. Pussy, dog. I'm they got mad because you was doing what you do on your channel. They got mad and then they flipped the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, I watched how it went. You showed that the man with the dog and the, 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 the sheriff and then whatever the fuck they is. That's how I know these motherfuckers flipped out. You know why they flipped out? Because they knew they were some horrible motherfuckers. That's what happened. You horrible trash mother. You motherfucker. I wouldn't even say you bitches a dog. You know I would say y'all dog because y'all motherfuckers ain't niggas that need a dog. You motherfucker need them. You motherfucker don't need a dog like y'all need a brain. You need a brain before you get a hey, dog. Listen, low man, if you talking about getting up here and asking any dog something, nah, big dog. Nah, big dog. Y'all gotta show me some dog shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta talk some dog shit. We on a fucking dog channel, dog. Do y'all understand that shit? Why the fuck is y'all on a dog channel talking about everything but a dog? If you want to talk to Danny, dog, show me some shit before you get on my channel tonight. This ain't that channel, dog. Go on Buck City with them, lo them little fucking views, them little fucking likes and all that other shit, dog. Go on all that other shit, fam. You know? This ain't that one, big dog. Go to that shit. You know what I'm saying? We want to see some pedigrees up this bitch. All we want to oh, talk oh. about. If you don't want to put a pedigree... When I drop the link, get up here and talk about your dogs. Talk about how you represent Buck City. Other than that, what y'all got to talk about, dog? Y'all more worried about something that y'all ain't supposed to be worried about. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this right here, uh, low man. Do you know Cayman, low man? Do you want to vouch for Cayman, low man? Then you get up here and you vouch for him. You say you know that motherfucker and you vouch for him. So if anything go wrong with that motherfucker, it's on you, low man. Do you want to vouch for Cayman, low man? Let me answer that question. Yes or fucking no, big dog. If you want to vouch for him, you get up here, you know, and do your thing. Man, I don't give a fuck what your name is, dog. I just told you I shit in everybody in your fucking family. Mo, you think I give a fuck what your name is? No, I don't understand y'all, man. Y'all boys cowards and weak, man. <laughs> I'm doing everything I can to get you on the line, man. Damn. Your dogs ain't shit. You ain't shit. Okay, man, you don't got to believe me, dog. You, you think I believe you? You just stay in my chat for a whole fucking four hours talking shit. I don't believe. I'm talking shit you don't believe, but I'm getting paid to do it. <laughs> you tell me who won. <laughs> I see them, they run. <laughs> dog, you dealing with a whole different folk, fam. Where you want me to go? We about to hit the six hour mark. We about to hit the six hour mark right in a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? And I still ain't got a pedigree yet. I'm dealing with anybody that be on that Buck City channel, y'all boys not used to showing shit. Y'all used to talking shit without showing it. Dog, this is a new era, dog. This ain't back in the days when Master of All Bulldogs was on his channel, Buck was on his channel, Thompson was on his. <laughs> nah, dog. These different dog men. Came and say, broke ass nigga, you needed me to continue this live. <laughs> Cayman, take your broke ass and go to sleep then, bitch. Go to sleep then, bitch, and think about all that shit out of the shit in your damn mama and grandmama mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas is soft. Y'all just let this man talk about y'all whole generation. You motherfuckers, man. Fuck them What about man. a dog? They were, <laughs> listen, they won't even talk about the dog. They won't even do nothing but sit there and just type. Typing this for... Man, look, y'all talking about we ain't got shit to do tomorrow. Y'all need to go to somebody motherfucker hey, job call my, job places and put in to be a secretary. Much typing you motherfuckers did. You motherfuckers need to be a secretary. My my dog Tony M say what we smoking on over here. Hey, hey, we smoking no, on pussies. We, sm we smoking on pussies down in the chat. <laughs> they got the right one tonight, though. One thing about it, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna clown my none of my folk and try to make them look all kind of ways. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, you know, the man don't be in the game dog world like that. The man do his training and stuff. But y'all want to talk about, oh, now you call it this kind of lover and that and this and that. But y'all ain't show me no dogs yet. 
Here goes somebody up here. You know, what's happening with your big dog? Oh, he gone. <laughs> he gone. That was the fastest box jump I ever seen. <laughs> Maybe something went wrong with his device. Give him time one to come back. We never talk. One thing about it, I tell all y'all, you know, it's disappointing me. I ain't seen the ones that are down there in that chat jumping up here. Came in, Michael Schrader, John Kramer. Let Buck see go live. Them bitches be up that motherfucker talking like a motherfucker. Yeah, I, I, I clear I don't be on it. So if I've been on Buck live and heard him talking, I'll be all right. These motherfuckers been in the chat for three years. Oh, oh, tom oh tomorrow oh, they, they, tomorrow they cut your ass. Be up in the morning, but guess what? Kill for about it. I keep them you up. Only, only time you gonna be able to ask me, only way you gonna be able to ask me a question, either hey. this channel right now or come on my panel. Buckets started. You're three not hours. gonna never get a question out of me. Buckets now you gotta come up. They'll be on Buck channel in three hours because he start at six o'clock Eastern. Talking about oh, good. yeah, they're gonna be able to talk. Look, they're gonna be able to talk they shit in the chat about they ain't guess what? They ain't gonna go I won't sleep. be that listen, I won't be there to read what the fuck you say. So I don't give a fuck because <laughs> guess what? At last time, listen, last time you motherfucker bought me off off, off Buck Channel, I was through with Buck Channel. Oh, hey, I don't play them, hey, I don't play them little boy games y'all play. I'm a grown ass man. If you motherfucker gonna be rude to me, I ain't gotta be in that motherfucker room. Oh, so guess what the kill poor body is. You'll never be able to talk to me in the chat list. Is this chat or or my channel? I'm never gonna buck shit again. I want to buck, buck panel or his chat. So fuck all you motherfuckers that had something to say, bitch. You finally got to know the truth. I'm not coming over that motherfucker again. I'm not wanted. I don't go nowhere where I'm not wanted, pussies. And you motherfuckers come with y'all not wanted that. Hey, all you gotta do, all you gotta do, nanny dog, is ask him why y'all ain't seen that the Pelican Bay that time. Y'all want to jump on anytime they ever fuck with you again. All you got to do is say, why y'all ain't seen nothing the Pelican Bay? Why y'all ain't get up in there? The man dropped the links for you. The man dropped the links. All they hey, listen. I be wanting to, hey, hey, on some real tight stuff, I just said you dropped the link for a lot of them hard, probably hardcore motherfuckers. A lot of them. When you, listen, when we had to discuss about the dogs, I still stood up here when you fooled your purpose and said, well, I don't know nothing about it. I ain't never heard nothing about it. When you found out the information, everything you said, I stood on my no matter good or bad. They can't even do that, Pelican Bay. Let's be real. What have you seen one of them motherfuckers do what I do? None hey, of them. Now, they, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Low man say he 51, got over 35 in the game. So let me ask you this, low man. You can get on. I told you you can get on. But where where, where do you feel like we said something wrong at? I don't give a damn how long you've been in the game. I don't give a damn if you you be fucking 70 years old. If you ain't showing your pedigrees, you ain't getting up here asking nobody about shit. I know 51-year-old motherfuckers who only been in the dog game two years. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't talking about your dog, you ain't asking that man shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn about what you would, how long you been in the game or none of that. You know? Show your shit is what I'm talking about. And then we can talk a little further. Other than that, other than that, the, the opinions don't matter, dog. Opinions don't matter. This ain't a night of, oh, age matter. This a night of show your shit. I don't give a fuck if you 90 years old. Show your motherfucking shit. We trying to see who bulldog is who ain't. We tired of motherfuckers. Oh, I've been in the dog game 30 years. I've been in the dog game 40 years. It ain't show a fucking dog in three or four years in these chats, man. Take that shit somewhere else, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all that shit. Fuck all that. Shit. You better go keep that shit with Buck City, James Elma Givens. <laughs> hey, you see, I be yelling in it. That's my shit, though. Uh, uh, okay. This hey, is my shit, hey, though. hey, say that. Say, the way you said that nigga name just made me die inside. Nigga, I'm still here on mute. Like, what the fuck? He just. <laughs> just... Hey, we gonna do a nine one one reenactment on that pussy ass nigga. I'm gonna get. We gonna. I'm gonna get somebody to act like the man flying the drone. And I'm going to get back there and reenact me like I'm shooting pellet guns and all that shit. And motherfucking them getting caught up and all that shit like that and this and that and all that. Man, listen here, man. They don't want to, they don't want to, listen, they don't want to play, they don't want to play, they don't want to play the game. They talk all this shit about me, but they don't want me to go mind trying to get my opinion to none of this shit that went on with that situation or nobody else. So they need to leave me the fuck alone because I'm trying to be nice. But I'm the worst one to put, to, to do it because I die sick. I dissect so motherfucker hard. It make you motherfucker think about what the fuck y'all put yourself in. Why y'all talking about what I am? Shit, okay. 
Low man, I didn't get the pedigrees. Where you sent them to? I didn't see no pair. I'm only reading the chat. If you sent it to the um, messages, I mean, um, to the um, comments, I ain't. Re I mean, I'm not in the comments. I'm only in the chat. I, I ain't seeing it in the chat. I was looking. I'm looking. Hey, 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 hear me. All I'll say, dog, one thing about him, I know you rock with all sides. You know what I'm saying? I'll, hey, I'll tell you, dog, I ain't mad at you because you, you, you know, it is what it is. But them boys be always talking that bullshit and they ain't showing shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? They ain't showing nothing. That, we tired of that shit. We ain't going to go too many more. We ain't going too much longer. I don't give a damn about kicking out my chat. Ain't nothing but one or two people. Fuck you. Go over there to Buck City and tell them what I'm over here talking about. Make another page and come back and watch. If you can't stay out my chat six hours, bitch, I know you're going to be watching me tomorrow in the next damn day. I'm talking about when you're talking shit. Salute to my brothers that rocking with me. Salute to everybody that's been rocking all night. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to drop down on them comments. Don't forget that Summer Ride got that digital dog show coming. Don't forget Down South Bottom got that digital dog show coming. Don't forget that we got four or five brothers down in the chat that talk a lot of shit and they ain't dropping no dog information. As far as we know, they could be agents. We know they like Buck City. We know Buck City channel under investigation. As far as they know, as far as we know, them bitches can be agents. Damn all that shit they talking about. You know what I'm saying? I want to see some motherfucking proof that y'all even got damn, damn dogs. Every five minutes, you want to talk about Pelican Bay Molly Wise. Pelican Bay this, this and that, and this and that. Man, listen, man, stop detouring and going all these other different directions. And let's keep it hunted. Show some fucking dogs, man. I'm demanding that shit. <laughs> uh, hey, it is what it is, man. Low man, man, you might need to come in on another night when we're just talking about bloodlines and stuff. Because right now we need them brothers that's down in that chat to show they damn dogs. You know what I'm saying? Came in down there talking about you about something about nanny dogs. But like I said before. Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to told on, don't forget Tom going to told on the motherfucker and y'all running to that damn chat talking about listen talking about that and scared to open your fucking mouth right hey hey listen <laughs> this up, is about K K K Kayla listen with K Kayla I'm gonna call it Kayla we're not gonna call that pussy by a male name that motherfucker I ain't never got into that motherfucker I don't even know who that motherfucker is so at the end of the day guess what that motherfucker got smoked me because he's a bitch. And because I'm more man than he'll ever be, I hit panels and I and I stand up for myself in a breed of dog of a color of a dog that I like. This bitch can't even stand up for his mama, his daddy, or his fucking dog. So we're gonna know a bitch ass nigga who ain't got shit going on in his life, but worry about me, nanny dog. Nigga, listen, I I am what you wanna be. I'm what your lady get wet for. I'm I'm what your bloodline need in your your real life. And my dog might be what your bloodline need, pussy. Why you worrying about me, my dog, and anything else, pussy ass nigga? You ain't never had a quality dog like mine, bitch. I can make the dog sit down and bite you at the same motherfucking time, pussy. I can make this motherfucker do backflip as I want him to do it. So at the end of your schooling ain't even shit a prayer to me, bitch. I conditioned the dog to show you, motherfucker, that I got condition better than you motherfuckers ever walk or talk it. You better realize that the man behind the dog, no matter what you think about it, I'm cold. Cold. You and niggas like can't said, do half of the shit I do. Like I said, you know, you want to be a com a comedian, go to the comedy show. We talking dogs tonight, right? You know, I can't help. You all ain't got no pedigrees and it's sounding funny because you ain't got shit to back up your talk. And all y'all do is all y'all do is text. You know what I'm saying? Low man, man. At the end of the day, you know, like I said, you could jump up here on another night. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we're just trying to figure out some things. You know, if you just want to talk about your dogs or whatever, if you ain't got no questions to ask Nanny, dog, you know, I didn't see you down there talking no shit. Now I came and said he going to buy somebody out their house. Man, these boys is hoes and, pr like, boy, look here. 
Cayman, is you a crack baby boy? Hey, 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 listen. He can't buy Miles for that price. Miles ain't even Miles worth more than that. <laughs> what you gonna what, 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 what you do? Buy, 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 buy a piece of the motherfucking concrete? I don't know what's wrong with this, this boy, man. I don't know what's wrong with him. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening, man? I lost service earlier, boss, man. Ain't too much, man. What's going on with you? I can't call it, man. Listening to this bullshit. These niggas, man. These bot ass niggas talking this shit. Hey, that's how it is, dog. That's how it is. Uh, the brother down in the chat say, BBK, you can't fight. Leave it at that. No. <laughs> what, what, what can I prove by saying I can fight? Man, this shit you crazy. You don't prove nothing by saying they can fight. They prove by fighting. Only way you can fight if you get fucked with. You ain't fucked with me. Why the hell I need to talk about fighting? <laughs> these niggas ain't, know, these, these, these niggas ain't grow up fighting, man. These niggas, these niggas can't fight themselves, man. These niggas losing battles in life, man. Yeah, man. Fight, man. These niggas bots, man. They ain't down do dogs and what man. I'm trying to figure out is, what I'm trying to figure out is how all them boys talking about trying to try to uh, talking about a snitch or talking about this or talking about that. Why y'all don't mention this stuff to Tom Garner? Why y'all don't mention it to Tom Garner? Mm, 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 mm. Y'all pussy, man. Cause y'all pussy. Mm, 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 mm. That's why we treat y'all the way we treat y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey man, shout shout out to Pelican Bay, man. Shout out to Nanny Dog, man. Shout out to you too, sir. Already, man. Already, man. Hey, hey I like I like that dog on your on your profile. Oh, oh yeah. How old is that dog? She uh she three, man. She just turned three, man. She a nice little bitch of mine, man. She um she a she Kobe Weirjack. She a Kobe Weirjack dog. She is. I like the way her body looks. She got a good phenotype. I ain't gonna lie to you. Bro. Yeah, I try to, I try to, I try to keep, I try to keep her in shape and try to keep her right, man. I don't, I don't want to put get her too heavy, and you know what I'm saying. I like to keep her nice and lean. A lot of work with that bitch, man. Oh, I know. Listen, I oh, I listen. I I know. I mean, like you, like with my dog, out that look that you see, I'm putting the weight back on the dog. It was just to show people that I can condition that dog to look like. They show a little ribs. I don't like that look. I ain't lying to you. I like I like it to be heavy because shit. If something big run up on it, it ain't gonna get tossed around. You gotta you gotta have to really have to pull this mug off the ground with some weight. Yeah, weight, you know weight, look, weight, weight distribution. That's called weight distribution right there. When you get when you get a big motherfucker like that and know how to and and, and you keeping him right and tight, that motherfucker bad motherfucker. If you know how to use that weight. Kevin say keep talking about going shit you can't prove. <laughs> yeah, man, get the fuck out of here, yo whole ass man. No, I mean, I mean, yeah, like, like my yeah, I'm hostile little man. You know why I'm hostile? Because we got folk in the chat that ask brothers and try to try to down bro. Yeah, like, like the dog, like the like my dog. Uh, yeah, well, like my uh, like and like I said before, I got old men that can back me up. Credentials that can back me up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is what it is. Fuck Cayman. Fuck Garner. Fuck all the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the damn day. Listen here, dog. We can prove all of them. Shit. I, I, this is a dog channel. At the end of the day, I even tell you about Garner. I ain't here to talk about what Garner did in his personal life. You know, what Garner did was in the dog game. Mm -hmm. Y'all brothers worrying about, oh, oh, oh. Why you worrying about it for when you ain't even showed me no dog yet? You shouldn't they, be worrying about something when you ain't even in the dog game, dog. They ain't, they ain't got no dogs to show you, man. They don't, they don't breed them. They, they, don't, they don't even know how to read a pedigree, man. They, they, they can't show me no dog. <laughs> These niggas can't even read a pedigree, man. They can't read a pedigree. You let, alone, let, let alone have a pedigree, let alone even breed a line of dogs to even know what they looking for, or even to see what they trying to see or get out what they getting out of the dogs. Man, they can't do that, man. These niggas bots. Hey, low man, man, hit me up on the on the Facebook or hit me up because I I think you got some good dog talking. We gonna talk about it, but it's kind of bad time right now because we on the ass end. 
You know what I'm saying? And we on the ass end of a of a of a, a finish. You know what I'm saying? We on the ass end of a finishing. So you know what I'm saying? We gonna get me and you will get linked up on another one and do something else where we can just talk about that. But right now, you know, it just is what it is, dog. So what kind of dog food you feed your dogs? I mean, feed her. You said, what do I feed my dogs? Yeah, like what what kind of, if you do feed a kibble, what kind of kibble you running with? Um, It'd be, man, see, I do a lot of experimenting, man. You know, I be trying, I, not too often, but, but you know, I, I, either, I either fuck with the diamond. You know, I mix it in with a little rice. I put a little rice up in there, put a little raw in there. You know, make sure they get all they you know they nutrients and everything they need. But when it comes to kibble, man, I I usually try different things, man, to see because you get different results from everything. Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a diamond I'm a diamond I'm a diamond patient. Like I do the mix with the perina and the diamond. You know what I'm saying? So I do a mix of it because I just right. like the way I like the way the the bow movement come off of it. Like it's it's yeah. very solid and 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 good. You know, easy to pick up. It ain't all loose and all that it you know so that's my diet the diamond and the perina mixed together yeah that 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 diamond that'll definitely do it for you man well you know you know whatever works for you though if it works for your dogs then shit you know what i'm saying why not what the hell why you feel me if it ain't broke you know if it don't fix it you know what i'm saying hey listen them dog them dogs come out healthy energized they get wet like i so i take my dogs from make them solid so that means if they 60 pounds, they can look they they look 45 pounds being solid. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. You know, I, you know, I walk my dogs every day. You know what I'm saying? I walk them every day. And that's just my goal. Like I feed them good and walk them. And, and like I condition them on, on a full diet. Like I don't cut food out. Like if I'm gonna condition my dog for like when I did that just to show people, I didn't take no diet, I didn't take no uh scoop out of a couple pieces of kibble out. I'm like, we got just got to work a little harder than what we usually work. You know what I'm saying? Look, that's how you keep that. That's how you keep them powerful, too, though. You ain't taking too much away from you. Put them on that feed and you work them on that feed. That's how you keep them with that power instead of instead of instead of bringing them down and, and, and decreasing the feed. You know what I'm saying? And not working them on this feed. So that's how that's how you keep them motherfucking strong and powerful with, with that. With, with the with the weight and the end is going to look good. Everything going to be evened out. Everything going to be right. Especially if you're doing the right shit with your dog. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, I I know that. Like that, I've been doing it. It's you know, working with these dogs for many years. Like that's my specialty. Like I don't give a damn or nothing if the I want if a dog I buy as a puppy that motherfucker lazy, it's got to go because you got to be able to walk some miles and you know what I'm saying do some running and some play with some rope and work work yourself out. You know what I'm saying because. These are energized. It, when you know about these dogs, they energized dogs. If you get a dog that's not energized, then something ain't right about that because they got high energy. Damn sure got to come with some energy. Got to show me something. You ain't trying to do nothing, you lazy motherfucker. You got to hit the road, man. Got to hit the road. Yeah. Or it all it, it depends on what you're using them for, though. It all depends on what you want with them, what you're looking for out the dog, though. Then you might you might need your lazy motherfucker sit in the house and don't you know what I'm saying sit on the couch all day or no, them up, up, them up, mm, them up, listen if you if you don't work them bus you they 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 get big you know what I'm saying because they got the genetic genes to get big so you gotta burn you gotta burn calories out of off of them or you want to stop lower their diet down I feel like the more more healthy is like when they hit winter time it is not hard for my dog to survive the winter. You know right. how people gotta hurry up, put that weight on their dog for the winter. Mm -hmm. The thicker they is, they can handle that. They they body more. You know what I'm saying? The smaller they is, that's why a lot of people lose their dog because they it wasn't big enough to handle the winter. You're killing that shit. Hell, yeah, you don't even know because they. You know what I'm saying? Because they they lack the knowledge of that, man. You know it's really just common sense when it comes to these dogs, for real, for real, man. And a lot of motherfuckers just, you know what I'm saying? They just they just don't want to take them necessary steps and. And, and, and don't even know what they looking for. Like they just got dogs. Don't even know what they looking for. Don't even know, know what the dog. You know what I'm saying? Don't know what the dog need. How, none of that shit, man. They just be having dogs. So you damn sure right though, man. You definitely, you feel me? When you when you when you when you um you put that that winter weight on them. You put that winter weight. If you got, you don't need to put much on them for the winter already. Nope. Then you know you're doing something. But a lot right. of people, but you know, a lot of people have to throw a whole bunch on them for the winter. Us right, like people saying. like me, I only got to throw just a little bit on them, you know, a pound or two more. 
Cause right. I weigh my, cause I keep up my dog. Like a lot of people don't know this. I keep up my, my dog weighted. I got a skill to weigh my dogs. I keep up right. their weight so I can know how much, like, cause if my dogs get sick, I'm going to ahead in time. Like, Oh, you done lost like five pounds. You ain't even did nothing. You feel right. something ain't right. Right. Something ain't right. Yeah. yeah. Damn. You so right. definitely got to keep that skill handy. Definitely. Oh, you did. You definitely do. Cause if you don't, you won't know. Cause you, you know, some, some dogs, Burnt like lose weight so quick that by the time you catch up with it, you seeing some rib cages. I'm trying yeah. to catch mine before the rib rib cages come out. I deworm them and I and I make sure that they got no no fleas and then I try to make sure my dog is good because if then they like I can do heart tests on my dog. They got to get a heart test because you know they be talking about some heart worms. I ain't trying to have no dog worms come out the dog chest and kill it. When you know what I'm saying, so I I test my dog for heart worms. Yeah, hell yeah, got to, got to, got to, got to keep up to date on every on on their on they, on they internal health, cause you know what I'm saying that that's when you're gonna get the best performers when they internal health all the way together and everything lining up. Yeah, you gotta get all that shit out, all them worms, all that. That should have killed they. That should have killed they motherfucking ass quick. Quick. Yeah, and I don't, I don't, I don't like I don't add, I don't add like like all that up like PBA and certain things to their diet. I don't knock them, but I don't, I, don't, I just let the kill boost. I just let the kibble and my, then I got a little, little something I add to it. You know, they food every blue moon. You know what I'm saying? They help them pick up a little weight, but I ain't going to tell that secret, but I got <laughs> I got a little something, something that I you know, add to their food. You know what I'm saying? And it, it help out, but. See, I like to keep, I like to keep my dogs nice and lean. Like I like to keep them lean with a, with a nice, with a nice, with, with some nice muscle mass on them, just enough to where I'm not taking away their mobility, their agility, but just enough muscle. Cause you put too much muscle on a dog, get to change the way they move. They get to moving different and they get, to, you know what I'm saying? So I like to keep my dogs nice and fit. You know what I'm saying? I like to I, see. I got the, I got the game shit, so I like to keep them ribs showing a little bit, man. That's what that's what the older dog man told me. He said, man, he said, man, I like to keep I like to keep my dog's ribs showing a little bit. That, keep from keep them motherfuckers active. That don't mean your dog is, is is malnourished. You know what I'm saying? It just means this an active motherfucker with a high metabolism, and you keep you got to that feed. It's just some dogs are just genetically in them. They some don't gain that much weight, no matter how much you feed that motherfucker. Some don't gain weight at all. Yeah, yeah, I'd have had dogs like that, but I, I, I just like you know, I don't like that 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 little shoulder rib because I be feel like you know what I'm saying the way my state is and how they you know, I be like I just be on the safe side, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I got a lot of people on YouTube that hate on me, and I don't I be that's why I'm putting the weight right back on my dog because I don't want the people come and say I'm conditioning my dog for nothing besides you know what I'm saying I want my dog to look the regular way. I don't have no problem. I take my dog out of public. You know, people like the way he look. And and he's not like in real life, he, he's not, he don't look so big. He just his body just tight. Like it's it's just tight, like it's solid. And I, I get compliments everywhere I take him. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a lot of people that want to breed with him, but it's like I'm not I'm I'm not I'm gonna I'm not ready to breed him. And if I'm a bred on breed outside my own yard, because I know the the traits and everything about him and how you know, you know I, mean, I gotta dog. make sure you say what sir I said you know you know your shit you know your dog so oh, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. listen I I study my dogs from when they I like getting them as puppies and I study them I do all kind of things to see like because I got kids so I gotta make sure these dogs you know what I'm saying good enough be around the kids that they understand my shoes I ain't Ain't no toy, you know what I'm saying? I I break them and I'm training them at the same time from things that will be a no no. So by the time they hit six months, it's already and from from eight weeks to six months, it's schooling and see if they can stay on the camp. Cause at six months, I still can sell off to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? How you, so how, how you how you how you get into dogs when you first start fucking with the dogs? How you get in, how you get introduced to the dog game? Uh, the APBT and nineteen in in uh. Nine in ninety, like ninety one, ninety two. Mm. My, my 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 uncle, my uncle was one of them guys who he didn't have APBTs if they weren't if they weren't gonna go uh run the race. Mm -hmm. And I did, and I liked it the dog, but you know one dog I had seen, he was he was real like ate up. Like ate up, and I was I was as monk like why he why what happened to him and he told me I was like man you should let me have that dog 
He like, bro, you can have this dog. I was like, man, I don't want him to do that no more. And he was like, that's just part of it. And I said, when I get into it, I'm be the opposite of him. And, and to this day, I'm the opposite of him. Because mm -hmm. I see how smart them dogs was. Like, I was a kid. They didn't do nothing. But we, I go in the backyard and they sit there and they let me pet them and, I, and all that. They was very smart. I can tell they was smart. How they hopped over the chain. How they didn't do, you know, they knew watch out like when i ran past not to trip me and nothing like that i seen the sport and i was like i gotta really learn about these dogs i started learning about them and i realized that they was amazing dogs mm -hmm. smart as hell yeah yeah, yeah. Big be smart. The brothers in the chat man big salute to the brothers in the chat they've been rocking with us for the last few hours they've been rocking with us from the start you know hey man shout out shout out to pbk man shout out to nanny dog man yeah, I think I'm about to close this thing up, man. Y'all boys want to say, say something before, before we get up out of here? Yeah, I want to say shout out to all you, all you hating ass motherfuckers. <laughs> Keep doing what y'all doing, man. Keep hating, man. Shout out, <laughs> shout out to Pelican Bay, man. Shout out to Nanny Dog, man. It's temper hey, shout coming, out man. to you for having enough guts to get up here. I mean, like, I am not. don't mean no one, but I listen, it take a real man to do what you just did, Jeremy. Oh, for shows, for sure, you for know, like, like, uh, listen, I could buy, I, I'd rather buy a dog from people like you guys who stand up for yourself than to buy a dog from a guy who just want to talk like that. I want to, I want to know, is you going to, is you going to fight for your breed, your dog, like I do, you know what I'm saying? Like, are you going to stand up for your dog? I don't buy a dog from people that's not going to stand up. If I buy your dog and somebody talking stuff and you hear them, you're not going to curb your tail. So, right. So. Yes, sir. Hey, so, yeah, man. I'm glad y'all rock with us tonight, man. We had the nanny dog in the building, brother GB. Uh, you know, um, damn, what can what can you go by, dog? Damn, I'm temper, temper attack kennels. Temper attack, temper attack kennels. Yeah, big salute to you, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All the brothers okay. down in the chat that was there for, like I say, there from the start that left that came in. You know what I'm saying? Big salute to everybody. It's been a long night. You know it's gonna be a long morning. You know what I'm saying? Uh hey, I try to make it to the I try to make it to daybreak. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if they would have got a book up here, I'd have had enough energy to make it to daybreak. You know what I'm saying? It's, That's it's, three, three more hours here, the sun come up. Two and a half. It's more. all good. It's all good. You know what I gotta say about you. You listen, I got what I gotta say about you is that you you came through this mug, you at you you did what you needed to do. And I appreciate that. And I can hit your panel. And I would never hit other dude panel again because at the end of the day, <laughs> real is real and fake is fake. And I don't like dealing with niggas who don't got enough heart to say, hey, y'all mm -hmm. like y'all got to at least do something to show this man something. Y'all just don't jump on him. Let me, like you said, let me see something. Mm -hmm. You ask him to show you, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I respect the dude that came up here with this beautiful white looking dog. <laughs> beautiful looking dog. I, I I respect that because all I'm out here to do is just give the little knowledge I know about the dogs, like the blue ones, and and you know, and try to help people take care of their dogs and learn that it's no reason to do the sport no more because they're they're cracking down, and Pelican Bay just show that that they get harsher harsher with the crimes. And they taking that, oh, he's snitching, but that no, that's information because if the block hot, I would want Panic Bay to say, Don't go down there, no fed down there, rather than let me run down there into the into the feds' hands. So it it's knowledge, but you know, ignorant people don't understand that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, dog. Hey man, mm -hmm. y'all stay safe out there, man. Y'all stay legal out there. And remember, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ask some of them brothers y'all watching their channel sometime, and, and they trying to give y'all all that knowledge about certain things. And trying to lead you down that path, you know what I'm saying? Ask them, ask them some of them stories. You know, hey, you gotta look at it, man. What dog channel is on YouTube right now that is not telling these old school dog stories on besides Buck City? The only dog channel that's getting up there that's not telling it. every single one of them boys, from me to anybody, we telling all our old stories. Buck, the only one that's not telling his stories, dog. Something ain't right. And you trying to get up here and cap us, man. Come on, man. Something ain't right, dog. Out of all the YouTube channels, out of all the people, seven, eight, all them boys that told their old school stories what dogs they had. Even if they, no matter how long they was in the dog game, every single fucking dog channel that's out told their fucking story if they had one. 
You know what I'm saying? Every single one of them, except for Buck City. And y'all still riding with it, but it is what it is. I flatten the tires about four of his little flunkies at night. Y'all have a good night, PBK9s. And I'm still yelling in the motherfucking screen. And I'm out.